Hello there mortals, I am Jensen. Welcome back to Minecraft Java Edition. We're about to fire into the game. I do have a little bit of a plan for this session today. We are going to be going and sorting out a couple of things. We need an enchanting table. We need a decent charcoal farm. We need to potentially stop terraforming this place. Uh, we started on aqueduct over there last session and I don't really feel like it's gonna be amazing. So we could probably actually delegate our time to something else. Let's get some sand in our pocket. We'll fill this in here. Now, we kind of want to keep this acacia farm just over here, right? And we are going to keep another little farm some distance away from them, but this is a little bit extreme, these two wide blocks. So I feel like maybe we should, oh, actually two wide should be fine. Maybe we should make them like three wide, I'd say like this. So the thing with the, the tree farm, right, is we didn't lay it out very well. I just got reminded of a video that a viewer, Scott's World, sent me, and it kind of like educated me on how to farm trees really well in uh, this game. Okay, we'll put one here. I think it's already getting to nighttime. Our base up there is a little bit mined out, which is fine. Two, three, mine this one out. We don't really want to lose too many of these leaves. One, two, three, hole. One, two, three, and that one should be fine. So those will have to be dirt. We are going to go ahead and put some defenses in this village as well. And I kind of want to go looking for potentially a underground city. I'm dying in this crap box of a house. AC won't stay on. Breaker gets too hot. Oh, tell me about it, my dude. It's 35 degrees in my city right now. And um, Yinset has a bit of a dipped health. So she has the sheer heater between us today. I actually found a really good one. It's by Dimplex and it offers uh, AC... It's got two heating elements and it's also a ceramic heater, so it's cheap as chips to run. And they were like 80 bucks. Unfortunately, I think everybody has bought them all up immediately as they were being released. Uh, we need some dirt. We're also gonna create another little piece of this here farm. And the other piece of farm that we're gonna create is going to be four wide trees. And we're gonna farm that. Two, three, right there. Actually, let's just fill that one in. We need dirt. We don't have dirt. Actually, we've got eight dirt. That's nowhere near enough. Let's go in here and get some dirt from over the ditch, I think. If we have some shovels, that'd be ideal, but we don't. So let's go ahead and make one. We'll just come over here. We've got crafting benches everywhere. It doesn't really matter that much. So we probably don't want crap shovels in this instance. We want one iron ingot. Boom, done. We've also got one ladder, which I'm just going to throw on the ground over there. So once we get some dirt, we'll get some trees planted in probably the most effective way that I can think of. And we're also going to need some trellises for one line of the trees. That is going to be kind of like how we spawn all of our really, really big oak trees. It's not the most effective way of getting wood, but since we have tree capitator, we are actually incentivized to destroy trees at a certain height because... It basically just takes all of the tree's blocks worth of durability off of the shovel and then collapses the entire tree. So we'll get rid of all of this here and then we'll go ahead and start planting our apiary. We might get a few bees nests as well spawning with this little method that I'm about to use, but not anything else. We're pretty good for iron at this point. I also want to go and dive around in some caves. I've found that the ancient cities are probably the one major thing that I missed out on when I stopped playing the game. Because I think the clay caves and clipping were, were added to Minecraft during the time that copper was added, which is when I stopped playing the game. I feel like the copper really kind of like screwed our world up a little bit. We had a lot of uh, kind of mining facilities. And unfortunately, when we fired up our world, it was like, hey, do you want to make this compatible with the, with the new patch? And uh, we were like, hell yeah, let's do that. And it put copper. It spawned copper where a lot of our kind of like, what were they? Um, hoppers and stuff. We had a chain of hoppers that led to an auto furnace and stuff like that. And unfortunately, it literally broke everything. It was a little bit of a damn fart. <clears throat> so I stopped playing. We stopped playing that uh, world, Minecraft world. I haven't seen any of the Caves and Cliffs stuff. But apparently, the ancient cities spawn at around about negative... No, we don't have negatives in... No, we do have negatives in Java. I was using base zero. Uh, that's a bedrock thing. So they are supposed to spawn between bedrock and around about negative 40, which is pretty crazy. So we're going to make a mine down to about negative 50 or so. And then we're going to start branch mining real long branches to try and find ourselves some caves and cliffs. Because we want to do a little bit of splunking. Or we could just go find a cave and we could go in there, which is going to require a lot of ammunition for our bows and probably some shielding as well. So we're going to get that basically sorted. Oh, we've almost destroyed the shovel. 
And we also want an enchanting table. I think I mentioned that already. That's going to require a single diamond and a bunch of books. We also need to get sugarcane production ramped up. Like that is going to have to massively flourish under our under our eyes. I'm going to go ahead and chop down this tree because we need oak saplings. Nice. Thank you very much, game. Go ahead and take all of this out now. Good. Done. So we've got all of this crap. Let's go back home and we'll start planting down some of the soil. We also need food, which we surprisingly don't have. Weird. We've got, th we've got three wheat in our inventory, but we don't have a single piece of food. That sucks ass. Also, because I enjoyed doing it yesterday, I made another coffee for the stream. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> we've got our own coffee machine here where I live. It's my coffee machine, of course, because I'm a coffee snob. God, the water is so beautiful. The shader packs always catch me off guard. Oh, God, I love it. Oh. Yeah, uh, so I essentially like to filter all of my water through into the coffee and kind of get a nice big cup of it. Then I add soy milk, which is kind of fatty, or oat milk. Oat milk is really good for coffee as well, if you're making your own coffee. I can't stand the American Starbucks stuff, which is what we would consider to be candy here. All right, these guys are still farming up a storm. Probably want to get these little patches um, up and running as well. Now, we do have these here sandstone walls, and we are going to be using these for a very, very good purpose. 35, it's 41 here. My God, my man. Are you in, are you in New Zealand or Australia or somewhere that literally does not use uh, uh, Imperial System? I hope so. Imperial System is really confusing and a little bit sus. Okay, so we'll get this trellis up here. Maybe we shouldn't get it right next to here, actually. Maybe we should kind of, like, plant it here instead. Okay, I'm going to do that. We want to dig that out. We also need a pickaxe. Do we have one? No, we do not. Why the hell do we not have a pickaxe? That's very strange. Let's go ahead and start sticking a bunch of logs in here, because that's where it belongs. We've got a bunch of saplings, and we don't want to put wheat seeds in there. Or beetroot seeds. What do we want to stick in there? We've got nothing else that we want to stick in there. Kind of weird. Okay, so we need a pickaxe now. <clears throat> We're going to be doing that. California, remember? I converted it for you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I love California so much. God, what a, what a place that was. I got to visit that some years ago. I never forgot it as well. I've got an American friend now doing a tour of the US as well. She's got this uh, boy toy over in the US and she is currently on what she, I'm quoting her as well, what she considered to be the most expensive booty call ever known to man. So that's, that's nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Uh, we're also probably going to replace these torches now that we have them with the glowing mushrooms. Oh, that's way too far away. Probably want that one there instead. Nice. It's not going to be symmetrical, but it will be functional. Good. We'll get rid of this here sandstone. Put that over here. That is not the one we wanted to use. Good. Mind that out. Put the sand there. Okay, so this trellis is essentially going to force a bunch of trees to spawn in very, very specific ways. And they have to be between two and four blocks, kind of like intercepting the trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this trellis all along here. And it's going to look a lot like the other little area that we have just over there. And we're probably going to line this up as well in case we ever want to connect it. Put that there. I know it looks a little bit ass, but it is what it is. Put that there. Probably want to trellis up in line as well. Maybe here and here. Good. Now this is going to extend the amount of time it takes these oak trees to grow. But fortunately for us, they will grow significantly larger than they did before. Okay, let's also stick this trellis here, beginning here. That makes more sense than putting it in the most random places known to man. I'm actually, we're probably going to cancel the project of this here aqueduct. We're going to get more resources, and then we'll probably think about that. We'll probably think about the aqueduct after we have the resources to do it. We'll lay out the keystones, obviously, but we'll just kind of scavenge for um, our own purpose right now. Oh, that's delicious. I know how to do kilograms to pounds as well. Oh, it makes one of us. I have a little chart. I have a little fridge magnet on my fridge that uh, tells me how to do those conversions. I hope that's not your method as well. It would be much more impressive if you just knew it off by heart. All right, all the villagers seem to be knocking off for the day. Is it daytime? No, it's probably knockoff time. Okay, they are very industrious. Let's go get some food. Why are we starving ourselves? This is stupid. Get out of my way, sir. Uh, we'll put all of the sand and crap in here that we don't want in our pockets. We'll keep the sandstone wall. We'll keep these sandstones. We've got a couple of things that we could probably actually refine into ingots as well. We'll come over here. And we'll go ahead and we'll dump these into this furnace right here. Boop. And 
We don't have much coal left. We should have lots of charcoal. And if we don't have lots of charcoal, we are going to start generating an absolute arseload of charcoal very, very shortly. Simply because this is what this tree farm is supposed to be doing for us. Sorry, I got hiccups. Hiccups and reflux. Okay, we'll come over here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and trellis this on either side. And it's going to look a little bit strange. I know it's going to look a little bit strange. But it should be absolutely fine because we are going to stick another tree farm just over that way. Actually, we probably don't need to do this yet. We'll keystone it out with the last of our walls, of course. That there, that there. Excellent. And we're probably going to stick maybe a walkway along one side of these as well so we can go and pick up a bunch of stuff on top of this wall here. Now, what we want to do is get our iron shovel out and we want to start digging out some more blocks. I'm thinking maybe we start about here or so. Yeah, how many away do we want to go? One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay, let's start sticking four buys here. So this is going to be Big Tree Farm, and we want them about four apart. One, two, three, four. And this will be every tree that's not acacia. Uh, four apart. One, two, three, four. So if we stick some spruce here, this is going to generate a heap of resources for us. Maybe we should condense them to... No, we won't. We'll only have them like three buys. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. I memorized it. It's the same every time. Oh, that's impressive. I know that an inch is 2.58 centimeters, but other than that, I can't really do a, a lot of metric um, to imperial conversions. Mainly because I have a, a stupid brain. A stupid... Well, actually, you know what? I've forgotten to take my memory medication as well. My favourite thing to do in this is collect everything endlessly and hoard it all like you will use it all later. Set down torches and spread the light as far as is possible. At night time on hardcore. That's smart, actually. That's what we kind of tried to do initially. Unfortunately, we didn't really have the uh, facilities to do so. Because we got about as far as building um, probably what I would consider to be a rather ambitious size base in every hardcore world. And then something would just blow off, off the edge and then we'd die. Make many half-finished projects? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. There's one over there, actually. Okay. So, let's go home. We'll go to bed. Maybe we'll check the food chest tomorrow and see whether or not we actually have some food that we can eat. Pardon me, sir. You're in my bed. All right. He likes that I, I, I push him out of bed. I think that green sparkle just means he really likes us, right? Okay. Shut him in there because it's funny. We'll go check the food chest. This one right here. We've got a cooked chicken. This is ridiculously slow. We probably actually just want to break this clock right here. Which is not actually the one that was recommended to me on YouTube. This, uh, this is actually um, not only more efficient, but it's also a better space saver. I don't even think we really need this, um, this redstone lining into this thing behind it either. Maybe we do. I could be completely wrong. I'm basically trial and error, man. Okay, we've got enough flint to make a bunch of arrows. Okay, I'm definitely going to break this clock. So what is happening here is this dispenser is using the... Uh, what's my dingle over here? A bunch of times. We actually don't have enough chickens to sustain this model. Whoops. Probably didn't want to break that one. Probably just wanted to break a little bit of the, the redstone instead. Okay. Uh, we'll put that back down there. Excellent. And we'll also break that redstone so the clock just flat out doesn't function. Nice. I nearly just walked into the bin. That was close. Let's go ahead and get these saplings. Also get some bamboo basically set up in a, in a nice farm strip mine over here as well. A strip farm, you could say. So what are we planting? These are acacia, right? Acacia does not plant in a 4x, unfortunately. Oak does. But I think that we could probably just force it into spawning a very specific way along here. A bit better. We probably want to start planting spruce and stuff in this little section. I'm going to fill them out anyway with this oak because we kind of need the charcoal. We're pretty low on, on coal and stuff. And the one thing a man never wants to run out of is uh, the ability to put his coal on things. Just build doors everywhere and torches. I'm not doing well at all. I'm melting. Oh, I, that sucks, my dude. It's a shame that you don't have an AC. Are they terribly expensive in the US? They're probably expensive power-wise. I, I bet that's a thing. Okay, we'll stick uh, excess sand and stuff in here. Now we need water so that we can kind of plant out some bamboo along here. Because we are probably going to need it. Two, three. Bamboo. Water. We'll go for a big line of water along here. Why am I not using a shovel? Okay, good. I like this. 
And this one's fine. I'm going to keep it pretty close to the perimeter of this base. Simply because if they jump on the bamboo now, it's not going to break. Can we just put it down without any water? Let's see. Yes! Okay. Actually, I don't know if this works specifically. We probably wanted sugarcane rather than actual bamboo, right? Oop. Yeah, let's get rid of all this bamboo. Why is it... Why is it so sturdy? Is that actually a thing? It certainly didn't take that long to get rid of the bamboo in the forest. Oh, maybe because tree capitator was getting it done. All right, we'll go ahead, we'll get some sugarcane, and we'll stop planting it around all of our scenic areas. Bamboo goes in there because it's a wood. Bamboo goes in there because it's a wood. Oak saplings, yes, go in there. And we also have some acacia saplings right there. They can go in there. We're going to clean up our inventory a little bit. We'll eat this chicken so we're not so slow. Hotter inside than it is out. I have two. Do you have one of those, like, mesh screens? One of those sliding door mesh screens? Because I definitely had one of those back when I was in the US. They were a godsend. I loved them. Uh, if we have our bucket as well, we don't have a bucket. We'll just do this before we start the other things that I said we were going to start right at the beginning of this recording. Breaker is overheating because it's too hot. I have to let it cool down to power back on. Oh, I see. Damn, man, that sucks. Although, if you want some advice, uh, Kiwi, Kiwi advice, tape over the breaker. <laughs> I know it can start fires and stuff like that, but honestly, sometimes it actually works in your favor. Uh, let's go get a bucket, which should be in our valuables chest. Should be this one. Actually, no. I, uh, I take that back. Don't anyone tape over their breaker. That's a really bad idea. Especially if you don't know what a breaker does. Where the hell is our bucket? Flower pot. That's not it. We did have a bucket, didn't we? Where the hell did it go? Do we have any iron? We've got a bunch of iron nuggets. Well, we do actually have iron in here now. Oh, there's the bucket as well. Okay. Well, we'll actually transfer all of our valuables out of this chest. Good. Done. And we'll stick all of the iron in here, now that we have a bucket. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to try and make ourselves a water source. To stick in the bamboo farm. Come all the way over here, because I remember there being a lake this way. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So we might want to delve down here before we go anywhere else first. Let's go ahead and just take that one, because it will regenerate. Come over this way, and we'll plant it down. Ooh. Won't hurt. <laughs> Well, that's, again, that's a, a very, very sus thing to say, right? Because <laughs> it may hurt. It, it may set fires. I probably shouldn't be recommending that whatsoever. Here in New Zealand, we've got this huge attitude of just kind of, like, doing very, very small, cheeky things every now and then. We would never, like, keep a... Oh, this. We would never keep a breaker taped on forever, but we would for, like... If... We have a lot of kitchen stuff here, basically. The only instance that I would tape over a breaker here is over the actual RCD on the multi-box that is plugged into our jug and toaster because if you turn both of them on because it's such a cheap piece of crap it just it disconnects very very frequently okay put that there good put that one there grab this put it over here nice grab this that looks weird grab this and put it there done okay we've got a nice little bit of water and we're going to plant all of this sugar cane right here we're going to need lots and lots of uh books because we are going to get a an enchanting table by the end of this episode now that we have that, we probably need to get some kind of food source. So we'll go ahead and check out those wheats. I think we've got barrels of wheat. Yeah, hay right here. Okay, let's convert all of this into bread right here. All of this goes into wheat. We do not have enough inventory space for this. Okay, that's fine. We'll turn all of this into bread anyway. One stack. Ah, ah, ah. Two stacks. Ah, ah, ah. Three stacks. Throughout half a stack? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, perfect. We've actually got multiples. Okay. Is that, okay, they go into stacks of nine. Gotcha. We'll put the two of these stacks in here. We probably don't need a whole stack in here. We'll put our bucket in here because we lost it last time. What else do we want in here? Redstone's pretty valuable. Keep that in there. Powered rails. Probably not going to need that until we get all of the other rails. All of this other building crap we do not need in our pockets. So we'll stick them in here. I'll keep a stack of dirt right here because it's pretty useful to have. Granite, useless to us. What else? We've got some flowers and crap as well. We'll stick those in the tree chest, which is just over yonder's way. Jerry-rigging things? Yeah, exactly. We're jerry-rigging things here in New Zealand. That's, that's kind of how we work. Uh, flowers go in here. Seeds go in here. Nice. All flowers go in there. And beetroot seeds can also go in there. Done. Probably don't want this flint on us or this gold. We'll go ahead and stick the raw gold into the furnace over here. We've got an iron golem. I think he found all of the iron that we stuck into this furnace. 
He may be a little bit offended that we did such a atrocious act to his brethren, but I don't actually care that much. Okay, good. Oh, we got some pointed dripstones in here as well. That's weird. Why don't we stick those in the building materials test? Put that there. They're not particularly valuable. Okay, we do have a diamond pickaxe. Probably want to keep this on us for now. We've got an iron axe. We'll keep this other iron on axe on us for now as well. Good. I'm pretty happy with this. We've got food sorted. We've got ourselves a decent amount of redstone torches. They can go in the technology stuff here. We probably want to get ourselves a stack of torches. We have a stack of torches. Perfect. I'll stick another stack of torches there. We'll keep these torches in our offhand. And we'll actually make ourselves a shield. I think that'd be a really, really good idea. We probably need a bunch of wood as well to get a shield. Do we have any wood in here? Ah, uh, we've got enough to make wood. Get some logs in there. Actually, we should probably just keep logs on us at all times because they're handy to have. Good. We'll keep 15 logs on us. That should convert well. And and a few of these into planks. Nice. And we'll try and make a shield. Shield. This one right here. Good. Done. We've got a shield. Awesome. That can go in our offhand when the torches aren't being used, I think. I know our shovel's almost broken as well. It's not that bad. Carve that mountain out and make your metallurgy workshop. What a view that is. Oh, this one? This one here? <laughs> you, you mean cut this one out? Oh. Oh, we got eggs. Nice. Oh, we got nine eggs. Perfect. Okay, we'll come up here. We need to fill this area out uh, pretty hard. Two, three. Hey, chicken. One, two, three. One, two, three. The chances of actually getting chickens in here are really low, unfortunately. Yeah, we are actually setting up a base up there, and we have kind of like carved out an entrance area, but until we get some more rails, it's not really going to be terribly useful to us, because we aren't really transit to and fro from our workshop yet. We're also going to turn this entire mesa into productive um, enterprise, I think. You need someone to help? As if, they were, as if we're a copy of you? Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There's already too many Yinsons in the world anyway. Okay, so this is going to be fine. The trees are already starting to grow. That's awesome. Acacia seeds are also sprouting too. Let's go. We can eat some bread. I'm not going to keep this shield on our hopper just in case we're actually going to go down south. Right. Simply because it covers up half of the, the screen when you have it on. It's a little bit annoying. Although we can kind of like use it to defend. All right. So we need to get uh, well the hell away from the ocean biome. Let's go up somewhere high and we'll start looking around for potentially somewhere to mine into so we can find one of these ancient cities. We'll go down deep into the like negative 55s area and we'll try and find ourselves a bunch of diamonds so we can make some diamond armor. I was going to go ahead and make an enchanting table with the diamonds that we find. Oh, that's promising already. There's, a, there's gold down there. Perfect. Love that. It's also really, really late in the day, unfortunately, so maybe this is the worst time to be doing this. Regardless, we're going to be looking re anyway. Okay. That looks promising as hell. Oh my god. I love this mesa. It feels like I'm playing Red Dead Redemption again. I just unlocked the end game area. Well, there's the sun going down. I love this so much. This is such a nice shader pack. All right, and now we are in danger. <laughs> One on the right? What, that one there? Ah, that one's got a way better view, that one. We've actually uh, got the, whoa, we've got the view distance set to kind of just encompass this here village, but not show any of the jungle on the other side of it. Uh, let's go to bed, and then we'll think about maybe finding somewhere to mine through. Okay, we'll come into this building over here that we keep sleeping in. I don't think the farmer who sleeps in here has actually got a single night's sleep since we moved in here. You get people to join and they do whatever they want. You got to get people that want to make everything a mission, organize everything they collect. Yeah, we also need to get a server for that as well. And we'd, I'm just basically learning the game in vanilla at the moment. Somebody's also given me a big challenge list to get through. Half of it's actually already finished as well, just by normally playing the game. I think that maybe, maybe it'd be a good idea to make a mine underneath the place that we intend to make our base. How many pickaxes do we have? We've got a diamond, we've got a stone. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of stone pickaxes, and then we're going to go down into the dirty underbelly of where we are setting up our base, and hopefully we're going to find some really, really good stuff. What the hell? <laughs> that was weird. Okay, we've got just enough cobblestone to make another pick. Put these down here, and gobble. That should do just fine. We'll replace that one when we need it. Shovel, probably not going to be necessary to make another one of. Soil is pretty easy to mine out. But yeah, I've got a few plans for the future playthroughs of Minecraft. I'm going to be doing a hardcore survival on Skyblock. 
for one very good reason. We're going to have people, a uh, one person, come in every single episode that we record of that, and they're going to die a, a very, very dangerous and grisly death. Get some more sticks. They're always useful to have. Oh. Actually, we're pretty close to the village. We probably could just... Nah, we won't set that out yet. Uh, we don't quite want to mine cart our way over here just yet either. Simply because we'll just keep on going all the way up into the place we intend to put our base. And I feel maybe we shouldn't be doing that just yet. Gonna come all the way this way. Okay, good. So we've got a sword which is really only useful for getting silk. So we're not going to use it too much. Ah, there's a cave right there. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. This is one of those dripstone caves, apparently. So we at least want to start torching this place up. Stop anything in here from spawning, in case there are nasties in here. We're going to do a bunch of spelunking in this little episode here. Boop. Okay, I'm getting stuck on a bunch of these uh, stalagmites. Good, put that there. Put that there. Uh, I don't sense danger. We've got a dripstone right here. I'm going to go ahead and break this one down so we can actually get out of here. Good, still don't really see anything nasty. Keep on coming down here anyway. Ah, uh, I think this is a dead end. Oh, maybe it's not. I'm gonna go ahead and put some sand down here so we can get back up in case there's a quarrel. No, this is definitely a dead end. All right, let's torch it up. We may want to start digging down from here. I'll go ahead and check the depth. What is our depth? We are at 56, so we want to keep on going down not too far, though. We don't actually want to go too much further down into the mines than 56. Hello there, Case the Blocks of Fruits YouTube. What a mouthful of a name. Although I don't mind a mouthful of, of fruits. Okay, we'll come up here. Uh, my most recent hobby, believe it or not, has actually been dehydrating fruits. I like to chop fruits up and stick them in a, a big dehydrator. I got a dehydrator so I can make jerky. But ultimately, my girlfriend is vegan, so I probably won't be doing anything with that. That is gravel. Probably actually just set that off in case it's dangerous. Ooh, what's up? Not much. Just playing a little bit of this here, Minecraft. You know, I, I think you may have heard of it before. It's a, it's a little indie game made by a small development team. Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, we've probably actually set this one up as our main thoroughfare for a mine, but... Okay, we'll torch up around it so we can see it from a distance. It's kind of small. It's kind of small. Okay, we'll go down here and we'll see what's down here. This is different. This is actually different. Oh, no. Uh, we're in a new area. I'm afraid. I'm actually afraid. I've crapped myself. Oh, no. Can anybody spare some underwear? Okay, I'm going to mine all of this out. Oh, well, it's still free, free progress down to the mines that we don't have to mine out ourselves. Okay, we'll come all the way down here. Mine some of this out so it's really obvious where we're going as well. And... Whoop. The shader pack is so nice. I love it. Oh, we're actually getting further down here. We may have actually found ourselves a decent cave. Now, I did look up the biomes as well before I started recording this live stream here, only to find that there's a couple of different caves and cliffs biomes now. Oh, is that iron? We're definitely taking that. Including dripstone caves which do not contain end uh, game cities. Oh, what's this? This is weird. Ah, that is gravel everywhere. So if we bump that out and then we put one of these on the ground, we're going to do that. Okay, that did nothing. That's useless. Ah. Why vegan meat tasty? Is it? Is it? <laughs> I found vegan meat so far to be quite hidden miss. Oh, that was a little bit preemptive. Let's go ahead and just put that down there. Good. So this was a little technique uh, given to me by a viewer. You post down a little torch underneath a falling block of gravel and it breaks all of them. That is so useful. Oh my God. I don't think we get flint out of it though, unfortunately. So not the greatest thing in the world, but it still saves a lot of time while we're kind of like mining out these little caves here. That's it. Excellent. Kiwi and pineapple. Oh yes. Jerky bananas and apples. Yeah, I've been making apples and kiwi fruit recently. I think my favorite one has to be kiwi fruit because when you dehydrate uh, little strips of kiwi fruit, it dehydrates them in a way that crystallizes the fructose so that they're really, really sweet. But at the same time, they taste like sour patch as well because they're, you know, an acidic fruit. Oh, if I'm going through here, get all of this crap out of the way, of course. What is that? Don't know. Uh, that is andesite. Let's get rid of this giant stack of gravel. 
done excellent we do have a little bit of the good stuff over here and we are definitely going to mine it out as soon as we torch up this area good to torching it up like an arsonist awesome good thing there's no such thing as insurance fraud in this game have you seen the minecraft movie no no <laughs> no what <laughs> I'm a doer, not a viewer. I would not watch the Minecraft movie. I probably won't either. I saw some of the Telltale Minecraft series. That was okay. I didn't mind it, but like I've seen better. There is definitely better. Wow, this is a very claustrophobic cave. I feel like I'm in that film. Uh, well, oh, what was it called? Um, the Depths? The Depth? Something like that? It was about um, basically a bunch of cave divers going into some caves only to find that there are actually some old ass vampires living down there very cool concept okay we'll come down here we've probably gone a little bit too far through where we would like to be we probably want to basically come over here we need a straight down thoroughfare as well so we can actually see where the mine is maybe we don't want to overcomplicate it maybe since we have kind of like already splunked this cave we just go find another one this one seems a little bit barren to be quite fair though it does go down pretty far Oh, I see. So we do actually have another entrance into this cave. It's up there. Okay, cool. Gotcha. We'll just set up a little forward operating base down here anyway. I'll mine this out so it looks like we've been down here. Done. Speaking of fruits, have you ever tried star fruit? It's like alien watermelon. No, I've never even heard of it. I ju we just here in New Zealand got uh, dragon fruit for the first time. You weren't actually able to buy it here in... Oh my God, what the hell was that? Was that a bloody skeleton? You asshole! Where'd you spawn? Is he wearing chainmail? What an actual dick. Okay, we just made an advancement. I'm gonna try and lure him out into the dirty wilderness out here. Come on, buddy. I dare you. Why not? You don't wanna? Hello? Okay, well, <laughs> we're not going back in there again. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, too much gravel? Yes. Have you tried MCSM, Minecraft Story Mode? No, never heard of it. Or Ruins? The Ruins! Oh no, The Ruins. That's a different one. That's a different one. That's like an Aztec temple. That is probably actually one of the unironic, scariest movies I have ever seen. So, not because it's like a scary film by any means, but because the actual horror in it is just so grisly. Like that guy who tries to leave and he just gets the arrow right in his chest. That moment right there was where the whole film just started kicking off and it did not let go. Star fruit's really nice. We're at the wither storm to your world. What the hell is that? It's juicy and it's yellow. Ooh, I don't mind yellow fruits. I don't know many of them though. Dragon fruit's good, it's overrated. Yeah, but we have it now. We've never had it here in New Zealand. It has a weird sort of sour sort of sweet tang. I like that. That scale I have no brain so he wouldn't listen. Did the stream end? No, I'm not even dropping frames my dude. Never mind. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I'll come in here. We probably want to go ahead and do a sleep. Maybe we didn't want to retreat all the way back over here. I'm thinking maybe we should turn that place into our dedicated mine because we could probably actually see it from here. And if we start recessing into that little notch right over there, just over my, my crossbar, we would be able to see it at all times of the day. Okay, how much of this we got now? 20 feathers still. Not a hell of a lot else. We got any f eggs? Yes, sir. Ray, we do. Go ahead and throw some more eggs up here so we can get an endless supply of eggs. Why did they lower the chance of spawning chickens with the eggs? Oh my god, that is so unlucky. I know it's like 20% in the Java edition. In Bedrock, it's 50-50. It's, like, it's literally a 50-50 chance on whether or not you'll get a chicken coming out of an egg. That was just super unlucky. Okay, it's probably almost time to sleep. I'll see if we've got a diamond. Maybe we can just make an enchanting table now. Oh, we do have one. Okay. Put that there. Now, I don't remember exactly how to make an enchanting table, but we could probably just look it up, right? Enchanting table. Okay, good. We need two diamonds, four obsidian, which we have, and a book. Uh, two diamonds, which we have, four obsidian, which we have not mined out a single block of. I'm going to come in here. I'm pretty sure it's nighttime now. There we go. Done. The whole movie is messed up, forcing them to go in and drop for us. Oh, that's a shame. Get snap the wither storm to your world and try to defeat it? No, I will not be doing that. We're playing vanilla for God's sake, and I've literally only just started the game. I'm not going to be doing like uh, a bunch of in-game challenges. I still don't know what is in the vanilla game because I last time I played this was in 2018. 
I'm not going to be adding a bunch of random ass boss things to the game. What the hell? Come on. <laughs> Absolutely not. Probably should get rid of the cactus before I mine this out, but I'm not going to. All right, we need four of these bad boys. What the hell? Is it supposed to take this long to mine out obsidian? It's not, is it? Okay, we got one. Done. We're trying a different world and creative? No, we're not playing creative. That's cheating, and I don't cheat on this channel. Okay, I'll come to you. If you want to watch any other YouTuber do that, you're welcome to go and watch another YouTuber do that. But the whole point of this series is for me to organically learn how to play the game because I have a lot of experience playing on a different version of the game. I don't know a lot of the fiddly mechanics of this game, specifically Java Edition. We've only got one mod. We are not going to be installing any other mods. Uh, that's just a flat out rule, okay? So with that out of the way, let's play vanilla. Got a bunch of arrows here. Maybe we should make a bow to take care of those skeletons. Swords are useless. Or well, maybe we could kind of like dual wield our shield. That'd be a good idea, actually. Okay, so we don't necessarily need to be terribly awkward about this. We'll just go in with the shield and we'll start axing some of these enemies to death. And I am going to take the advice I just gave myself, which is go over here. All right, excellent. Uh, we're going for more of a relaxed pro approach then. Hey there, guys! Welcome back to my YouTube series! Today we're going to be fighting a weather boss over and over again! <laughs> oh! Ooh, this is exactly what I wanted. Beautiful. Uh, I am going to be kind of like actively looking for one of those ender cities, though. I think they're called ancient cities. I know that they were added with the caves and cliffs biomes. I don't know if they're in the uh, kind of like bedrock version. And if they are not, then I would never have had the chance to see it. Okay, that's a little wee path to get down here. Yeah, excellent. Go ahead and throw some torches. I'm probably going to go back topside and deposit the diamonds we just got. Probably not the best idea to go down here with diamonds. But we are going to be looking for diamonds. That is today's entire purpose. We want a full set of diamond armor by the end of this episode. And also, we want to get ourselves a decent enchanting table. And we'll probably also think about getting a mob grinder as well. Because I used to get those quite frequently too. Hey, hey, spray paints. Back then a man got killed for asking too many questions. Years and years ago. <laughs> what? Who got killed? I didn't get killed. What are you guys talking about? Are you playing Minecraft uh, 119? Yes, I am. That is exactly what we're playing. We're on version 1.21 at the moment, and it was an absolute pain in the ass to get these shader packs working. They all broke with this update, unfortunately. So here we go. Diamonds. We'll get rid of those. Anything else that's valuable? Flint's kind of valuable. We can make arrows out of those. Pointed dripstones. Those are just useless. I'm going to throw them away. Obsidian's useful. Okay, we'll throw that in there. Now we're going to go mining again. Okay, we'll go over here. Done. New structures added also. Yeah, that's the ancient cities, right? That's exactly the the thing that I was just talking about. The cities that I kind of want to see. Because I've never seen one before. Well, the trial chambers. Ooh. Spartan 117. Whoa! Oh, de oh, de oh, so close. Well, at least we didn't fall into that uh, really arse-looking chasm. We don't want to go down there. It's yucky. New structure? Yeah, we got to see it. I've never heard of a trial chamber. Is that the one with the kind of, like... A lot of people have been hinting at some aspects of the game. They've mentioned these weird kind of like, I think they're called stealth bits of the game. Something like that. Does that sound familiar? Is that? Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's not fall on those stalagmites. We'll mine them out. And we'll put some sand down. Oh, apparently it doesn't want to break now. That's weird. All right. Put some more down here. Good. And... It's gonna go over here. Put some sand here, and I'm gonna mine this out here. Probably don't need to, but it'd be useful to get down to this next layer here. Good, let's go ahead and put uh, some torches around. One there, good. One there, very good. I'm happy with this. And we'll just come straight through these little stalagmite areas. Okay, this is pretty obvious. I'll put another torch there just so it's more obvious. Okay, took some torches around here. Whoa, look at the light shafts. I love that so much. I don't know what time of the day it is, but we have to come down here at this time every single time, right? Is that redstone already? Oh, my lucky stars. God, I love redstone in this game so much. It's such a fun mechanic. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, we'll come down here. We'll break this here stalagmite, or we could break most of that stalagmite. Put that down there, good. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more torches around the place. Put one there, put one here. We'll probably have to go ahead and look for some coal as well, to be quite honest, because we don't really have any access to more torches at this point. More sand here. And we'll keep on busting this out. Drip, dripstone ruined your sand block? 
Yeah, just one of them, though. Just one of them. I'm eating everything. What, like in the house? Is that the heat that's doing it to you? Because I get really hungry when I'm hot, too. Okay, I'm going to mine this out. We could probably actually just start using these dripstone blocks, right? We'll put a little staircase for ourselves down here. All right. Get our torches back out through there and there. Excellent. I'm happy with that. I'm going to mine out this block here. And you know what? I'm actually going to put these torches on our hotbar, on our offhand right there. So I'm mining these out. And we'll go down here. We'll continue this little staircase, this make makeshift staircase we've got around here. I'm happy with this. Okay, we'll put some sand. Well, no, we won't. We'll put the stripstone block there. And we'll put it there. And we'll put it there so we can actually go down here. Put a torch right there. Excellent. And we'll keep on with the dripstone blocks coming down in a little zigzag pattern there. Good. Oh, there's a zombie down there. Sucks to be him. I would hate to be a zombie, honestly. Good thing I don't use TikTok. Okay, good. Are you coming, bro? Okay, we're going to get our axe out. And place that there. Place that there. Are you okay? Friend? Friend? Okay, not friend. Not friend. Not friend. Drop his ass, mate. Boom! Okay, I think he was stuck on this here dripstone uh, point, which is pretty funny. Okay, we'll put one of these here. And now we want to basically fill out this area so we can use this as our mining point. Excellent! I love that! By the way, you can find the trial chamber with the map from a cartographer or whatever the villager worker sells the map. Okay, that is good information to have. We found a couple of cartographers, uh, but ultimately I think that the one we did find in a hardcore world, I think it was... Kind of screwed us over. All he did was sell us a bunch of crap, like absolute garbage. Overwhelmingly crap hauls. Okay, what else we got? We've got some cobblestone. Let's start using this a little bit better. Put this down here. We'll flatten this area out a little bit. What level are we at? Probably should put a couple more torches down here, actually. Put it there. What level are we at? We are at 10. That is probably exactly where we want to be, actually. So here's what I'm going to be doing, going to be doing right? So we are going to be branch mining, long ass branches. We're going to keep a spacing of three because it's highly unlikely that a block is going to spawn in a single cluster at this level. And we should be able to get ourselves a very, very good little mine going. Let's go ahead and mine out a little forward operating base down here because I like the idea of it. Uh, this is the level we actually want to be at. And yes, I am going to get that redstone as well. Eventually put that there so it doesn't despawn. And we'll start busting out some more of this crap. So that we don't have uh, enemies spawning above us, which would suck. What is that? Is that a ravine? Oh, I hate ravines. No! What is down there? A lot of resources, actually. Uh, we probably need water affinity or some other kind of enchantment like that, right? To go down there and reasonably get all of the stuff we'd want. So let's not worry about it too much. Probably going to fill that in with a glass eventually, too. Okay, let's go ahead and bust out these. We'll get this here torch. No, that's not where we want it, actually. We probably want it on the walls, don't we? So that we're not kind of busting out too much of what we have. Get our pickaxe back up. This is going to be our forward operating base. Uh, that is iron. That's a shame we can't reach it. Oh, uh, that's also a shame. Uh, how the hell are we going to do this? I think maybe we just cobble around this. There. Uh, maybe we get rid of the source block as well. So it doesn't spray water all over the place. And then we just kind of, like, mine it out, right? Let's get a diamond pickaxe out. Okay, this is deep. I'm going to get our cobblestone, and we're going to block in here, here, and here, so that the water doesn't come in and screw our day over. Now, we do need a lot of redstone, because I intend to do a lot of electrical engineering in this game. It is probably one of my favorite things to do, by far, in Minecraft. Engineer electrical, electrically. Uh, probably want to start blocking up this. Good. And now we want this one to be mined out too. That is water. How obnoxious. Oh, would you look at that? Great, more water. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. And we are golden. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, we need some coal. We've got a lot of iron down here, which I'm very happy about. What's chat saying? Ah. Take me out, please, if I'm a zombie. No, I will not doing that. Celery is my best friend right now. Oh, right, because it's super hot. That would be really refreshing, actually. I'm not particularly fond of celery myself, but I do understand that it's got a great utility. I'm going to plug in more of this, actually. We're just going to leave a little bit of water handy, and hopefully nothing will spawn in it, like a, a zombie or something like that. 
right, let's get all of this iron if we can. Great. Nice. We're also going to probably end up making ourselves a series of furnaces down here too. I got mine out this way. Done. And we'll get these bits of iron too. I'm using a stone pickaxe for some stupid reason. Why am I using stone? I could be using diamond. Ah, uh, maybe because I'm stupid. Who knows? Okay, good. We're all staircase coming up here. Don't know what we're going to stick up here. Probably absolutely nothing. All right. Let's start getting ourselves a bit of a better baseline. Let's go ahead and stick a single torch down here so we don't get any monsters spawning underground. And we're probably also going to want that there redstone before we actually commit to what I'm about to do. Come down here. Get this redstone. Hopefully it's also not... What the hell? Seriously? What is this? Oh my god, this place doesn't end. Okay, we want to kind of like hobble over this away so we can get this redstone. I'm actually going to mine into here as well so that we don't lose that little location just down there permanently. We're probably going to plug it up with some glass so we can actually see it. And when we're ready, we'll go down there. Okay, let's use our diamond pickaxe because it's way faster. Uh, get rid of all of this crap here. Nice. I love. I love. I'm in love. I'm actually in love. Marry me, redstone. Good. Let's start with the uh, torch down here so we don't have zombies. Zombie screams underground. Start cobbling up this platform here. Whoops. I think I fell. Oh, I fell on a on a spike. That's funny. Maybe we can use that to grind mobs. Might be useful, actually. We'll commit that to memory as well. A lot of this is being committed to memory. Put that there. Put all of this here. Good. This is so much better than the other mine we had as well. It's so much cooler looking. Oh, that is sick. I love this. I actually love where we are right now. This is so good. This is a great start. Uh, we'll plug in most of this. Or not. Okay, we're out of the cobble. Let's go ahead and do this here. Dripstone block. Keep on pulling this around here and around there. Put that there. And I'm going to leave that there so I know there's something down there, but enemies can't come up. Okay. That's a water cave. Your stone picks look like it's about to break. Yes, it does. But fortunately, we've got so many logs, which means so many planks and also heaps of sticks. So we're not going to run out of pickaxes. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going to mine out all of this stuff right here. And we're going to stick a bunch of furnaces in the wall just over here. And we're probably also going to want a couple of double chests. One for kind of like the crap blocks that we don't necessarily want. Should probably also get a bed down here realistically too. But we'll deal with that later, I think. We'll just kind of mine into here until we can get a nice big wall that faces us. Get rid of all of this. Okay, there's the pick gone. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table with some of these planks. Or not. There we go. Good. And we'll put this one recessed in right here, I think. Good. Let's put it right there. I like building it into the floor because it doesn't really like take up a block that we'd run into necessarily. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a pick. I could have just made it normally, but I'm not doing that right now. Oh, we don't have any cobble. Oh, we've got a pick. We've got a pick. Good. All right, I planned this one out in advance anyway, it seems. Nice. Rip your stone pickaxe and long live the king. The king is dead. Long live the king. Oh, I would be one of the few alive in the end for sure. Yeah, me too. I'd probably find out a way of kind of like just getting zombies to generate power and stuff like that. You know, just kind of like get some zombies, get one of those uh, basic Becky exercycles, one of those elliptical machines maybe, duct tape the zombie in there and then hang a bit of meat in front of it. And then they'd be generating power. That would, that would be a, a, an infinite power machine, right? And whenever they get a little bit too tired, you shoot them, get another zombie. Simple as that. Good. Let's go ahead, spill some coffee on the floor like an absolute ape. And now I'm going to go ahead and make some chests. Don't have enough planks to make chests. Get all of these turned into planks. Great. Probably need two double chests realistically. So we'll get a nice big four of them out here. Done. Get all of them here. Thank you. We don't want these drip stones. They're probably going to be really annoying. One chest goes here. One chest goes here. Sure. And we'll put some furnaces in the corner over here when we have enough cobblestone. Apparently we don't have any cobblestone, but we can get rid of some of the crap in our chest. That's going to be ingots. This is going to be just random crap that we find down here. Get rid of all of that out of our inventory in case we ever want to keep it for some ungodly reason. All right. Where would we get cobblestone from? I would probably actually say potentially from the walls. 
All right, we'll get some of this cobblestone from the windows to the walls. Good. Get some of this as well. And some more over here. We'll get all of this out too. Great. Love it. Oh, more water. Oh, you actually got me one. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yinset just brought me a nice icy water. You hear that dead space, man? I bet you're really jealous now. You know, it's like uh, 40 degrees in California today. <laughs> Satisfying. Yeah, so Yinset's uh, been dealing with a little bit of health problems recently. And unfortunately, her work has not really been too accommodating so much as gaslighting and offensive. Uh, and sometimes it's downright illegal, but I think that they're kind of like trying to pick up those pieces uh, in advance because they talk to lawyers and they realize, oh, what we did was medical discrimination, which breached the Human Rights Act. So that's what Yin Siet has been dealing with recently. Um, she just showed me that her bank branch is actually closed today. It's closed today because they don't have enough staff to run it because they burned her out with their health issues. I'm still here just making music. All right, Spray Paints, you do what you want. Great. And she just brought me a nice icy water with a little bit of lemon juice sprayed into it. That feels so good. Coffee spillage and coming on nicely tubes. Co co coffee spillage are coming on nuts. Oh, I've still got that little emoji in the corner, unfortunately. It won't, let, it won't even let me interact with it. W Yinset. Coffee spillage arc coming on nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The arc is coming along nicely. I feel like uh, Naruto Shippuden, and we're probably into like season 326. You know, episode... No, sorry, season 326 of Naruto Shippuden, when, when Naruto goes into that jungle and he uses the sexy jitsu and, and that guy um, doesn't really know how to cope with sexy jitsu. He has no counter, so he just, he creams his pants and it's really, really awkward. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and turn this cobblestone into a single furnace. We probably just need one for now. There we go. We'll keep a little bit of cobble on us. Done. Do we put cobble in here? No, we just didn't have any cobble in the first place. Put a furnace there. Good, we don't really have anything to melt this down with. I was the one spamming. Okay. Okay. We probably want to get some charcoal down here as well, because it's probably going to be a wee while before we even have the potential of getting ourselves, I don't know, resources such as the, uh, what are they called? Charcoal. We need charcoal down here. Okay, I don't want to mine into here, because that's where our resources are. Don't want to mine into there, because that's where our staircase is going. Don't want to mine into here, because water... Gigantic water. Heaps of water. Is there anything down here worth having, actually? Oh my god. This place is comprehensive. Okay, I'm getting out of here. It's not actually that useful. Done. Ooh, we probably just want to go this way, right? And we don't want to fall into that gigantic pit there because that's lava. So we'll just start mining into this little region here. Hopefully we're going to find some coal. Probably won't be too, su too surprised if we don't find any coal, honestly. Now, for the sake of brevity... We're also going to go ahead and get ourselves a decent branch mine going. I'm going to go three blocks and then branch because we don't actually want to spread out too far. Otherwise, we'll miss some goodies. All right, this is the first branch. I'm just going to mine three into here. Three. Okay, nothing there. What about here? Because I found that branch mining, it might not actually be as effective as a lot of people keep saying it is, but it does give us the benefit of being able to get back to the beginning of the mine much quicker, which means we probably don't need to burn out our food so easily. Right, one, two, three. We'll go one more before we branch again. And I'll put some more here and here. Diamonds! Nice! Already found diamonds. Beautiful! This place is paying so many more dividends than the last place we were going. Okay, mine all of this out. Iron! Nice! Okay, this strategy actually works wonders. And we've got some lapis lazuli down here as well. Beautiful! Now, the reason I wanted an enchanting table is simply so that we can get mending, potentially, on one of our tools. Let's actually mine out this lapis. It's kind of useful to have. It's good for color. Other than that, not really good for anything else. Uh, that's far enough, actually. We definitely want this iron. Good. Get some of the stone out. Nice. And we'll keep on with this iron mining right here. Hopefully no lava on the other side of here, but I don't hear any bubbling, so we should be in a very, very good spot. I think you'd like the create mod. It's an engineering mod that centers around rotation. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get to it when we actually start playing modded Minecraft. But for now, I'm only keeping this one mod we have, which is going to be the... Oh, what is it called? Uh, tree Capitator. It basically skips a lot of the early game stuff, so we don't need to necessarily be too concerned 
about the issues that we usually have when we kind of like lose all of our things, which is usually wood. It's usually getting a crafting table, getting the first few sort of set of tools. I kind of wanted to ex expedite that, so to speak, because it's not the most thrilling thing to watch. It's literally the thing on every single Let's Play in the world. I'm getting rid of these stalagmites on the way up, I think, as well. All right, we'll get low, uh, rid of all of these. Good. Get rid of all of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Just so that we don't hurt our little tootsies when we come up here. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some more torches up top side here. Excellent. We probably don't need too much else. I don't really like that this is here, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's going to block us out of the path we've made upstairs at some point anyway, I think. The reason I'm using sand is because we can see it against everything else. Good, good, good. Come up here. Excellent. Anyway, anything else up here? No, just Silent Hill vibes. God, I love that so much. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Nice. See how that turns out. <sighs> uh, let's sprint over this and jump. And we I let go of the mouse for a second there. I'm glad it kind of like worked out in our favor. You're like Michael J. Fox with coffee mugs all your life. Oh, no, I don't spill too many things. <laughs> I would, I, honestly, it probably is a little offensive to say, but I would pay money to watch someone with Parkinson's drink an entire cup of coffee on YouTube. Do they have, like, methods of coping with it? I imagine they quite like straws. For the re the obvious reasons, right? But Jackal, bro, why is there so many copper ores? I know, right? I clicked off stream on accident. That's fine. It's always going to be there. In fact, if you join my Discord, which should be in the description of this stream or any of my other videos, you'll be able to go straight to the link to my live videos in the Live Alerts channel. I put it there specifically for that purpose. Uh, we've got some raw iron here. We need charcoal. We need an arse load of charcoal, don't we? We probably have an arse load of charcoal somewhere. We've got some flint in there. We've got a little bit of charcoal. Okay, so I'm going to start mining down these trees so that we can get ourselves some better stuff. Oh, some of these oaks have grown. Oh, it looks like the uh, strategy of putting a block next to them to um, keep them spawning upwards is, has been patched out. That's completely fixed now. Great. All right, it's likely that all of the information that I now have about uh, farming trees is completely outdated. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Well, maybe it wasn't oak. Maybe it wasn't oak that was uh, the thing that we grow here. I'm still gonna get them all knocked down anyway. Okay, these aren't even growing in four bays. Okay, good. How much do we get out of this? We got 33. That's not amazing, honestly. That's a really crap haul, I think. Ah, all right. Well, we'll replant them regardless. And then we'll just keep on moving on. We'll turn all of it into charcoal anyway. Probably keep them pretty far apart. This is supposed to be a lossless tree farm here, but it doesn't actually seem to work. Maybe we need to get rid of these blocks here. Get rid of these walls, maybe. And this one too. Done. Okay, so this is all wood. How much have we got? We've got a couple of stacks of logs. I'm actually going to turn these logs into charcoal, like all of it. All of that's getting turned into charcoal right there. Three stacks should do us really, really good until the end of time, or at least until we die. Come up here. Good. So that is going to be cooking up the iron. Let's go ahead and just dump these in there. So that should go into the hopper, which should go into the furnace as soon as this piece of iron is done. All right. Confetti popcorn, YouTube. Pop plus, YouTube equals pop tube. Yes, or uh, U plus. I love this. I love hoppers so much. That was such a great addition to the game. So we've got a little bit of charcoal. We probably actually turn all of this into torches. That should be enough to make a, a good stack at least. Let's see. Yes, an exact stack. We'll throw those dripstones on the ground because they're useless to us. And we probably, we just picked them up, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, we probably want to get rid of these here, bits of raw copper as well. We're, let's just chuck them in here anyway. What's the worst that could happen? This is our auto smelter, by the way. Uh, we've got a little bit of cobblestone. We've still got all of these dripstones useless to us. Great. We'll go down into the mines again, I think. I sent the stream link to my mother. God, I hope she loves my channel so much. I'm trying to think of a your mama joke, but I can't really think of any appropriate for the moment. All I can think of is that uh, one that I came up with with my dad, which is that your mother's so stupid, I told her it was chilly outside, so she went and got a spoon. I hope that kind of cools everybody down on this hot day. It's a revoltingly hot day here as well. There's some icy lemon water, I think. Oh, yes. Yinset knows how to squirt lemon juice into a, into a jar. Love that so much. Not a door, a jar. It's not a door when it's a jar. Damn. 
Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Uh, my dad and I have a habit of writing jokes together. Uh, we found that there is actually a genre that can accommodate everybody without offending anyone, and that's uh, cremated man jokes. It's hard to pull some from memory because they're all pretty crap, <laughs> which is the consequence of not offending anybody. But they are a they are a thing. They are a thing, and you can definitely get away with telling them to everybody. They're good, like um, they're good jokes to tell at a dinner party or something like that. If you want to sound pretentious and like you know what you're doing when it comes to joke crafting, then definitely go with those ones. Okay, uh, nothing's going to spawn in there. Probably want to plug this in. Good. Uh, there's lapis in here. How the hell did I miss that? What? How did I miss this? Is there any more lapis up the shaft? No. No, the shaft. This shaft is absolutely drained. Good. We're d the shaft is drained like it's a guna. We'll go in one more block. I know there's not going to be any ores through that granite, but we'll just kind of mine three into here anyway. Two and three. My biggest fear at the moment is mining into lava because I won't be prepared for it. Damn, that copper vein is huge. I hate copper. Copper is such an ass material. Yuck. Why would anyone actually like it? We'll get rid of the shield as well because we probably don't need it on our hopper. Probably more likely to need the other things. Okay, and another one down here. How far is this? One, two, three. Mine into here. We're keeping our branches a little bit far apart because, again, it's really, really hard to find any uh, ores that are just one block wide, except diamonds. I suppose we m may potentially miss out on some diamonds, but it's not actually as likely as you might think. Okay, I'll come back in here because I can definitely craft myself some more... Oh, got more iron. Put that there. Ah, we didn't get the charcoal for down here. That's what we needed it for. We need to make a pick. We've got enough cobblestone over there and we'll get two down here in fact we'll actually make two of these right now so we don't have to come back down here again because we're gonna need them put that one there that one goes there done done and dusted now if i was you i would have just put down 10 blocks where you are right now just down 10 blocks why would i go 10 more blocks this is the ideal place to find the uh, ancient cities which is kind of the goal of the stream okay come into here next and mine into here I'm not going any further into there because I'm confident that there's nothing in there we would want. Okay. Three. And we'll mine one in here so we can play, place a torch right at the end here. And we'll keep on going into this one. Three blocks. Hey! So branch mining is actually pretty effective, but only in very specific situations. And specifically when you do not do it, like everybody tells you to do it. Okay. Bust all of that down. I love iron. Iron is probably my favorite material in the game, honestly. Especially when you get so many of it. Because then you can start uh, kind of like, instead of getting minecarts and stuff, relying on minecarts, you can start relying on hopper systems to transfer materials over wide distances. And because it doesn't require a minecart, it's more reliable. And doesn't break as often. Okay, we'll go in here. One, two, three, nothing. One, two, and three. We know there's nothing over here either because we already mined out a little bit of a pocket of iron on that side too. Good. By the way, they're adding new copper blocks and more. Really? Oh, is that uh, part of the villager automation stuff? A lot of people have been mentioning that, but they haven't necessarily been uh, too forthcoming with the information. Okay, we'll come through here. One, two, three. Uh, people on my channel seem to have this really, really strange differentiation between spoilers and useful information. <laughs> it's really strange. I'm not entirely sure why people feel they need to protect me from... Uh, sp what they would consider to be spoilers that I would probably not consider spoilers. I would probably consider to be essential information. I right, three out this way and right, mine into here. We still haven't found a wee cave for a while. We're probably going to be mining into ocean at some point as well, which might not be a good thing. Okay, we probably went a bit too far into this direction here, but you know, say la vie, when in Rome. I tripped and fell in YouTube again. How, how did you do that? Please tell me. I need to know exactly how to do exactly what you've just said. I'm going to put a torch here. Excellent. And three in here. One more block. And do we mine here? We mine here. Go on through this way. We're busting these bunkers. I'm pretty sure the light source is going to stop enemies from, from spawning like five blocks in. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that that's actually the case. Four and five. We probably also just get away with only doing like 
one block wide and the branches. We probably don't necessarily need two blocks to walk down it. Ah, iron, perfect. Four, good. One, two, three, and four. Boop. No, this is what we want to mine out. Let's go ahead and us into here. That's embarrassing. Whoops. Let's go ahead and use this one. Put that there. And we'll get all of this iron. Nice. We probably also want to get an anvil as well, don't we? We've already started a rough paper farm, but I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to take us to actually get a decent amount of books from it. The higher you go, the more damage you do. Uh, yeah, enemies, right? First, like, on stream. Okay, hey there, sketchy gamer. What a sketchy thing to say. Would you like validation? I suppose you've, you've had validation, right? Because I mentioned it. Okay, good. Pick up all this cobblestone because it's a useful material. All right, we'll go three in. One, two, three. And then we're going to mine out those blocks in a branch. This is like a, this is like the Lego equivalent of a casino. New weapon also called the mace you can get from the trial chamber. Ooh, can we not craft it? I think somebody was saying on my stream last time I was streaming this, last uh, Thursday. By the way, Thursday on my channel is Minecraft days. I'm going to be streaming this basically all day, every Thursday. Someone was saying that we can make a mace. Is that actually true or are they just, are they full of cap? Second. That's when you start watching shorts and then you end up at a full length video before you know it. You've been gone 15 minutes. Oh, yes. I've I've been victim to that a bunch of times, actually. My shorts algorithm is really weird, though. I find that in my shorts algorithm, they don't necessarily give me things that I'd like so much as things that my flatmates would like. And I don't know if they're using the data from my IP address. Because I get a lot of content based around simulated racing, which is a hobby of one of my flatmates here, a good friend of mine. And most certainly not a hobby of mine. I could not begin to describe how much I do not care about simulated racing. Especially since I don't have a hot ass. I, I do have a hot ass. I'm, I'm talking about specifically the hands-on throttle and steering, which is what we call those uh, kind of like... Those, those additional steering wheels for racing games that you plug into your computer he here in New Zealand. We call them hot asses. Okay. Two, three. I don't think anything can spawn in here, so I'm just going to bust through here as fast as humanly possible. Try and get through all of this yucky andesite crap because it's disgusting and it makes me physically sick. Yuck. Okay, there we go. Done. We're out of there. Let's go through here and we'll start busting down this bunker right here. One, two, three, four, and five. You know what? I'm going to put a torch down here because we just went really far into this cavern. Put that there. I do like how it shines. Uh, okay, I don't like how it shines. That was suspicious. <laughs> I literally do not know what just happened. That was super weird. Okay. Woo. Bro, admit it, he does have a hot ass. Yeah, I've got a hot ass. I've got a hot ass. One of my flatmates here, he's uh, rather rotund. He's got little chicken legs. He's got a hot ass. Different kind of hot ass. Okay, we've broken both of our picks. I knew we'd need more. Oh, you said body pillow leak? No, nah, the body pillow is literally just going to be filled with stones and gravel because that's what I feel like. I do a lot of exercise and thus I am very, very hard to cuddle. Here's what's happening. He's using your PC to watch YouTube. I don't know how he does that because I've, um, I've got my office here under lock and key. We call it the vault because it's literally impenetrable. It's, I carry the key around me on at all times and if I'm not specifically in here, the office is all locked up. Okay, uh, probably want to get rid of the granite and the lapis lazuli and stuff like that. We want to make ourselves a couple of picks. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. We'll make four picks because we need them. One, two, three, and four. And also, while I, it's on the mind, I'm going to go up top side. Maybe when it's daytime. And we're going to get a bed. I think we should probably set a respawn point down here. That'd be kind of smart, wouldn't it? Yes, you can make the mace. Okay. Do you need like a blueprint or something by picking up the mace? Is, is that it? Is a secret hallway within the walls of your guy's place? Again, I don't know how that'd be uh, a thing because I am literally in a brick covered <laughs> um, external addition to the house. It, some people will call it a sleep out. I think it's supposed to have a bed in it, but it's very, very small. I wouldn't consider it to be like a bedroom or anything like that. All right, we'll put that there and we'll mine into this hole. Very good. Ah. <sighs> You can make the mace with a breeze rod and a heavy core. What the hell is a breeze rod? Is that like a a variation of a blaze rod? Or did you mean blaze rod? 
Although, you know, he's, he's, pretty, he's a pretty suspicious person, so I wouldn't be too surprised if he actually does have a secret tunnel under this building. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can get through here. This is actually probably going to benefit us as well if we just come in here, mine that out, put a torch down. Too fast. There we go. Let's start going through this gravel right here because we are going to be an archer main eventually. And we probably want to get through here. Boop. Done. Nice. Excellent. No more gravel. Okay. Is there anything in here? No, there is not. But we can always just check, I suppose. All right. Let's get uh, another stone pickaxe out. No, let's get our saplings out. We'll bust these down with saplings. Oops. Did I put a sapling down under that? What? Really? Really, game? That's actually what you thought I wanted to do? Put a sapling on stone underground while gravel falls on it? Random. Oh, well. I don't think there's anything in here, actually. Uh, we'll keep on just getting all this gravel out of the way, just to make sure. Anything? No, nothing. Okay, well, we tried. I'm not going through that way because it's probably also going to be a bit of a red herring. Let's keep on going through here. Three, and we found another andesite cavern. Great! I love this white stuff. Actually, I'd like to see it stone before I, like, commit to the, the whole hot take that this stuff is just crap and nobody ever wants it. Like how my stepfather felt about me growing up. Okay, we'll go in here. We'll try that. Nice. And we'll bust into this cavern. Hopefully we won't hit the... Damn it. We're hitting the andesite. That's not good. Ah, the breeze rod is a new item. Ah, he's got a hatch. He probably does have a little hatch in here. He's like a little, um, he's a goblin. He's like a little goblin mining underneath the house. Ooh, look at all the crap in here. Brother, ooh. Brother, ooh. Keep on going through here, obviously. Put a torch here. Mine three inwards. Go to the lower levels to find better ores like gold or diamonds. Uh, I actually just went on the wiki before the stream, and apparently I am on one of the most ideal uh, platforms for it. Good. We'll come in here. We'll bust all of this out. We've also already found diamonds down here. We found diamonds at this level. I'm not really interested in gold. Gold's kind of a useless material for us. And I don't want to go too far down in case we start missing things like spawners and structures, because I... Uh, why the hell am I mining that out? We do want to eventually get some form of mob grinder. Okay, good. Get all of this done we can always make another mine shaft that goes like a couple of blocks deeper we're not kind of like locked into what we've got here okay we'll bust all of these out here and i'm gonna put a torch right here so i know not to go down there start mining out in through here we'll put a torch right on this block here we aren't running low on torches that's awesome i love that you okay just brisk right past that formation information what information Gold is not that useless. It's useful for the nether and pull and trading for pearls. Ah, I don't think we'll trade for pearls. We'll probably use combat for it because endermen are not particularly difficult to kill when the sun goes up. We could probably farm endermen when the sun actually goes up. Okay, I'm obviously going to take this here iron. Uh, I also found a very, very cool little strategy uh, that a lot of people are calling two by two mining. Where if you're going to like stand in between two blocks, you won't get ganked by anything underneath you. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and plug all this in with the diorite because it's yucky, not andesite. It's diorite. Get rid of all of that crap. Yuck. Fill that in. Awesome. And now we want to... Wait, we were using this one this whole time. Maybe we were. Funny. Okay, one, two, three. We'll go one block in. We'll get this block mined out. We'll put a torch right there. And then we'll bust into here. Ah, I mean piglins. Uh, we've already got a bit of gold armor. We don't need a lot of gold. That's the thing. Like, gold is one of those resources that you only really need situationally. And we're probably not going to be doing too much trading just in general in this entire playthrough. All right, this one pickaxe down. What about down here? Anything down here? Maybe? No, just dirt. Oh, well. Keep on going down here then. All right, there's three and one more. One, two, three. We'll mine that out. So we'll stick a little torch right there. Done. The casino is open again. Faster, faster! Oh! Oh! Oh, do you mean like O as in we're not going to be doing a lot of training? Yeah, that's kind of like one of those little exploity things that I was never... I didn't find it fun. Like, I know that it gives you resources, and I know it's free, and it's one of those things that kind of like accelerates the game. But I don't really want the game accelerated. I actually do want to enjoy what the game has to offer. That's, that's, that's kind of the point of this playthrough. 
is not to just sit in a billion different trading screens, forcing villagers into minecarts to get them into very specific places so that you can farm them for resources. Because then what's the point of playing the game? You have completely eliminated the need to mine and craft. Especially if you're doing all of your trading. So we're not going to be doing a lot of that. We're actually going to be playing the game and we're going to be getting a decent feel for what the game actually has to offer. Rather than kind of like using a lot of the meta strategies that people use to circumvent actually having to play the game. Because it is a game. And it is fun. And ultimately I do want to have fun while I'm playing this. So I might be, might be spending a lot of my time avoiding doing a lot of the meta things. Clapping. We need the Minecraft Lego chemistry set. A chemistry set? What, like blaze rods? Blaze rods and stuff like that? We need kind of like the Minecraft modded Lego set. You know, like for... Vi oh, is that a cavern? Oh, no, it's not. It was just a weird looking texture. There is coal down here, though. I thought that I saw like a ceiling of a cavern. I got a little bit excited. Oh, gold. Excellent. So there is some information that does transfer well between the Bedrock Edition and the Java Edition. It seems like gold still spawns around clusters of iron and coal at the lower levels, which is uh, just fantastic information to have, no matter what part of the stage you're at. But that also means that gold is going to spawn equally around lava. So we're going to have to be quite conscious of that, it seems. All right, good. Going to get lots of this coal, of course. Get all of this. Nice. Rip Minecraft bedrock add-ons. Oh, that was so good, though. The texture packs were so good. I still kind of find the base game to be way uglier than it needs to be. All right, I'll mine all of this gold out, of course. And I'm going to stand above it in case there's lava. Okay, good. We're just going to get... Just absolute ass loads of gold, regardless of what we do in this game, honestly. So it's probably not terribly important to look for it specifically or even to trade for it. We'll just kind of like, we'll keep on doing what we're doing because it does seem to be working. Okay, we want to go through here next. Uh, one, two, three, four, one more. Torch that. Nice iron there. I don't think there's going to be any ore spawning in here because this looks like that uh, kind of crap material. Oh, look, copper. Great. I'm thrilled. <laughs> awesome. Three and four and five. Done. One and two and... Whoops. I feel like copper is kind of like... When you're at a slot machine in an actual casino and you don't win anything other than like half another roll's worth of credit in just that slot machine, it's just a bit of a kick in the teeth, honestly. It's kind of useless. Mojang removed holiday creator features from Bedrock Edition. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind too much. Three. Uh, that is where we're mining out. And we'll put a little torch right there. Yeah, Bedrock Edition, it seems heavily curated as compared to the Java Edition. But, gotta be said, some of the things that you find in the Bedrock Edition store is just so much easier to install than using modded Minecraft. Especially if you're on console, because you can't play the Bedrock Edition... You can't play the Java edition on console. It's literally not available. Might be available on Xbox, actually. I don't know. I don't know anybody that still plays the Xbox after they said, hey, we lost the console war. You know, that, that was a pretty definitive nail in the casket. Okay, good. Get all of this out. Might find some stuff down here. Haven't found any diamonds recently. We found a bit of gold. Haven't necessarily found anything else that's particularly useful. Maybe we do want to recess deeper into the ground. Okay, found a little bit of soil. That'll be easy to punch out with our saplings, which for some reason are actually on our hotbar. Okay, this is a useless area. We don't want to go in there. Let's just go a little bit further into here. I'm going to try and burn out all of the pickaxes. Oh, no, we probably actually want to go ahead and deposit a lot of this cobblestone very, very shortly. Okay, we've reached granite at the end here. One, two, three, four, torch. Go in here. Nice. I play on Mac OS. Uh, that's why I was talking about MCBE. I didn't realize that it was specifically catered to... Oh, I suppose Microsoft do own it. Why would they not make the modded Minecraft Microsoft exclusive? Makes a lot of sense, actually. Broke every add-on for Minecraft Bedrock. Did it? Have you considered playing Terraria on stream? I have not. Act oh, we didn't get all of this iron. I've not considered t playing Terraria on stream. Although I have played an absolute arseload of Terraria privately before I started streaming. So maybe I could do kind of like a a modded Terraria playthrough. I know that the mod packs for Terraria are just as big as the Minecraft mod packs. If not even, well, then probably not bigger, honestly. But, you know, they are very substantial. Maybe I could play that. I'll do that. I'll probably do that, actually. 
I'd rather own Mojang Studios. Really? I'd probably rather own um, Microsoft, which is a multi-billion dollar oligopoly conglomerate. Multi-international as well. <laughs> like, in terms of liquid assets, if I, if I had and then sold Microsoft, I could probably buy Minecraft over and over and over again every day for the rest of my life. Well, I say that. Mojang it was bought for about $2.5 billion by Microsoft, which is just offensive. That's a huge number. Uh, we'll start making some of this into the actual resources we want down here. We also got a little bit of coal. Maybe we'll take some of this iron. We'll make it into a hopper. We'll put a chest on top of this here furnace. And we'll just have it eject into this one here. Or maybe not. Yeah, we probably will, actually. That's probably actually the best idea. And we're going to have to get that whole stack to be able to do that. All right, so let's fill up this chest with all the crap we don't want in our inventory. That is crap. This is all crap. Sand's not crap. Andesite is crap. Cobblestone, yes, gravel. All of this stuff is crap. Get all of that out of there. Done. And this one, probably don't want to break that one down yet. But we'll keep everything that's non-metallic in here, I think. Good. I like this. <sighs> or Microsoft. That's what I just said. Now, the message didn't, it didn't uh, pop up just yet. Torch and demonic voice. Ah, uh, we've still got heaps and heaps of torches. I would make Minecraft, Bedrock, and Java the same, except the combat on Bedrock? No. No, I would not make them the same whatsoever. That would actually be a really bad idea. Both of them are cash cows in their own way. Um, the Java edition, it's very clear that Microsoft very exclusively wants people to subscribe to the Microsoft Game Pass to get the Java edition. But the Bedrock edition... Is console based and i don't know if anybody here is familiar with sony's incredibly strict policies surrounding updating apps so that they don't get their servers hacked they have had their servers hacked a couple of times and it was uh, basically a, an injection attack through the updating of games it now costs a minimum of twenty thousand dollars to push a patch onto a game on the playstation store so if you do want to update update games like that you're going to have to do it very sparingly, right? You can't just have lots and lots of uh, updates be pushed to the same game over and over again. Get a horse? I don't think we're going to find a horse down here, to be quite honest. You just spam click like it's before 1-9? Oh, spam click. Yeah, you could spam click in the um, in Bedrock, couldn't you? But there's also a lot of stuff you lose out in Bedrock. For good reason, too. Again, it's like I just said, it's very expensive to push patches onto the PlayStation Network. How many are done? 13? That's probably going to be two hoppers. Might be useful. That'll definitely be two. Okay, good. Uh, we'll get two hoppers made. There we go. We need two chests, which we can afford. Let's go ahead and make two chests. One, two. Good. Done. And now we can make a hopper. Oops. This one right here. This schematic always trips me up as well. Okay, so we want this to basically filter down here into a chest no actually we don't want that there and the reason for that is we actually want to replace where this is we probably want this chest lined up here instead let's actually do that in advance we'll bust this down we'll take all of the ores it's going to be absolutely fine get the diamond off our hopper we'll take this chest and we will dump it right here good and we'll get a Hopper, lined in from behind, right there. Excellent. And we're going to we're going to place this here furnace. Don't go into the hopper, please. Damn it, it went into the hopper. <laughs> oh well. So we'll take this here furnace. We'll stick it right above that there hopper, right here. Done. And now we want to get another hopper up here lined into the top there. Done. And we'll get all of our ores uh, to smelt back into here. All right. So we've got a lot of iron. So if we get a chest up here, we can just dump all of our iron up into there. That's going to put it into there. Good. And we can also go ahead and stick our gold in there, our copper in there. And that'll just all process into exactly what we need it to be. This can be our ore chest, I suppose, for now. Now we're probably going to need a couple more of these chests. So we're probably going to have to go topside. We'll go up here. We'll get a bed as well, I think. That's probably going to be a really, really good idea. We'll get a bed up topside, and we should be in a very, very good place. I'll come up here, or I could just whiff every single jump. And bolts and hose! Gotta get me my bolts and hose! I love that movie, Step Brothers. That is such a funny movie. 
this properly, just dumb ideas. Yeah, you definitely want to. So there's a thing about uh, creating marketable products in the gaming industry. And unfortunately, creating a game that is the same on consoles and PC has proven to be a little bit fiddly because it creates a lot of kind of diversion between communities, right? At least when you have two completely different games on PC and consoles, you've got the PC Master Race guys just being all like, oh, it's still the best whatsoever. And then you've got all the people on console who are still actually very happy with the product that they have, and they don't have to know a hell of a lot because the people who play consoles are completely different to the people who play PC. Generally, when it comes to consoles, and um, I am definitely a strong believer in this myself, having grown up on PlayStation, when you have yourself a console, basically the perk of it is that when you get home from school, from work, from doing whatever, hanging out with friends, you get home, you press a button on a remote, and in front of you there is a movie or a video game fired up that you can play within 30 seconds. On a PC, you don't get that. The PC already has to be fired up. You've got to do a bunch of updates and stuff like that. You've got to make sure all the mod dependencies and mods themselves are actually working. So it, it requires a lot more curation when you have PC. And when those two people kind of like get together and they're playing the same game, they start to they start to insult each other a little bit. So having like a very good dichotomy between PC and consoles is really, really good for the community when it comes to specifically Minecraft because it is an enormous game. A lot of people are going to be playing this. A lot of people are going to be playing this, and a lot of them aren't going to have a lot in common. Now, we came up here for a good stack of wood, didn't we? Got a lot of charcoal down here, too. We'll take this whole stack of charcoal. We'll take that down south side into the mines. We'll go ahead and we'll grab another stack of logs if we can. We are running low on, lo og on, on the oak logs, unfortunately. And it looks like the 4x4s aren't really working either. Maybe it's tree capitator breaking the mod, but I highly doubt that. Uh, we'll get these oak saplings planted down again. Why is that one not planted? Weird. I'm going to knock down all of these here acacia trees because I love how their logs look and we'll replant them. Get that one knocked down. Get that one knocked down. Oh. Okay, that's not a tree apparently. Get that one knocked down. Good. That one knocked down. Excellent. I might want to space these out like three by instead of two bys. Because it seems like tree captator is getting a little bit confused as to what is actually a tree. Okay, good. Got a lot of saplings, actually. Got a lot of sticks. Perfect. Now we can plant as many of these acacia saplings as we damn well please. Nice. Knock all of this down too. Great. Done. Let's re replace these oak saplings with these here acacia saplings. And we'll start planting them here, 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 all along here, I think. All the way around here in this farm. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good. We're also going to need a little bit of obsidian as well to make an enchanting table, which is another goal of this session. We probably want to go ahead and save these acacia logs simply because we want to make our base out of them. We're going to be framing out our base with the acacia wood. I really like how it looks and we kind of want to keep it. Whole stack of that and a bit. Good. Done. The oak logs seem to be really leading us down. Probably we also want to find an ice biome, try and get some spruce logs because we haven't found anything that's particularly cold. I found quite a bit of Parkinson content on here, by the way. Different people are in their lives. Have one bed every 300 feet. That's actually probably not a bad idea, to be honest. I completely forgot to get a bed as well. We'll do that right this second. I think I've got shears. I think I've got shears. We'll try and use them. Do I own shears? Maybe. They're probably going to be in this chest right next to here, though. Shears? No. There's no shears in here. Valuable chest? Shears? Why would I put them in here? Okay, I'm going to make some more shears. Because quite frankly, we just need them. Good. Uh, put that like that. Good. Let's start sharing some sheep. Usually I just kill the sheep, but uh, this time we're not actually going to be doing a lot of killing because we're, uh, we are reliant on these sheep being farmed for their resources rather than kind of like, let's murder everything we can. There we go. Snip, snip. Snip, snip like a rabbi. All right, let's stick everything in here. We don't need shears anymore. We'll put that in the corner so we don't lose it. We've got three white wool. We can actually make a bed now. Perfect. I love that. Go ahead and make a bed. Get these oak planks. Boop. Put that there. And white wool. Done. Okay. We now have a forward operating base down in the mines as soon as we place this. We're going to be at a good spot. We probably should actually just have a, a bed every now and then. Just everywhere. But we've only just started farming up the sheep though. So kind of, whoa, kind of hard to get. Excellent. Okay. 
We'll eat a little bit of bread on our way down back into the dark, dingy depths that is this pit we pulled a mine. Oops, didn't really want to place that torch down. Come down here, nice. I'm glad I'm not falling on these spikes. <laughs> oh, I accidentally sprinted off. There's gotta be, in Bedrock, there was a way of disabling the double tap W to sprint thing. Is that, can you disable that in, bed, in Java as well? Because I find it to be the most annoying mechanic in the world for people who actually know how to play a game. Okay, that's still cooking actually. And we've now gone on to the gold, which is perfect. Let's place down this bed uh, somewhere nice. We'll keep this little mezzanine up here. Good. We set our respawn point. Excellent. And we unfortunately took these saplings down with us here too. Okay, now that we've got some more of these iron ingots, and we've also got planks, we can make another couple of chests and we're gonna start making them into some goodies. Some more planks. One, two, three chests. Whoops. We need three chests. All right, that's just two. Get another couple of... What? what the hell am I doing? Get that turned into some oak planks there. We'll keep them in log format for a while. We need one more chest. Right here. Done. So, this chest here is going to be intake. This is where we put the ores, okay? And there's going to be another hopper leading into the side of this. We need gold ingots to do this. We also need another chest to get another hopper. So let's do that as we don't have enough planks. Go ahead and make some planks. I should just convert all of these into planks. There we go. Take all of this. Make a chest. Good. And we'll put that there. We'll get the rough shape of a hopper. And we've got it. Done. Good. So if I put that here and we put a chest. Hopefully. Can we open this? Yeah, we can. That's good to know. Excellent. So in here is going to be the resources that we need to refuel this bad boy. They've all gone into the hopper. Beautiful. Okay, so that can go in there. We still have 42 iron ingots. Good. Why are they stacking weird? Strange. Put all the iron into here. We probably need another double chest for all of our very big valuables too. Let's go ahead and get another couple. Done. Ah. More unsolicited demon language, please. There you go. Excellent. Two more chests, and let's go ahead and jam that down there. Let's start sticking our lapis, our redstone, and our diamonds in there, because they are our true valuables. I'm also going to take these acacia saplings, and we're going to throw them into the, into the water over there, because I don't ever want to see them again. Yuck. Gross. Uh, I'm going to make one turn into... Here, and we're gonna go a block deeper, I think. We're gonna go a block deeper. We'll try our luck at uh, one more block down below. Damn, we just broke our pickaxe. Okay, we've got a few more things that we could use as pickaxes, but we probably should realistically just get a bunch more of these bad boys, right? So I'm gonna mine my way into this shaft. And I'm going to wait a wee while before we actually start branching out because we already branched out to the other side. Please no lava. Thank God. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's get these logs off of here. We'll get the cobblestone down onto our hopper. Boop, boop. Excellent. And probably want to go ahead and put a torch in there. Let's start mining into here. Ah, try to find a bigger and bigger cave which has dims. What the hell is a dim? Like a ton on dims? What is dim? What is dim? Is that like, that's a meal, isn't it? Dim sum? I'm not sure that uh, this game actually has Chinese meals. Succulent Chinese meals. Okay, nothing in there because of the granite. Three, four, five. I'm digging out as far as I possibly can because I'm pretty sure the light source does actually reach that far. Uh, nothing of use in here. Yuck, that was just a waste of our time. Come into here. Oh no, please don't be granite. Three, four, Dig this one out, place that there, and we dig into here. We've already found iron. I love this. This is awesome. Literally awesome. O-R-E-S-O-M-E. -E. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. We'll bust into this. Great. And I'll put a torch there. Good. And we'll come to here. I bet we're going to get into that granite chunk again, but, you know, it never hurts to actually check. Diamonds? Dims equals diamonds? Not on this channel, it doesn't, my dude. That is dialect. I bet you picked that up from a different YouTuber. We usually tend to call a spade a spade here um, on the channel. Unless you're like, 
unless you've got mad arthritis or carpal tunnel and you're really struggling to type, you may as well just say diamonds to prevent confusing people who don't play this game much. You'll enjoy this post going back to watch? What do you mean? This post? You made a post? I think the heat stroke might be getting to you, my dude. Okay, come through here. Get this mind out as well. We are already in a pretty substantial cave. We probably don't want to get too deep into other caves. I just, I like the comfort of having somewhere that we can just consider to be our main cave system because we start mining it out. It's a bedrock thing. It's a bedrock thing. Because if you start mining out the same cave systems in bedrock, you tend to get a really, really good feel of the area anyway. And you can start forward operating bases with gigantic ore mining uh, structures, multi-block structures that allow you to just smelt things while you go off and mine. If you go to a different place every single time, you got to go all the way back to base to be able to actually place anything into a furnace. So I'm just setting up a, a forever mine here. This is disgusting. Ooh. Okay, we're going to go all the way through this yucky gravel and granite area before we can get ourselves something decent. Hey! Stop! <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Ooh! It just gets worse! And our pick broke. Okay, well, I'm going to consider that to be a sign. Let's go back. Ah. You've made random noises throughout? Nice. That's what I like to hear. Excellent. So we'll come around here. Looks like a lot of productive enterprise is actually functioning very, very well. Probably don't have anything to stick in here. Whoops, that was unintentional. Good. Nothing in there. We still have a heap of coal in here, retrospectively. We don't really have any more resources that we just got, unfortunately. Uh, we need some more cobble picks, I bet. We'll get another, like, five of them, I'd say. Three, four, and five. And where are our sticks of that? One, two, three, four, five. Done. Five picks. That'll serve us very well. It seems like actually going down one level has kind of cursed us, too. So maybe we don't want to do that necessarily. Let's start busting through here. Oh, already found iron. Nice. Love it. Excellent, we'll come through here. Now, if there was actually any mod that I was going to install in this world, it would probably be Tinker's Construct. Because quite frankly, the base game items that you get, I don't really consider, I, I played a lot of this game, I don't really consider them to be ideal. Especially since it kind of limits you to only being able to mine out a single block at a time, which is a little bit frustrating sometimes. Me, Yinsen, me play games. Yes! Yes, I am stupid shotgun ape. Me play games. Okay, good. Come in here. Oh, what was that game? We were playing a game recently. Might have been Cry of Fear. I got a stick. We played the game basically with guns this whole time. And all of a sudden, we just ended up in this forest with nothing to our armaments. We lost all of our ammunition, which we were hoarding. We thought we'd need it later on. We lost all of that, and we picked up a stick, and I just kept saying, Mongo, break. Mongo, kill. Mongo smash! Mongo kill! That was funny as hell. God, I love that so much. There's also going to be a lot of the VODs coming out in the next week or so. I am basically caught up in copyright hell again. Because a lot of these games that people keep requesting that I play have copyright music all throughout it. Which means I, I can't release it. Otherwise, I risk getting a strike on my channel. I don't want to risk it. I know that most of them always just get claims which demonetizes the video, which now that I've hit a thousand subs actually does annoy me. But at the same time, like a strike is probably the worst thing possible. I'm trying to stream while playing Infinite Craft on Google. I have no idea what that means. Wish I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck. One, two, three, boop. Let's go to this one here. Four and five. One, two, three, four, Five. Oh, did everybody see the vote, by the way, in the YouTube community? It is actually going to affect the entire channel moving forward. Essentially, now that I've hit a thousand subscribers and I'm monetized, I have the choice between kind of like easing back on the streams, which means more edited content, or I could kind of like continue streaming at the level that I have been, which is probably going to turn a lot of people off. Oh, yuck. Ugh. We've just had a really, really gross patch. Nice. Maybe we could turn around. I don't really want to make this too maze-like, though. Okay. One, two, three, and we bust in here. Maybe we just keep on going through here. Two and three. 
and four and five and that's gravel okay not gonna bother with that one two three and four and five nice one and two and three and four and five excellent also why do so many people come onto my channel and then as soon as they leave they tell me that they're gonna go stream that's so rude three there used to be kind of like a YouTube etiquette where you just don't promote your own channel on other people's streams, but it seems like that's just... Seriously? It seems like that's absolute death these days. It seems like everybody's entire, like, handshakes and hellos are, hey, I'm, I'm gonna go off and stream. I don't even feel like it's to me either. I feel like they're trying to, like... Because it's always that thing where they're trying to, like, poach people in chess, which I'm not gonna stop people from doing, obviously, but it's just... It's just annoying to have to see people try and do that in the first place. It just always looks scummy. Oh, I didn't actually realize that ores spawned inside of these clusters here. If I'd known that, I would have mined into them more frequently. Good. Okay, we'll actually start mining out some of the uh, yuckier ores, I would say. Yo, I made shark too, Pia. Uh, bless you. I don't know what that means, so bless you. Uh, don't want shield. Want torch. Okay, good. We'll keep on going. It's a movie. You made a movie. That's impressive. Uh, you should collaborate with Markiplier. Try that. Try collaborating with Markiplier. He's making movies as well. Okay, good. One, two, three. Okay, now that I know there's ores inside of these yucky clusters, I'm not going to skip them anymore. We're going to actually mine them out. And we're going to see what is underneath them. We're going to see what, what barren ores we're going to find inside of these clusters of disgusting, yucky ores. Maybe there's something right in the middle. Maybe we'll find, like, the heart of the mountain or something in here. Okay, good. Right, we'll put a torch down here. We'll mine another two this away. And then we'll bust out one more block. Put one here. And we'll keep on going in. Kind of weird that we still haven't found ourselves a cave system yet. That's a little bit strange. Awesome. Just found some iron. I love that so much. That is the best thing in the world. Let's see if it's under here. No, good. Okay. Uh, fortunately, it's actually in this tiny little hole. Good. Oh, it's a big one. Nice. I love iron. I love giant hopper systems. Good. Get all of this busted down. And done. Now, the reason I didn't go one block lower is because we get this deep slate crap right here, which we don't want to see either. If we know that we're at the level that we can see this deep slate crap, unfortunately, no ore can spawn there. I know that there's some ores that can spawn in the deep slate, but it's a pain in the ass to mine. And it's best just not to deal with in the first place. Okay, I'll try and block that off as best as I can. Uh, we'll come over this away. Two, three, and we'll go one more block this way. And torch, yep. Torch right there. Good. We'll come into this little area. Nice. We still haven't found a lot of diamonds, unfortunately. Maybe we should go spelunking. It's just the issue that we've had with spelunking so far is that every cave system we've come across below, like, depth 30 has been just full of water. It's just obnoxious, really. I feel like the Caves and Cliff kind of broke a couple of things that the game had as kind of like quality of life. Like the reliance on knowing that you could potentially find ores at a certain level. It kind of made water affinity a bit of a mandatory enchantment. Okay, I know there's nothing on the granite. We're not even gonna bother go that way. Okay, we'll go through this diorite, I remember. Hey, lapis. Beautiful. Love a bit of lapis. It's got the nicest color in the game. I'm almost certain of it. Either that or cyan. Okay, we'll bust this out. Okay, that's our pick gone. Go ahead and get this one. Excellent. Nice. Bust all of this down. Good. We'll actually start using the iron picks at this point, to be quite honest. We probably don't need to be using these stone picks. I think we'll burn out these stone picks and then... We'll just move on to using iron full time. Because at this point, it's probably a little bit counterproductive for us to be using stone as our main tool material. It's just everything breaks so frequently. And we don't tend to actually get many more resources than we need to actually spend to get the resources. If only we could use copper in any way, shape or form. If only we could use copper as a tool. But unfortunately, I don't think we can. Okay, mind this up. I think that's what pissed me off so badly about it, about the Caves and Cliffs updates, was specifically that you could not use copper as a as a resource for making tools. Like, even make it stone tier, I don't care. 
it should still be able to function, right? Okay, one, two, three, and we want to bust this one out. And this one is a torch here. We're going to bust into this area. Two, and three, and four, and five. Okay. Oh, Sharktopus! That's... Ah, oh, I was wondering what he said. It just clicked now. That confused me. Okay, two, three, and four. Iron! And also, a cavern! That's what I like to see, baby! We got a cavern. Beautiful. Okay, let's mark this bad boy out with a torch here and here. Just so we don't ever miss this out. We wouldn't have found this cavern if it wasn't for that iron, by the way. Okay, let's try and safety this up. Because we are not safe. Where the hell does this come out? Are there enemies down here? I know there's lapis in there. Excellent. Put a couple of torches down. Nice. Oh, we're out of torches, believe it or not. Do we have any coal? No, we don't have any coal. Is there any coal in this cavern right here? Okay. There may be coal in this cavern. I haven't actually been mining a lot of coal, unfortunately. Get around here, see if there's any coal. Low-hanging fruit, maybe? Nope. Just a bunch of really, really wank areas. Okay, we'll start busting out these ores. This is a big section of iron. We can come back to this as well, actually. We'll do that. We'll come back to this iron, and let's start busting out everything that we can. There's iron here. Very nice. Very cash money. Nice. Get all of this iron. Maybe we can make a hopper system that goes all the way from this mine out to the, the base. God, I love the shading in this game. What the hell was that? Is that a bat? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to one hit it. Die, bat. Get back here. I killed it. Nice. There we go. One dead bat. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff over there. Some more lapis this way. I'm pretty sure we've kind of cleared out this shaft. We'll go back. We'll get some more torches anyway, because we don't really want this to become a monster breeding ground. Come on through here. Nice. I think this is also the first lift that we took to get down to the shaft itself. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't realize where we are. Yeah, if we went up block downwards, we would have completely missed that shaft. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and throw all of the crap in our inventory in this chest right here. All of the stuff can go. Dirt, granite, yuck, andesite, gross, cobblestone. We'll keep that on us because it's handy. We probably don't need these drip stones. No, 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 no. We want to go up here. We want to deposit all of our raw iron and our raw copper so we can refine that into something usable. Redstone dust and lapis lazuli like can go in this chest as well. We've already got a stack of and a half of redstone. We can probably actually start making contraptions. All right, we've got enough iron to kind of like get our next set of tools. So we'll burn through these picks right here. And then once we get through those, we'll start using iron tools. Got a little bit of sand. Still got saplings for some stupid reason. I'm going to throw these in the water. Done. And since I kind of value it, we're putting flint in the valuables chest here as well. All right, good. That should be ticking along just fine. We wanted to come on through and get some torches, didn't we? Let's go topside. We could probably actually make some more charcoal if we haven't already made it in the gigantic auto furnace. Good. Maybe we should just go out and start exploring until we find some kind of icy biome so we can get some spruce. Or maybe we can get a trader to come to the village and trade us for some spruce saplings. Might also be a good one. A good shout, possibly. It's gonna be hard to say though. Okay, I'll come up here. Good. Well, kinda hard to miss that but that jump. Because we put torches all over the place. Ah! The light! It literally burns my eyes. Ow! Sweet Jesus! There is jungle logs. We could probably actually go and get some jungle logs. I'm going to do it. We're going to go down here. We are going to get some jungle logs. And we're going to see if we can't turn that into charcoal. Because if those are some effective multi-block trees, that could replace all of these crap oaks, which just aren't growing in the way that we want them to grow. All right, we'll do that. We'll go get some jungle logs. It's probably going to be a good idea, actually. I'm still here, by the way. Yes, hello there. I thought you were off to go stream. <laughs> it's only, though, no, because that's exactly what you directly said. Okay, I'll come around here. Nice. It's absolutely... Uh, so no one in chat needs to tell me that they're there, by the way. I, I'm going to be playing as if I'm playing this in a private recording. Regardless of whether or not anybody's actually 
you know, watching. And that's probably how I've reached a thousand subscribers so quickly. Especially in such a competitive area. The YouTube gaming space is ruthless. I'm not sure if I really like the other smaller YouTubers around the area of the YouTube gaming space. Simply because they seem to uh, just kind of screw each other over just for a couple more viewers. It's a real shame as well. It's a massive shame. Oh, pumpkins. Okay, we're going to get this here tree. Hopefully we've got enough durability on our axe to take this down. We may not. Yay, we do. That's what I like to see. Okay, we'll get enough of these saplings to get ourselves a big tree. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think it was. How many have we got? We got two. We need another couple. We could probably take down this tree up here if we're lucky. Yeah. Nice. We are lucky. Good. We probably don't have enough, though, to get ourselves another one of these trees. All right. We got enough jungle saplings to make a four by tree, a two by tree. Good. These oaks are still kind of worthless, actually. We want like dark oak or something like that, don't we? I think we want dark oak. That's, I think that's the thing we wanted. We didn't actually want anything else. We just want a dark oak. That one grows really, really high. Please stop saying jungle logs. Why not? Jungle logs. Jungle logs. Jungle logs. Okay, we'll come over here. And we're going to dump these straight into our tree farm. That is still a bit of a death pit. Don't, don't know if we actually want to uh, keep that covered out. All right, good. Probably make some obsidian over here as well, actually. We need four for the enchanting table. And we're going to need an enchanting table. All right, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Well, it's been a couple of hours. We're about due for some house housekeeping. We probably want to go ahead and get ourselves another iron axe as well. We have an iron axe in our inventory. We're not going to worry about it. Right, I'm getting rid of all of this oak because it seems to be a waste of our time and money. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. This one's going to break before we can get the whole tree down. There we go. Now we have a few jungle logs and we're going to get another iron axe here. Well, tree capitator was not friendly with this one. All right, let's get some of these acacia trees down because they are still very lucrative. I really like the acacia logs, which is why we're growing so many of them. We're not really farming them for trees. We're just farming them for their aesthetics. We're going to make our other base out of them on the mesa, way over there. We haven't even been there in the session, to be quite honest. All right, let's get rid of these here. Get rid of all of the stuff around the place. Good, and we're going to bust this tree down. Done and dusted. We're probably not going to be growing oak logs anymore. We probably also um, maybe think about taking down these sugar canes and replanting them. Yes, sirree. That's good. One, two, three, four. Done. Okay. So, now that we've done that, we want to take these jungle saplings and place them in a square around here. That's good. I like it. And now we want to put all of these logs into... Yeah, essentially. Aside from these oak logs, I think if we keep these oak logs, we'll probably actually use them down in the shaft. Your accent? I want to play with you so bad, but sadly I don't play PC. Unfortunately, you can't play with people on PC unless they host a server either. <laughs> I'm also not going to be playing open games for months. It's, it's not going to be something that we actually do for a long, long time. So uh, don't hold your breath. I, d I don't want to, like, lie to anybody and say that... You know, keep your expectations high. It will be coming. It's not going to be coming until we've gotten to a really good baseline with this world here. Hey, look. More acacia stuff has uh, started. Go ahead and start knocking this bread down our throat. Excellent. Done. And we'll knock down these here trees. Oh, apparently that's not a tree, so got to do that manually. That's fine. I'll do it manually. All right. Got all the acacia saplings as well. We'll go ahead and replace them. There and there. Done. We'll dump all of our stuff into here again. Saplings as well. Cache logs, they can go in there. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these jungle logs. And we can't really do anything until this other tree grows. It's going to be a real big one, by the way. We're probably going to have to craft a whole axe just to chop those down. I'm going to go ahead and burn these logs here. Uh, these ones, jungle logs. Done. Oh, ironically, we're actually out of the fuel required to burn the jungle logs. Go ahead and try and find something else to burn. Doesn't really look like we have a lot of stuff. We've got these acacia logs. I suppose we could use these. I don't really want to, though. There we go. Four. Done. Is there any in here? No. Any in here? No. Any in here? Yes. 
There is actually charcoal in here. We don't need to burn any logs for this. Okay, good. We can save our acacia logs. And we'll throw these into here, because apparently this is where we're sticking logs now for some reason. Oh, that's right. These are the building materials. Good. Gotcha. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, we need lots of charcoal to take down south side, don't we? So that's what we're up here for. We've got 48 oak logs here. We probably need another set of logs to turn into sticks. But we don't really have a hell of a lot of logs to spare. We've got more acacia growing. That's pretty cool. All right. Probably want to just take a stack of these and a half. We'll turn the half into charcoal down south side. And then we'll turn the big stack into building materials in this chest right here. Done. Two and a half stacks for building. I like it. If you hosted the server, which costs money, the first day for Java and Bedrock, I would have signed in and put up the server name. Or the first minute. Really? Oh, that would be so kind of you to take a paid uh, service that I would have to pay for and then use it for yourself. That'd be very kind of you. Maybe if, if I do have an inclination to get that uh, done at some point, oh, yes. I'll definitely let you know. I'll, you'll be the first to know. If I, if I ever wanted a really crap deal like that, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll flick you a DM. Chicken! Nice. We need another one. Please, for the love of God. Yes! Good. Okay, we're getting lots of chickens now. So this should inflate the amount of eggs we're getting into the dropper. Maybe we should sleep. Might be a good idea. We're getting really lucky with these eggs, actually. Last time we threw an entire stack and nothing happened. Excellent. Why is someone breaking against myself? Okay, good. Maybe we could just like... Yeah, we don't want to harm them, necessarily. I'll just throw all the eggs in there. It doesn't really matter, does it? What's that weird clicking sound? Oh, it's probably the clock. Uh, let's go ahead and do a sleep, because we don't want a creeper to blow up our entire chicken cooker infrastructure. Boop. Good. Huh. Oh. Ah, a little bit of a flex, a little bit of a, a beautiful sunrise. We've had the uh, front door slammed in our face by a farmer. That doesn't feel very nice. But it's a new day. A new day, a new dawn. And a new dawn, chickens are born. Nice, I didn't even damage that. I damaged that one. Whoops, damaged that one. Good. We'll throw all of these eggs in here. Seems like they can't really do a hell of a lot to us. Okay, one chicken escaped, unfortunately. Doesn't really make much... <laughs> he just came up here and ran into the hole. I've never seen that before. I've never seen a chicken run into captivity. That doesn't usually happen. That's not what chicken run toward us. Okay, and three left. Now we've done that, and I'm going to go ahead and take some redstone. We're going to finish off that clock. Because we have actually kind of got it working. We just didn't have enough eggs to sustain. How many eggs we got in here? Two already. Great. All right, we'll put that there, and that's going to put two eggs into the cooker. Excellent. That didn't do anything. That's a shame. But it should be basically firing out eggs as fast as it can possibly handle it. Have we got any others? No, just some feathers. All right, let's go down into the mine. That should just be going autonomously while we're kind of like mining down south side. And we should get ourselves a heap of cooked chicken automatically we didn't even use any actual automation or any mod packs or anything like that okay i'll jump over here i think very nice i like my life okay we'll come down here go straight into the stony depths of this dripstone cave once more now i kind of know what these uh like deep underground city areas are supposed to look like right there's a bit up out they're supposed to kind of look like a, um, a very, very dark area with some very dark bluey black blocks with kind of like yellow specks in them, I think, or greeny specks, maybe blue. There's specks all through them, and it's kind of hard to miss them. Okay, so now that we've done that, what was stopping us from going through here? Torches, that's right. We needed torches. What are we cooking? A lot of iron, a lot of crap in here, actually. Uh, what else is on the boil? Nothing, so we'll throw some logs down there, and we should be gold. By the way, Ancient City can only be found in mountain ranges in the Deep Slate levels. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Deep Slate. I looked up the um, how to find them before I started streaming, and it's not just mountain ranges. It can actually be any biome. It's just they've got a likelihood of spawning underneath the mountain ranges, simply because they are such a tall series of structures. Apparently. We haven't found one in the series yet, but 
We will eventually. What are we... What are we cooking? Get that out of the way. Okay, we'll start cooking up all the wood, and we'll put the copper back in here. We really, really want this charcoal. Probably sooner rather than later as well. All right, good. Is there any charcoal in here? Yep. Big stack of charcoal in there. In fact, we could probably just halve this while we're cooking. And we'll turn these into torches. Where's our crafting bench? There it is. Put that there. Put that one there. Done. Two stacks. That feels good. Uh, one of them can go in our offhand, if possible. Done. And this can go back on our hot bar over here. Awesome. There's a boss in the city also? Yeah, some people have mentioned. There's also apparently some unkillable enemies in there, so that'll be a little bit annoying to deal with, but I can always deal with it. Okay, good. So, we are down to a few stone pickaxes, but I'm going to spelunk in this cave a little bit, and then we're, gonna, we're just going to move on. Here it is. Here's the cave I was talking about. Excellent. Put that there. Great. There's another bat down here. And... I'm down into these pockets. We're going to piss off, seriously. Actually, it's not so bad down here. Blow. Excellent. Perfect. I didn't really care about his TNT so much. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, another couple of creepers. Hello. What's your name? Good. Okay, I got one of them to blow his friend up. Fortunately, there's no skeletons there. Mine shaft. Nice. You love to see it. You love to see it. Good. Put that there, of course. Put another one just over here. Oh, that's lava. <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> All right. I uh, don't think anything can actually get through there, so we probably just want to torch it up and then leave that little area to its demise. Good. Don't get your pudding until you've finished your meat. No. No, we will not get any pudding until we've put in the work. No sweets without sweat, as they say. All right, we want to light up this entire area so that nothing sneaks up on us. We did just get uh, kind of like ambushed a little bit by some creepers, but hey, a deeper mine shaft. Oh my god. Oh, there's a torch down there. That means we've already been down there. Oh, I know exactly where we are. We're in the um, we're in the uh, top level of the other place that we already explored. So there's a mine shaft up here. That's good to know. I'm going to go back really quickly, and we're going to see if we can't get ourselves the iron that was kind of like scattered around the place right over here any ghoulies up in here probably wouldn't be too surprised if there are this is like a nice wee staircase some iron up there as well some glowing crap in here uh, i'm gonna come up here hey another mine shaft area you love to see it uh, oh i'm so undead oh uh. Is the blue lapis or? Yes, it is. The blue is lapis. Lapis lazuli. Took me years to figure out how to pronounce that as well. Everybody here in New Zealand says it as uh, lapis lazuli. Okay, good. Nothing in here. Nope, nothing. What is in here? Mine shafts? Good. We could probably actually do with maybe getting some of this string right here because it is really useful. Oh, a lot of coal in there. Love that. Uh, I'm already lost. I'm already lost. I don't know where we are. Uh, that looks like another hole leading into that mine shaft. I think was kind of blocked off. Yeah. So okay, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna get rid of the stone. This actually no. Let's swap that out. We'll get the sword out so that we can actually harvest up some of the string because it is very, very, very useful. Could get some of that. Swords otherwise I find to be completely useless. They were really useful in bedrock. Not so much now. That is definitely the entrance that we came in. I remember the staircase. Hello? What the hell is going on down here? Why is it so noisy? A little bit of gold down this shaft right here. I was hoping that maybe we'd find uh, something less crap. Okay, I'm going to put a torch in there. Done. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Okay, there's a little bit of water in here. I'm going to go ahead and... Plug this, if I can. Please. Yep, there we go. Done. This has to be a spider spawner, right? Hey! Nice. I love it. I actually love it. We've got a spider spawner. Perfect. So we can actually get this kind of like torched up, right? And we can turn it into a mob spawner that we can use to farm mobs. 
getting rid of all of these webs here because they are very, very useful. Love it! I love it. All right, good. There is a zombie coming after us, unfortunately. Let's get in here. I'm going to do a jump and a chop. Nice. And I can't jump in here, so let's go ahead and do a jump and a chop. Wow, he hit like a truck. That really hurt. Okay, uh, let's keep on mining all of this stuff here out. What the hell? Oh, come on! Oh, we got to get back there real fast, right? I know exactly how to get there. Okay, we're going to sprint back to where we were. That was such a shame. I hope to hell it didn't blow up that spider spawner, but it probably got rid of the lights around the spider spawner, which is not amazing. Rip, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the acknowledgement of that death. Okay, we'll come through down into this hole. Uh, we still have full hunger, which is awesome. We probably want to set up some minecarts coming down here now, don't we? Since we've actually got access to a mine shaft. Okay, good. We'll come all the way down here. I'm hoping I remember exactly where to go, because if I don't, we'll be in a very, very bad spot. We would have just lost our diamond pickaxe. I wonder if we can survive a blast from a creeper while lifting up a shield. Is that a thing? Or do you have to, like, stand in water? I remember that was a thing on bedrock. Nothing in there, nothing in there. There it is. Here's the shaft. We'll come in through here. Now, I'm pretty sure it was this way. And then we've got to go up through this way here, this little egress. Our torching has paid dividends already. Excellent. We'll come up through this away. Now... Where do we go from here? I think it was up this. No, we already torched that one off. It had to be this way. I think it was this way. Oh, I was so close to like taking a screenshot of the location of that spider spawner as well. Okay, we've got to go up top here. Or maybe we go down. Nope, that's not where we go. How the hell do we get up there? It had to have been away, right? We obviously didn't go that way. We didn't go that way. That's just a random plugged hole. We must have gone a different route. Should we come back here? Yes, okay, so we gotta go this way. Probably up here, right? Yep, this is the entrance into the mine shaft. What the hell was that? Is that a blaze? Okay, a lot of spider webs up there. This is not the way. We wanna follow the torches, I think. We'll follow the torches. I think they were the, no, that's just plugging in a little hole there. I do obviously hear the zombies. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. I don't remember these mine tracks. Okay, that ain't good. Here. There we go. Torches. Hopefully we'll get to our axe and all of our crap in this hole before we kind of like get a little bit screwed over. This way. This is exactly where we need to be. Whoa! Please! Give me torches! Give me torches! Give me fuel, give me fire! Give me that which stops the spiders from spawning in front of me here. Okay, done. And we got our diamond pickaxe. Woo! Nice. Yay, Minecraft day. We got a trailer. We got a trailer. That's weird. <laughs> for Minecraft. You don't really need a trailer for Minecraft. Uh, we've got a little bit of rotten flesh here. I'm going to go ahead and try and torch up as much of this place as I possibly can. Simply to stop all of this crap from spawning behind us. Yuck. Hate zombies. They're so undead, their flesh is rotting. All you can really do is consume their, their rotting flesh. Oh, hello there, Mr. Creeper. Oh, I tried to get him to blow, but it, he didn't blow. He blew. Great. Put a torch right there. Excellent. So that should be fine. Good. We need to redux our inventory, I think. What the hell is this? Oh no, I hear a skeleton. I'm getting out of there. Skeletons are actually the bane of my existence. Okay, let's swap out with the shield. Okay, we'll look at our inventory. Axe first, obviously. Stone pick second. Diamond pickaxe right there. We want a shovel next to it. And I'm actually going to swap out, swap out the stone pickaxe. Who made that sound? I heard that. Who made the sound? I just, oh, I just wanted to get these oars. There's a shaft up there as well. Jesus, this place is so miserable. Okay, I'll put that there. Put this here. Oh, not just Minecraft. It's a Minecraft movie trailer. Really? Oh, yeah, someone mentioned the Minecraft movie today. It's... 
I'm probably going to say it's 50-50 on whether or not it's going to be good or absolute rubbish because that seems to be where game movies are going these days. The Borderlands movie sucked so bad. Why not collect some iron? There's an abundance of iron. Yes, there is. There is an abundance of iron. Uh, we're trying to, like, get all of the nasties out from this area first. We have quite a bit of iron in our inventory already. I do remember there was a creeper down here. Okay. Kind of want to see if we can kind of, like, block its damage. Oh, we can with the shield! Oh, that's such good information. There's a spider down there. That ain't good. Hello! Can you get down here? I think he's stuck. Uh. Oh, he is stuck. That's funny. There we go. Good. And put another torch there. Oh, yes! We're finding so many good things. Look at this. Do you want another? I can't jump in here. There we go. Good. And we want to torch this place up. Nice. We got a zombie spawn. We got a bunch of stuff, actually. Why do I still hear zombies? Uh, I'm going to go here to open up our analytics. We want to screenshot this. Oops. Done. So that we know exactly where we are. We're going to take all of the stuff, obviously. And how we're going to do that is we're going to bust down this chest so we can get the chest as well. Nice. Now let's go ahead and torch this place up real good. Good. Now creepers are not going to get to it. We also want all of these rails. These rails are fantabulous. I'm also going to go ahead and take a little bit of a placement stamp of the spider spawner too because I find silk to be invaluable in most cases. Put another torch there. Good. Good, 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 good. The hell was that sound? Oh, there's a zombie all the way down there. That's absolutely fine. I don't really care too much. The hell is that sound? <laughs> I don't know what that sound is. Hello there, Mr. Zombie. Oops. Whiffed my shot. Good. Didn't whiff that one. Excellent. And he's down. That is why I like the axe. It is absolutely an ass kicker. I am going to bust down these here. Fences. I hear nasties. And we again want to keep on torching this place up so that nothing spawns in here. We need our sword to kind of like get a lot of that stuff. How much iron do we have on us? Only two. Okay. It's a little, it's a little less stressful. Borderlands was very boring. Yeah, it was originally supposed to be R-rated. Ugh. Why? Oh, information. You can protect yourself from most damage types. He doesn't want to leave his home. You killed him in his own home? That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. We can kill a man in his own home. It's it's a free country, after all. <laughs> okay, good. And I kind of want to torch down here. I've already torched down there, actually. But I still want to keep on advancing with these torches. Zombie down there. Okay. I don't really give two hoots about that zombie. All right. If he's still chasing me down here, we're going to take him out in the trenches. Okay. We'll get him here. Bazinga! Oh, sucks to be him. Whoops, I don't think I got the crit on him, but I definitely got the hit on him. How many of these? There's got to be another spawner down there, right? Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm getting into the, uh, the Thunderdome. He's carrying the flesh of his dead friend. All right, good. And one more. Whoop. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now that that's out of the way, there's also... I didn't put that there. Is there actually another spawner down here? Oh, I don't think I took a screenshot of exactly where this is placed. I'm going to go ahead and... What the hell? This off. This off. We almost died again. I think on the other side of here is another zombie spawner. Well, that sucked. Was that baby zombie like going through all of these webs trying to get to me? All right. F3. Screenshot. Done. We don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that placement. Uh, let's go back, because we're out of torches, so we have to go back anyway. Oh, piss off. Oh, it's so dark in here. I don't like... I actually do not like this. Oh, we got torches! Great! Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and torch this up. I'm pretty sure that there's nothing going to be spawning down here. Excellent. Okay, let's start mining some of these goodies. Let's get this iron right here. And as soon as we get rid of all of the iron in our pockets, we're going to start using... Sorry, as soon as we get rid of all the stone tools in our pockets, we're going to start using the iron full-time as our main resource. 
Uh, we're gonna need a diamond pick here, I think, for this gold. Good. One, two, three. There's another pocket here. Great. Okay. We probably also need to eat, don't we? Let's go ahead and do that. And before I forget, let's put on our golden pants. I love that. Whew. He's fighting in memory of his friend. Is uh, the zombie who uh, picked up his his friend's arm and then tried to use it to kill us, right? I'll avenge you, brother. Some real weird sounds down here. What the hell is it? Oh, piss off! No! Okay, he attacks pretty quickly. Uh... I had the shield up. I actually had the shield up. He still killed me. All right, well, that's just an absolute crock of garbage, unfortunately. What do you do? There's nothing we could have done about that, by the way. Uh, get out of the way! Oh my god. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves an iron pickaxe. One, two, three. And we'll use it as somewhat of a weapon so we can get ourselves our materials back. Alright, looks like we're making sticks. I thought we'd have some sticks in here, but no, we do not. Put that there. Get these. Sticks. Great. Got some sticks. Go ahead, whack that across there. Get some sticks here and here. Nice. Done. We've got a weapon. How much cooked chicken we got? None. Hey, we've got some chickens uh, spawned in the cooker, though. Excellent. That shouldn't be too far away. It's going to pay dividends. The chicken cooker will pay dividends. We've spent like three episodes trying to get it, but it, it's going to pay dividends. I'll piss off. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, we missed that block. I probably should it. I should know by now how far that we can jump. There's bones everywhere. It's handy. We can turn that into bone meal. Great. Taking a bit of damage. That's absolutely fine. That zombie child actually is a pain in the ass. They're probably my least favorite enemy in the game. By a long shot. Like, skeletons can be kind of annoying, but the zombie children, they're so small and they're so quick. And for some reason, despite both of these things being advantages to their, um, their damage output, they also hit really hard. They can three-shot us. Which is not amazing for us. It's not amazing. All right, we'll come all the way down through here. Now, we didn't go too far into the depths. We kind of, we're in a good spot, right? We're in here, and we went this way, and instead of going up that way, we went left, right up here. This is what led us into the mine shaft. I've got a pickaxe. I am ready to kill whatever is in the way. Don't think we've got any ammo. Nope, this is not where we want to go. Then we took the wrong direction somewhere. Up here. Yep, this is the entrance to the mine shaft. So we should have all of our stuff basically somewhere around here, right? Probably somewhere in these in these shots. Oh, look at all of our things! That's what I like to see. All of our things are right here. Gorgeous. Hopefully they didn't actually ransack our corpse and take anything. We've got a music disc. That's awesome. 418. I love it. We're going to put on our pants. We're going to take our iron axe. It is our weapon. We are probably going to stop using these stone pickaxes. And get rid of that terracotta. We don't want that. What else do we want? Not a hell of a lot. Iron shovel right there, I suppose. Shield can be on our hotbar. Excellent. In fact, we could probably actually do with just putting our shield on our main bar for now. Don't know where that zombie kid went, but... Oh, well. Sucks to be him. He could have claimed my flesh. He could have eaten my meat if there was any to eat, but it seems like there was no, there was no meat to eat. Uh, we also want to put torches on our hotbar so that we can fill out this area just down here. Oh, for the love of God, this place is enormous. Oh, no. I mean, I vibe it. I really vibe this, but it's very, very big. We don't need that one there. Okay, so. Now that we got all of that out of the way, we probably want to go back to base and regroup, right? So I'm going to go through here. We probably also want some signs to direct ourselves around. Because we don't actually have any signs. All right, there is a skeleton somewhere through here. I hear his bones jiggling around. God, I hate skeletons so much. I'm going to keep my iron axe out at all times, just in case the skeleton's in front of us. What's in here? This is pretty much all piped in. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure 
that we don't really want to lose all of the resources we've collected thus far. I'm going to mine all of this out as well so it's easier to see how we actually get into this area. Mine that out, mine that out, mine that out. We'll leave that iron there on the ground so that we kind of like have a little, ooh, what's that? And then we find the entrance to our, our base again. Brother, ooh. Excellent. Okay, we got some iron over here. I'm going to take it, obviously. Uh, that can be torched up right there. Because I'm now very suspicious of all of my surroundings. I've got a copper here too. I really like copper. It's just, it's just a frustrating material. Actually, if we get rid of all of this here iron and then we replace it with something that doesn't look normal, we'll know that this is supposed to be our area. Oak planks. Okay, good. We'll see that and we'll be like, oh, that's the entrance, obviously. Whew. You've already lost. Drowned are my least favorite entity because if they spawn with a trident, you've already lost. Really? You can dodge the trident, so. Your inventory is so messy. Nah, it's fine. You can use the cache to make sticks to get rid of it. Yeah, that's why we have it. That's exactly why we have it. Uh, we want to turn this into planks so we can make tools down here. That's why we're keeping that in our inventory. And it's not really all that messy. Uh, basically, we have somewhere to put all of these things. Maybe not spider's eye. But we do kind of like want to keep majority of them anyway for long-term use. We did, however, I'm pretty sure we screenshotted both of the locations of those spawners, which is awesome. I love that so much for us. We actually go ahead and just take a crafting bench down here. Go ahead, get these. Whoop, there we go. Get rid of that one single arrow. Put this here, of course. And with this, we are going to make ourselves, what were we gonna make? It wasn't a bed. That's a spider. I can't remember what we're, we're making a door. Okay, so we'll take planks of any sort. Here we go. I'll clean up the acacia planks because it seems to bother you guys so much. Three acacia doors, done. This goes here. <laughs> done. Excellent. That is going to be kind of like a, a little indicator of where we're going. Probably also want to get some arrows so we can find our way back easily as well. But once we actually get into the strip mined area, it's pretty easy to find our way back. Okay, up in here can go the iron raw, the raw gold, of course, and any raw copper we have as well that can go away. Got three apples in our inventory. Let's just eat those. Yum, 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 yum. Got to get good. I feel like we've got an okay. I feel like we've got an okay. Uh, probably not anywhere to put any of these things. Valuable's chest can keep this music disc right here. Beautiful. Spider's eye is kind of useless. Rotten flesh kind of useless. But, uh, we can actually use this to trade in a village. And it's way easier to trade rotten flesh for emeralds than any of the other mob items. Because level one villagers, they, they trade for rotten flesh for some stupid reason. Maybe it's some kind of disgusting necromancy thing, but I wouldn't know. Okay, we've got two redstone dust. I don't know where they came from. Got a couple of bones. Got a chest. I'm actually just going to go ahead, place down this chest that we mined out. I remember exactly where it came from too. We're going to make this the mob chest. We'll keep all of our mob bits in there. Done. String is kind of a mob bit as well. And we've also got a couple of valuables, including rails, which are valuable, believe it or not. Got a bunch of blocks now that we don't want. Let's go ahead and dump them into here, because we don't want to think about them whatsoever. We probably don't want these oak fences either, so I'm just going to leave them in there. Oak planks, probably don't want them either, because we've got acacia logs, and that'll just double stack everything. Uh, we'll keep the sand, because it's still really handy utility. Doors, probably not as handy. But we could stick them in the mine shafts anyway, to kind of like stop enemies from coming after us at a point so we'll keep them on us and we've also got a heap of gunpowder that we'll dump in there too got some iron right there got a bunch of bread that we should be keeping on our hot bar probably instead of these doors but again should be fine ah me yinsun you cell phone me take screenshots make me happy no we uh we took screenshots of the of the game using the end game screenshot thing there is actually end game screenshot buttons very handy. Very, very handy quality of life. All right. Now that we've done all that, we should probably actually think about making ourselves some iron armor, shouldn't we? Because we don't really have a lot of armor except for these fire pants. I know that this is helmet. Nice. I... What is chest? He? No? What is everything? What, what all... Oh, here we go. Oh, that makes sense. You only leave a hole. You only leave a hole for the head. Uh, we need iron... Pants. We're also going to get some iron boots as well. There they are. Great. Okay, we've got a full set of iron gear, finally. Probably a long time coming, to be quite honest. 
Uh, we're going to wear all of them, especially these ones. Probably don't want to burn out our golden pants here. We'll leave these in our valuable chest right there. And we should have a lot more utility now. I'm happy with this. Okay. Ah, you wouldn't understand why they want you to give them the flesh of their enemies? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, would I? Like, my bad, the narrative of my story has collapsed. Yeah, we don't use our phones to take screenshots on this channel. That's something that, like, uh... Well, I was about to say Minecraft Let's Players do, but I suppose that's exactly what you're watching, right? I've seen children do that a lot. I see children take screenshots of things with their phones, and then they send those photos to people. Which doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense, because phones have screenshot buttons. So do computers. Most consoles have sc screenshot buttons dedicated onto the controller. Uh, that is probably a spawner. Let's go ahead and torch this place up. And we'll come up this way. Put a little torch right there. Just so it crosses our mind that we can go that way. Uh, that is the way we want to go. Kind of want to torch this way up as well. What is down here? It's a bunch of crap and andesite. Yuck. All right, that is basically nothing. We could probably actually wall that off. Let's do that. We'll wall this off with sand. And thus we will know that we walled it off. Done. Excellent. So we'll come back down here. This is the entrance. I love how there's actually a staircase leading up here. Oh, how did we miss this? Hello, Mr. Bat. What's your name? Oh, Mr. Bat. The photo is a photo? It is. It, it, but you lose a lot of the, like, the details. If you looked at this and took a photo of this with your phone, you would be so overwhelmed with information, you wouldn't know where to look necessarily, unless you specifically know exactly where you're supposed to be looking. And even then, you'd have to pinch and zoom and stuff. You lose a lot of quality by doing that as well. Especially just after the, the raw pictures. They're not even that big. They're probably lower resolution than the ones you catch on your phone anyway. Uh, that's coal down there. There's another little wingding down there, but they can't get up here, fortunately, so probably not worth our time to go down there. Why have we torched this area up? Did we do that? Is that lava? Is that torch? Okay, I'm putting a torch there. We're going to mine into here, and we're going to see what we are dealing with. Ah, I think we have been in here. Oh, is this Fight Club? The Fight Club Arena? Yes! It is Fight Club Arena. Okay. Good. I know exactly where we are now. Go ahead and place one there. Nothing there and there. Okay. We're going to go through. We're going to start looking for the ores now. Okay, all I hear is screaming. The screaming cacophony of the damned. Did I just go in a circle? I think I might have just gone in a circle. All right. Spiders on the other side of that. Go ahead, torch all of this up. We want all of these rail tracks. Even though we're getting pretty flush with iron, we don't necessarily want to waste it on transit. So iron there, great. Mm, gonna get all of this now. Excellent. Perfect. We've made all of this very, very safe. Come all the way through here. Done. Get these mine tracks. Get all of this iron as well, because I want it. It's my birthday, and I want it. Good. Get all of this. Done. We can probably actually get the rails from here and use them to build... Oh, piss off. Seriously. Why is there just a water source block randomly there? We'll kind of like change everything into the rail tracks that will take us to our forever base. I'm doing crunches? Best of luck. Best of luck. I have not done crunches in a long time. All I've been doing is deathcore screaming, and it seems to be working out for me in terms of a workout. All right. Probably just walk through Gehenna. What the hell is this? Yuck. Probably another spider spawner, actually. I'm going to bust these off, and let's go ahead and go back through. <sighs> There's more tech in our phones than our PCs. Phone processors are 10 years ahead at all times. I would probably actually say that you're right on that front, to be quite honest. Technology has advanced very, very fast. Although, in saying that, it's kind of weird that Samsung isn't as big a company as... Oh, maybe actually they have surpassed NVIDIA at this point. I know that AMD stock prices are enormously inflated by this point. I've got a, a few investments in them as it currently stands now as well. And I've made around about 100% on them, which is just an offensively high number that you generally won't see on most stocks. I just know how to pick them. But they said that they are still dealing with a big backlog of items that they still haven't sold yet, which is going to further inflate their stock. And they've got so much money they don't know what to do with it. 
is pretty funny, actually, come to think of it. Could you imagine being a CEO of a company that has so much money you don't know how to spend it? Okay, we'll go down here into the colon. There is a lot of coal down here, actually. Maybe we don't want to mine this out. Maybe this is too much coal. Ah, well, it's still experience. Why not? We can probably convert that into some kind of enchantment at some point. Good. Start mining down here. Excellent. I just don't want to be in the hole when a creeper sneaks up on us. Good. Get all of this coal. Delicious, delicious coal. We're going to be eating the coal, by the way. If it's not obvious, we, we eat coal. We are a coal-based life form. We're going to be eating it. Delicious. You are what you eat, and we are coal. Nice! Okay, through here looks a little bit sus. Yep, very sus. Super sus, one might say. A little shaft down here. I'm just going to light this up. We're not going to do anything with it. I'm going to link this up here. See what's in here. Hello? Okay, that torch was not placed by me. Still a lot of coal around the place. Uh, that is so foreboding. Oh my god. Why don't we just take a, a nice screenshot of this? Oh, that is really, really grim. I don't know if I like that. Uh, they don't know what negative fun things to spend it on? What, as a company? I think if you spend it responsibly as a company, um, people come after you, right? Men come to the house. Okay, we'll bust out all of these rails here. Actually, it was Samsung recently who released a statement saying uh, that they are going to be expanding their company and they're not even remotely close to being able to kind of like assign the budgets in their company. Okay, good. We might just want to stop. There's a spawner in there. Ah, uh, he can't get us. He can't get us. He can't get through that little gap right there. What an ass. Anything over here? Nope. Good. Maybe we want to kill it. Let's try and kill the spider. Come oh my god! It harmed me! How could I have seen this coming? No! Not another! Oh, this is bad. Okay, we're quite, we're quite harmed. I'm gonna go ahead and brick that off. <laughs> Just temporarily. Oh! I did not know that was even a thing. Okay, so what if we come over here and we tunnel in through this away? Obviously, there's still going to be spiders, but if we tunnel in through here, maybe we can light up the spawner before it gets to us. Good thing it's not fatal poison. No, it's just half of our health gone. All right, good. If you have more money than you know what to do with, then you start up phil philanthropic endeavors and tax it all back. Yeah, but then you get the money back and you don't know what to do with it. That's the thing. They've got so much money. They made such a profit. They actually don't know what to do with their money. Okay, I'm going to do that thing. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> we just found ourselves in another shaft. All right. What's in here? Let's see how big they are. Can they fit in here? Oh, this was a good one to be at. Nice, it can't get through the fence post! I think I've just found a mob farm. I like this. Okay, this is good. Uh, let's go ahead and light that bad boy up, if we can. Uh, we probably want to get rid of that there string. Gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna place a torch on the side of the spawner. And that should eliminate the possibility of us getting screwed over. Why do we have a sword for this? We do have a sword, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, we've actually got a sword for this exact purpose as well. Okay, good, put that there. And now the torch goes there. Ah, sucks to suck, spiders! Good. Uh, let's go ahead and mine out further into here. Because I know they can't get through here. Hello? Spoda? Spoda? Spoders? Oh, hello there. What's your name? Oh my god, seriously? Man, the range on these guys is actually pretty, pretty wide. Okay, that might be fatal. Let's go ahead and eat something. No, it was not fatal. Man, we've been poisoned a lot. Mark it with a sign? Yeah, probably for the best, right? Uh, or we could just take a screenshot of its location, like we were doing before. Okay, good. I do hear the spiders, obviously. I just don't know where they are. Hello? Spotter? 
Okay, this is deep into the back of a cavern, which is just fine by me. Go ahead and torch this up. Put that there. Oh, there's another one. Spider! Oh! Damn, that actually jump scared me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eat so we can try and out DPS the, uh... We are actually out healing the poison now, which is awesome. Go ahead and just knock this guy. Nice. I think we get a little indicator when we're in range of it too, which is very nice. Okay, I hear another spider pretty far away from us. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more bread so that we can get some of that delicious health back up. Enough with the marking the locations with in-game screenshots. What do you mean? It's literally the most effective way of, way of doing it. Simply because if you look at the, at the coordinates of the screenshots, you can have a direct tunnel going down straight into the spawner right here. Bro is doxing himself in Minecraft. What, with the screenshots? You might be turning into your parents? Uh, no, I am most certainly not turning into my parents. My stepfather was an absolute piece of garbage. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not as feminine as my mother. I, could, I literally could not be my parents if I tried. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just defend. I don't really see any movement further in. I hear the sucking. I hear the gross sucking noise. Oh, I see a, something down there. Yeah, there is a spider, it looks like. Okay. We could probably try and take him on when we have full health, but for now it's not so cash money, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and try and mine into here. Okay, that's not helpful. Try and put a block right there, and we'll go ahead and mine into this. Come to your house in Minecraft, lock your blocks. Spray paints, if you can find your way into my Minecraft world, you are welcome to have any block you damn well please. Spider? Spiders! There's a couple of them, actually. Are they stuck on the fences? It's a little offensive, don't you think? Okay. One, two, three, four, mine. One, two, three, four, mine. Here he is! Hey, would you look at that? What an asshole. Yeah, well, it sucks to be him. All right, there's just one more left. Hello? Where is he, though? There he is. He's off in the other corner. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and mine all of this crap out. Nice. Well, sucks to be that spider, huh? Okay. Okay, I can't reach him from here. If only we had a crossbow. If only we had a crossbow. We should probably actually go back and make a crossbow because they are super handy. I think that was stuck up there. I'm actually going to do that. We're not going to go too far. Actually, I'm going to take a screenshot real quick. Boop. Done. We can reference those. They are direct coordinates. I'm not going to take a photo with my phone, obviously. Uh. Oh. That ain't good. Good, we'll block that up as well, and now we'll try and light up the rest of this place as best as we can, while we also try and look for a way out. Not so cash money, great choice of words. It's not cash money at all. It's not cash money uh, what they're doing whatsoever. Okay, good. What is down here? Iron! Love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, I'm going to torch this place up. Probably going to be a zombie child in here or something like that. Okay, mind that out. No one can get up there. Perfect. So we don't need to torch it up. Hey, there's a chest with a minecart. What? Well, that saves us making it. Oh, I know exactly where this is. This is right above the entrance. Did I see something down there? No, I did not. I thought I saw a monster, but I didn't. I hear a couple of skeletons. Very spooky. Let's go ahead and backtrack along here while also taking every single resource that we can possibly stuff into our greedy little pockets. Excellent, that's four iron straight off rip. There's some more of these rail tracks because they are strangely hard to make. All right, there's some iron in there. We'll go back to that eventually. Should be some more iron through here. What's in here? Oh, okay, I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. Take that there, rail. Take that, take that. Great, take that, take all of this, 
I saw some more iron on the way over as well, so we'll be taking that too. Take all of that. Good, good. Take this. Take this. Hopefully I'm not opening up a, a path to a zombie child spawner or something like that, because that would suck ass. All right, good. A lot of coal down there. Could indicate gold, but I'm not really interested in it, necessarily. At right, least light it up down here. We're not going to screw around too much. And now back along this path here, there's a couple of things that we can get into our pockets. Great. Nice. More iron. Okay, we'll come on through. Damn it, I just got stuck on that web. Probably want to just get rid of the web since we're doing the whole jump slam combat techniques. What's down here? Oh, nothing. Okay, good. We probably want to link up all of these little channels, don't we? We probably don't want to leave too many open or dead ends. Because if we get caught in one of them, we'll be in a real bad spot. Okay. I'm going to put a torch right there because this is actually the exit. I'm certain of it. Yeah, we definitely come in this way every single time. Come on through here. Nice. I'm going to put some cobble here. I'm also going to light up this little area right there so we can actually see it from a distance. And we'll put some sand there so that we know that's there. Okay, I'm going to go and make a crossbow or a bow of some sort because, quite frankly, we don't have any damage utility aside from this axe, which is not particularly useful to us. Ooh. It's stressful in there. It's actually stressful in there. Yep, just walked into a wall. Excellent. Okay, we'll drop off of here. I thought we were about to drop off a ledge, but we didn't need to. Let's go into the mob dump chest first. Okay, good, 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 good. Is that all we got? Wait. Oh, well. Okay, so we got some iron. We got some... We didn't get any copper, thank the Lord. Useless crap, that is. A lot of coal. Oh, they've made the charcoal as well. How much does this need? It's got enough. It's got enough charcoal. Uh, we still have a diamond pickaxe. That's fine. So now we need feathers, we need sticks, and we also need flint. Let's grab our flint from right here. Two flint. We'll grab all of the gravel from this crap chest over here. Is there gravel? Andesite. Gravel. Okay. We want to turn this into flint. All right, good. Looks like the sun is up. I can tell because the sun is casting rays into here. Love that. Good, 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 good. Okay, uh, through this little path. Nice. Up this way. And it's raining. Oh, I love that. As if the caves weren't wet enough. Okay, the, the rain has ended. The rain has literally just ceased to exist. Okay, we'll go over that little lump there. We'll come over this way. Go up these little bits of sand. We probably should get ourselves like a... A minecart track that leads down there. Oh, my days. Whoops. Screenshot. Love that. Done. Okay, we'll come through here. We'll avoid all of these uh, item-deleting cacti. Jump this gap. Nice. And we'll make ourselves some archery stuff, I think would be the best idea, right? Because at the as it currently stands, all we have is a shield, and bows are really, really good for... Firing in front of us if we can dodge enemy arrows. Hey, what, what, how is this not cooked? Weird. Oh, well, we still have a little bit of cooked chicken. We got some feathers right there. And now what we need is a decent load of sticks. We don't have a lot of sticks. We do have a little tree farm over here that we could probably harvest. Is the jungle tree grown yet? No. Okay, we got a lot of sticks in here. Good. Let's take these and we'll also grab all of our flint. How much flint have we got? On there? None. Uh, 13 flint. So we got a total of 15. That should actually give us a decent bundle of arrows. So let's go ahead and make some... It, it was literally like uh, feathers, stick, and then flint right on the end, right? No? My mistake? Arrow? How do we make one of these? Oh, that's exactly what I was doing. Okay, we'll use all of our flint for this. Good, we got a stack of arrows. That probably won't last too long. We'll get more flint, I think. We won't use too much. We'll try and convert all of this gravel into flint if we can. Okay, uh, I don't know how to do this, though. I think we just stack it up and we got to mine it out with our hands, right? We just got to bash it until flint pops out of it. 
Okay. Get a couple more of these. Done. And shovel? No. Fist. Right. Fist basically has a 50-50 chance of it being gravel or flint. What is up with the... The spawn chances must be completely different on the Java version, right? Because I remember that as a hard rule over on the Bedrock Edition. That it was like a 50-50 if you break gravel that you get flint rather than the gravel block. Okay, that's not good. Maybe we need a better way of converting this. We're probably going to need a trader, actually. This is probably something that I would be happy to trade for. Yo, Jensen, what should I draw? Uh, draw Pennywise from the hit film It. There you go. That'll be a, a hell of a challenge. Okay, we got one flint out of that. That's so annoying. That's super annoying. Okay, we'll stick that in there. We have this minecart with a chest. I don't think we'll do anything with it. We'll put the gravel back in here because it's useless to us. Some, Actually, a lot of this is kind of useless to us. There's also a few more arrows in here. Good. Okay, now instead of a bow, I want to make a crossbow because these things are sick as hell. We need a tripwire hook. I think we've actually got one of those. Nice, we do. Good. Now we'll check what else we need. Crossbow. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing string. We need a brick of iron as well. One iron, please. And here, maybe? Yep, one iron. And I can't remember what the other thing was, but we're going to go to bed before we can get a creeper spawning up behind us. Done. Get a goddamn hovercraft. Oh. There's no hovercrafts in Minecraft, is there? Message not understood. I will draw, draw old wise pennies. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, we had torches in here as well. We could probably actually do with keeping those with us. Someone just shoved me. This guy just shoved me. What are you trading? Okay, he will buy potato. No, he will. Yeah, he will buy potatoes, but we don't actually have a good way of getting potatoes. Hey, jungle trees. Good, let's knock this bad boy down and we can plant that sapling somewhere else. Hey, that's a lot of wood. All right, all about charcoal. It seems like it's fine now. We got 47 logs out of that. My god. We only got one sapling? Man, what? Seriously? What garbage is this? This is not sustainable. Okay, fine. We'll place this here. We'll wait for this one sapling to grow. Hopefully we'll get a sapling out of it. Or a few saplings out of it. I'm going to stick all of the jungle logs in here. We're not actually going to use them, though. We're not going to use them for literally anything. Bye-bye, spray paints. Okay, so we've got a lot of valuables, actually. We've also got a enchanted book of Riptide, too. I don't know what this does, but... We'll probably start doing with uh, hoarding these books somewhere else. Maybe in our valuables chest here, perhaps. Good, I'll put that one there. All that salt out in the flats. We could probably turn it into, like, food, right? We could probably turn it into food, the salt. We could eat all the salt. We could live on salt. All right, good. Oh, that's why the tree's not growing, right? Famine? Okay. Is this still going? Oh, yeah, we're still getting lots of cooked chicken. We're still getting raw chicken as well, though, which is kind of weird. Because what this is supposed to do, when the chicken matures, it's supposed to essentially touch this magma block right here, and then it burns to death. When it burns to death, it cooks the chicken. If you light something on fire and it dies, it cooks the chicken. Right there. What do we get out of that one? Nothing. Okay, I think it burned up on the lava, unfortunately. But this is kind of like an automated chicken cooker. This is how it works. I'll just get the feathers in here, I suppose. All right, we probably want to get rid of some of these activated rails. Put them over here, I suppose. And some rails here as well. We've got a bunch of blocks we don't want in our inventory. We've got a minecart. We don't want this either. With that right there. What else we got? Cache log, we'll keep those on us. We've got heaps of rails, actually. Let's do a little bit of a detour. We'll go ahead and we'll place down these rails so that we can access our house from this location right here. This is basically where we want to end up anyway. Okay, now we got to find the end of our rails. I don't remember where that was though. I think it was like straight ahead here. There it is. Nope, that's water. It's embarrassing. Where is it? We're also pretty low on food, so we're going to... There it is. Okay. We'll eat our food and then we'll start getting the rails... We don't have nearly enough, actually. We don't have anywhere near enough to get these back to the village. It's not going to stop me from trying, though. Okay, good. And we'll get two rails there. Excellent. 
Now, where do we want to line this up? Probably like another three over. About there. No, that's actually a little bit too far. Okay. We'll bust some of these down. We want to line it up with kind of like the inside of the chicken cooker, which is that thing right there. So we'd probably want to go ahead and do it from here. Okay. Go ahead and just eyeball it, I think. Excellent. Now we're going to need a few more of these rails. But we've kind of made a little bit of progress towards it, I suppose. We have gotten rid of a lot of the issues that we were facing. I'm going to put that there. I'll just kind of like place all these down just so that they're down and out of the way. And then we'll get three activated rails there. One, two, three, four. Get a bunch of these rails all the way along here. Put that there. Good. A little bit of a lump, so we're probably going to need another activated rail right there. We're probably also doing a little overkill as well by placing these down in such a skinny fashion. All right, good. Ah, we're actually coming right up to our redstone clock. Awesome. So that's very close. We are almost at the point where we can actually get away with using our, our main base full time. I've already mined out a recess for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and try for that crossbow because we didn't actually make it, did we? Where is it? This one here. So we need string and we've got everything else. We just need two string. Boop, boop. Good. Now we can make a crossbow. I love the crossbow so much. Crossbows are so fun. I don't know if we can enchant it though. I don't, do we have enough diamonds? Do we make an enchanting table? Oh, that's a uh, chicken just died. We need two diamonds, which I'm pretty sure we actually do have. Yeah, we have two diamonds. We'll make an enchanting table. Sure, why not? We need a bucket, which I'm pretty sure we left in here. There it is. And we're going to need to basically dump water onto lava, right? That's how it works. I think that's how it works. So if we can get four obsidian, I think it is. Enchanting. You need more obsidian? Yes, obviously. Okay, we need four obsidian. There is actually one right behind us over here, which we mined out. So we need three obsidian if we did actually place this one in the chest. There it is. Good. Okay, we definitely have that. Let's put this crossbow out on that section of our hopper. Now we're going to go over to the lava pool because there is actually a lava pool here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this crossbow on my hotbar too. And hopefully we can just load it up. Yep, there we go. It's loaded. Perfect. Gorgeous. If water goes on lava, it makes obsidian. Yes. Okay, so the rules are exactly the same. Grab some of this. There's a lava pool right here. There we go. There's a bunch of obsidian right there, ready for the picking. Let's use our diamond pickaxe, because I'm pretty sure we need to use this to get obsidian. Wow, this takes forever. This literally takes forever. Hopefully there's no lava beneath it either. Because otherwise we'll be in a bad spot. Okay, good. We'll go one block down, because we might be able to catch this one before it falls into the lava. And please. Excellent. No lava. We'll get this one. Good. Diamond pick drops obsidian. Yeah. It's also incredibly slow with every other pick. So even if it did drop obsidian, I wouldn't want to do it. Good. That's enough. And we'll come all the way over here. We've got a little bit of an obsidian farm going. It's probably going to deplete at some point, but, you know, we don't actually need a lot of obsidian to beat the game, which is pretty fortunate for us. Man, that looks so cool. Try sneaking while going forward. Uh, yeah, it stops you from falling off the edge, but it's actually not necessary because we actually know that there's no lava on top of it. We know that because we can see a block above. There's no reason to actually use that technique. In case lava is underneath, you'll be able to pick it up. You can still pick it up if you're a block away, unless it like flies off way into the distance and then bumps off of the sides, which is just plain unlucky. All right, we got everything we need. Let's go ahead and make an enchanting table. Why can't we? What are we? Ah, we're missing a book. What do we need for a book? It's leather, right? Book. That is a book and quill. Mm, this one right here. We need one leather, three paper. I think we might have one leather. No, we don't. Okay, we're going to go and shoot a cow. Or we could drop shot it with our iron axe. Hard to say. We'll decide later. We just got to find a cow. Go all the way over this away. And then we'll cross this canal here. 
right, we'll come over this way, jump that gap, flawless, and we'll get some lava. We have already got a little bit of a sugar farm uh, set up back at home, but it would never hurt to take these ones and set them up back at base as well. I'm going to go ahead and just grab all of this. Nice. Yuck. What a gross thing to look at, harvesting sugarcane. For some reason, there's still more over here. Excellent. Take some of that and some over here as well. Good. Very cash money. So we'll come over here. That is certain death. Uh, we'll go over this way and there should be some cows in this. There's one right there. I actually see him. I see the cow. We're going to drop shot him with an axe because I'm pretty sure that one hits cows. The iron man, iron axe should certainly do it. There we go. Done. Do we get leather? No. We've got an egg for some reason. Ah, oh, there's more cows over here. Perfect. Great. Uh, what happens if you still touch a cow? I've never known. Okay, good. I don't think we got any in that. Yeah, we got some leather. Okay. We'll cull the rest of these cows. And if we are lucky, we may have enough to kind of like get a couple of books going. Worst case scenario, we still have food. We should supplement the chicken cooker while that thing ticks away. Uh, that didn't kill it for some reason. I don't know how the crossbow just missed. A little embarrassing. Huh. The water confirms you're using a texture pack? No, I am not. I'm using a shader pack. There is no texture pack. This is all vanilla, which is why it looks so hideous. You know who else takes forever? My mom. <laughs> God, I wish my mom did. My mom just usually doesn't do. Yeah, no, we're not using a texture pack. We actually did an entire stream dedicated to choosing one of these here um, shader packs. And we ended up going with two of them. One of them is called BSL and the other one is called Complementary Shaders. They're actually basic. They're based off of the same shader pack, which is the base BSL. But the Complementary Shaders are a little bit easier on the computer. Which we don't need because I've got a 40 series graphics card. In fact, I'll see if I've got complimentary on now. And we could probably actually change it. Uh, not resource packs. Video settings. Shader packs. Here we go. We'll open BSL. Because this one is awesome. I love this one so much. How do shaders work? Basically exactly how you described it. It, it looks like a texture pack add-on. But it's not a texture pack. It basically changes all of the lighting. So you've seen all of the kind of like god rays shining through the, the chasm, right? That's how it works. There we go. This is BSL. It's a lot more cinematic, but unfortunately it's just, it's probably too oversaturated, I would say, for just normal play, which is why we keep on swipping, switching and swapping. I see what I'm not understanding. I played Bedrock. Yeah, you won't be able to mod a single thing on your, on your computer if you play Bedrock. This won't be available to anybody on Bedrock. This took me ages to figure out as well. Shader packs, again, I was also a Bedrock player for a long, long time. And shader packs did not click fast. It took me maybe a couple of hours to figure out how to use them in the first place. You got one of them Asmund Gold moms, eh? A little bit. Like, she loves us, but ultimately she's kind of like always too busy in her own head to <laughs> kind of do stuff with her kids. Yo, hey! <laughs> Alright, enchanting table. We can now make one of these, surely. No, we need to make a book. Book. There we go, book. So we've got leather, we don't have paper. How do we make paper? Up here. So we need three papers for a single book. Nice. Now we need books. Just the one. And now, with this book, we use an enchanting table. Enchanting table. Great. Finally, we have advanced. Excellent. Uh, I'll just stick this here. Why not? I know we surround it with bookshelves and then it makes the enchantments more potent. But as a color really stands, we don't need to do that just yet. Can we enchant logs? No. No, we can't enchant logs. Can you still enchant sticks? No. Okay. No, you definitely can't. Okay. Fine. I won't even try then. Okay, so we probably want to try and enchant this pickaxe, right? All right. Unbreaking one. Efficiency one. Um, This language right here is a substitute cipher... That comes from one of the Doom series games called Commander Keen. And I'm pretty rusty on what the cipher actually is. So I'll kind of like, I'll go back. I'll go back to the game and I'll figure out how to translate it. But essentially, it, if you can do the English substitution cipher, 
This will give you some sentences, which kind of gives you a vague idea of what you're about to get. Okay, unbreaking? We'll go with unbreaking. What is this? Efficiency 2 and unbreaking. That is pretty good for a diamond pickaxe. I'm happy with that. Excellent. You can enchant bread for the enchantment feeding with only two tiers? No shot. Can you actually enchant bread? Really? No, you can't. No, you can't. Can't enchant bread. Should what, rather watch Ancient Aliens and Sheaf on Cigarettes? Yeah, that was pretty much my childhood. You can't. Yeah, I know. You can't. <gasps> oh. Speculation and hearsay, it seems. Okay, good. You used to, there used to be an exploit, right? Where you could, act, oops. You used to be able to, what was it? It was a funny wee trick. You take a stick and you enchant it with burning and then you have a literal unlimited weapon, but that got patched out pretty damn quick. A lot of people started exploiting it. All right, good. So now that we've enchanted that, we'll get that down there. We probably want to go back downstairs, don't we? Go ahead and just dump the food in here. Uh, we've got a couple of eggs that we could probably grow in the top of this machine right here. It's probably not as fast as I'd like it. So we probably actually do want to, again, divert all eggs away from the actual machine like it's doing. So I'm going to take this redstone and we're just going to let it accrue eggs, I think. Now, all of the eggs should back up into this hopper as well, which is an additional five slots on top of the nine in here. So we should have heaps and heaps of chickens eventually. Okay, good. Six only have three purposes. Actually, as somebody who played Bedrock, you should have actually known that trick. That used to be a, um, a very, very tried and true trick. Ladder tool in trade? Yeah, and you used to be able to enchant burning on them to give yourself an infinite weapon. Pretty potent as well. Fire damages fast. Or you can stick poison on it. I think as well. Could do that too. So we'll go down here. We probably are done with that mine shaft, but we still need diamonds. We still want a bunch of diamond gear. Why are the diamond spawns in Java so unfair? They are really, really unfair, I've noticed. Because in Bedrock, we'd have had diamond armor by now, just by strip mining a little bit of the game. Okay, good. Come down here. I think the next session will aim for maybe. A Yeah, we don't want to go in there. Probably want to aim for what do we want to aim for in the next session? Probably want to definitely get those mob spawners built into mob grinders, right? That's definitely gonna be a thing. If we just kind of like back mine into here a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna see what's this way. I don't think we've mined this way whatsoever. Yeah, we've got to go quite a wee ways this way, though, so that we don't get caught where our base should be. We also need a few torches. Let's put it that on our offhand, because I don't expect to be attacked anytime soon. Mine all of this out. Good, 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 good. Ah, gravel. Great, my best friend. Uh, let's go ahead and bust that down, and then we'll put a torch there. Good. Uh, probably want to put a torch in here anyway, don't Okay, thank you, game. <laughs> Great. Yeah, let's torch this up so that we don't ever get someone sneaking up on us. I'm going to bust this out by hand and then torch. Great, we got some flint out of that. Excellent, and we'll torch that one as well. And we are back to the actual thoroughfare. Let's go through. As a former console player, I was unaware of most bugs while playing Minecraft. What, like in the console? I was definitely aware of a lot of limitations in the game, simply because I was a redstone guy. I learned how to do redstone really, really early on, and it's super fun. It's probably the closest that I've found to electrical engineering in real life in a video game. Usually you don't find that kind of stuff in video games. Might have that one as well. It was down here. More copper, it seems. Yuck, I hate copper so much. Disgusting ore. Okay, we'll go two, three, mine, and block. There we go. All right, no, there's not going to be any ores on our right side. I don't think I've ever seen any ores among the granite. So we're probably not going to worry about that too much. Okay, we'll come on through here. Oops, it's our pick down. Okay, let's go back out here. And we'll go back down this shaft, which is our entrance shaft. Now we want to make ourselves a couple of iron picks, I think, because we definitely have iron to spare for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. We'll do that. We, do, we have sticks. Good. Let's go ahead and get two iron picks. Nice. One and two. Very good. One there. 
And one here. Beautiful. You really don't? What do you mean you really don't? Is that in reference to you don't notice the bugs? Because when you are playing Redstone uh, on Bedrock, you are limited to exclusively one chunk. That is how big your machines have to be. So I got really, really good at making them really, really small and precise. Do you hate copper in reality as well? No, in, in reality, copper actually does have its uses, especially, again, as somebody who's really interested in electrical engineering. Uh, copper is basically the god-tiered affordable item if you want to make any kind of circuitry. Because uh, alternatively from that, you can make it out of bronze, silver, or gold because they're really, really good conductors. But, you know, ultimately, those materials are very hard to come by and they're quite expensive. So if you're making a lot of circuitry, you generally want to find many alternatives that are just not precious metals before you even start making any of your little doodads, which I quite like doing. All right, I'll mine all of this out. Good. And I'm going to get this gravel in here. Probably want to torch it up too. Excellent. Okay, good. We want to keep on busting our way through here now. One, two, three. Branch and torch right here. Good. Ah. It's a stream delay. I was talking about how you don't find electrical engineering in games. No, you really don't. And the reason for that is because generally people who are interested in electrical engineering can go and study electrical engineering and they'll make lots and lots of money because it's really hard to do and a lot of people don't like math. Okay, that's a little bit obnoxious. Gravel all down there. Although we'll be able to see the ceiling pretty easily. Okay, nothing up there. I've got a little bit of flint, so a little bit of profit. All right, good. Excellent. Two and three and four. I kind of like uh, the whole concept of automation chains as well. Automation chains are really, really cool in video games. RimWorld is probably one of my favorite games ever just because it allows you to do both kind of like a little bit of electrical engineering at a very crude level. And at the same time, it allows you to um, manage an entire colony. Right, good. Usually in real life, I just have to manage an entire colon. So it's actually quite nice that a game allows us to kind of like change up the... Change up the expectations a little bit. Bust into this dirt a little bit. I know I've got a shovel. It's about to break, though. Ah, oh, well. I'll use it a little bit. There it goes. <laughs> well, we all saw that coming. Okay, let's start mining out all of these things that we actually did find. Good, good. Good, good. More iron. You love to see it. I do quite like iron. Great little resource. Poor shovel. It is a poor shovel. I feel like we should have just euthanized it early. Because we didn't euthanize it early, and I, I feel like maybe it was suffering. It was suffering in our inventory a little bit. Redstone! Beautiful. Love to see it. Uh, let's mine into here, because redstone. Two, and three, and four, and five. And very good. Let's go ahead and bust into here, put down a torch, and we'll mine all of this out here. Great! I hear a zombie. You know what that means? There's a shaft around here. Perfect. So we're actually mining into the right place. Good. If we can scout out maybe a skeleton spawner, we'll probably have the best chances of making a really good experience farm. Because I remember that's a thing from Bedrock. And it probably does translate over to Java. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, would you look at that? We found it. Hello? Who's home? Not me. Anybody want a little bit of this? Please? Hello? Oh, are they stuck down there? Yeah, they are. They're stuck on the uh, big spikes. That's funny. Okay. Let's not engage unless we have to. We found another shaft. This is awesome. I love this. Okay, good. Is he inside of that stalagmite? So he is. What a wanker. Oh, this is a... Uh, weird textures all over the place. Okay. I'm going to get my crossbow. I'm going to shoot him. Uh, there we go. And now we probably want to get up here to the high ground and get our axe out so that we can drop assassinate him. Or he could just walk back into the stalagmite like an absolute oaf. Oh, well. He got one hit off after we hit him as well. I like games where you have to automate things you don't want to lose. Yeah, me too. I love it so much. It's actually a great way of developing a video game. Oh, there's got to be skeleton spawners down here, right? I'm not seeing a lot of ores. I think there's redstone? What the hell is that? 
Is that redstone? Yeah, that's definitely redstone. And what is this? How the hell are we still going down deeper? How deep is this place? Another cave down there. A little bit of... A little bit of spelunking going on down here, it seems. Okay, we'll mine that one out. Hopefully we aren't going to get ganked by whatever finds us down here. I don't think anything can cross that, so we probably don't need to partition that off too much. Let's go ahead and start mining out some of these resources we found, because we did find a couple of resources, even if there's not a lot of them. Anything around here? Yep, heaps of iron. Gorgeous. I like this. I like that there's lots of iron everywhere. Uh, let's mine out this. Good. Awesome. Keep going down. You can find diamonds. We've already found diamonds at the level we have actually been mining, though. That's, that's the thing that a lot of people have been saying on the stream, is go down deeper and you'll find diamonds. We've actually found diamonds at this level. Fairly consistently, too. We just haven't been getting a lot of them. I think it's because the Cliffs and Caves updates have kind of pushed diamond spawns further apart. Which is a little bit of a shame. But, you know, it is what it is. More redstone. Love to see it. I actually love redstone. It's probably one of my favorite things in the game. Do we have any more torches? No, but if we find some coal, we could probably use that, right? It's gotta be something above us as well, right? I definitely hear something above us. Okay. This is also just a branch too. Oh, cool. Iron. Nice. I'll take this iron. This is probably gonna lead us up into a nasty cavity of nasty zombies, but I'm willing to risk it. I am willing to risk it. Nice, there we go. Done. We don't have any torches. We may as well go back and start making some if we can. I'm not going to worry too much if we can't, though. Okay, we'll go right to the end of here, and hopefully we will find our way back to home. Whew. Oh, that was just copper. I thought I saw iron down there. I was like, what? what a dumbass leaves, leaves iron just lying around. Okay, let's start throwing all of our ores in here. We got a few raw iron. We got a gold. We don't really want to cook this redstone dust. We could probably convert it into blocks at this point. We're getting a lot of it. When we get nine stacks of redstone, we'll start putting it into blocks. That'll be pretty effective. The rest of the stuff can go into this here chest because this chest here is full of stuff just like this. Good. Excellent. We also have lots of sugar cane on us. That's pretty funny. We'll just keep it on us for no reason. Uh, so, what else we got? We've got some flint that could probably go into this chest here because it is pretty useful. What else is there? There's coal in here. Charcoal. Let's get some charcoal and we'll try and make a stack of torches. Stack, maybe? Ah, stacking a bit. Love it. Good. So we've got a few more bits of charcoal. Throw that back in the chest and we'll go straight back into that little mine right there because that was flush with resources. There were so many resources in there. I knew we should have gone this way. You are very hungry? Oh, so you're right. Do we have any food? Yeah, we got a little bit of food. Excellent. <laughs> We'll eat some of this bread. Unfortunately, we can't eat the cooked chickens because we need to engage in something called delayed gratification. Uh, we're essentially, we're saving up all of our kind of eggs so that we can massively overinflate the amount of uh, chickens that we have. Kind of generating food. Throw that rotting flesh over there because I don't want it. Do we have another pickaxe? We do. Excellent. Good. I'll take all of this lapis lazuli. It's apparently how you say it. I learned most of what I know, by the way. I self-educated for a, a fairly significant portion of my life. I know most of what I know. And I know that I sound relatively intelligent. I know most of what I know wrong. Because <laughs> I read books, and that's how I self-educated. And unfortunately, because of it, I didn't really have the opportunity to learn how to pronounce things. Because I didn't learn from a person. I learned from a book. Can you come through? Yes! Okay, good. One. Two. Okay, I don't know why I just picked up that rotting flesh, and it does seem like they can get over these stalagmites. So let's go ahead and just bust them down because they're in our way, and they will hurt us if we fall on them. Probably going to be the best idea, right? All right, put a torch there. Good. Put a torch here. Oh, this is weird. This is a really weird area. Oh, iron. Very cash money. Put a torch down there. Let's go ahead and grab this iron, because I want it. Good. Get that down. We are unfortunately mining all of this deep slate stuff, though, which is just a crap material to mine through. Excellent. Got some more materials. Ooh, cool. Ooh. 
Okay, I think we may be at the bottom level, but I don't know. I don't actually know what the bottom level is. Whoops, took a screenshot. We are at negative 14. Negative 14. Oh, wait, were we mining way too high? I think we may have been mining way too high. Okay, we, you're right. You guys are right in chat. We do actually have to go down deeper to find all the diamonds, and we will do that right this second. I was kind of like uh, getting bedrock, it seems, mixed up with the Java edition. I didn't realize we had negative values that we could go into. The negatives. That's not something that was ever kind of like hinted at while I was playing this. No one ever said that. No one ever said that you could go into the negatives. Okay, so if that's the case, if I go back into here and door this off, because we still have two doors, just in case anything does spawn in here, any grizzlies. Uh, let's go back home and we'll start digging way deeper, I think. You can't be mining when you're way too high? Uh, no, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine to mine when you're high, I think. I mean, if it was the other way around, the entire mining industry would just collapse overnight, right? Okay, so when we actually do look at our coordinates, here we are at level 10, but we need to be at, like, level negative 55 or something like that. I think that's what everybody was trying to communicate to me. Okay, we'll do that then. We'll definitely do that. We'll mine into here, and we'll start digging a little bit of egress down south. Uh, we'll get a little bit of a hallway going first, and then we'll start digging down. You guys were absolutely right, by the way, in chat. Every single one of you who said that I had to do this, you were completely and utterly right, and I was totally wrong. Good going. Good eyes. Good eyes, everybody. That would be effing scary. What, mining while high? It would be very, very scary, wouldn't it? Okay. We have kind of got to the deep slate area. Oh my god, I can't believe I spent, what, like three hours mining at the wrong level? That is so oafish. That is oafish behavior. Okay, we'll put a torch there because it looks nice. And we'll keep on coming down here. Oh, there's iron down here. I like that. Excellent. Immediate profit. Good. Get all of this here iron because there's lots of it, it seems. Nice. I think at this point, we should probably be thinking about getting some minecart tracks to take us up and down from the mine. Probably would make the most sense, right? All right, we'll get in here. I also remember something from the Bedrock Edition called a shulker box. I can't remember how to make them, but we're probably going to need one at some point as well. I seem to remember it's kind of like a way around having a limited inventory. I keep hearing it. Y11 is diamond level. Uh, no, that's that's not actually the case here. That is Bedrock Edition. So Bedrock Edition, the... Ah, uh, exactly. As we can see right here. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. Now, this would be an awesome place to put a forward operating base for a mine. Yeah. So in Bedrock Edition, I can tell you this for a fact, the lowest point you can get to is zero. Uh, that, that's where the floor just stops. That's where you get bedrock, right? But it's in the Java edition, and I keep forgetting this, you can go all the way down to like negative 64 or something like that. It's a bit excessive. I feel like maybe we should... Oh, this is getting a little bit hairy, I think. Is there a skeleton down here? There's no enemies. That's why it's so eerie and weird. Uh, I kind of want to keep on mining down in this line. So maybe we just glass wall all of this off. Would be a good idea. Let's get some of this gold. Nice. The abundance of iron is really useful. Absolutely. Absolutely, that is true. Yeah, this is sick, isn't it? I actually love it. Maybe when we get like a, a minecart, we want to kind of like skirt around here so we can get a nice view of this gigantic lava pool. What the hell are those things in the middle? I think it's just the shader pack, actually. Okay, so let's start getting some of this deep slate out. Maybe we do want to do that later, but for now, we'll just keep on continuing on this little mining path that we have here, and hopefully enemies won't spawn down here and gank us immediately. Uh, we're going to start having to stick the torches around the place. One there. A couple of them across these walls now. Oh, looks like something can spawn up there too. And put a torch there. Torch over here. Great. That is so sick. I actually love that. Can we, like, uh... Let's take a screenshot of this. Nice. 
So down here, we can still kind of get our cobble deep slate down here. By the way, we can still use this cobble deep slate as a resource to make tools, which is very, very cool. I found that out in one of the hardcore modes. Okay, that is going to hurt us every time we stand on it, so let's get rid of it. That is too hard for fist. Good. And now we are getting back into the region of let's go into the hole. Is that water? I can't tell. Is it oil? I don't know. Looks so cool though. My god, this place is all What is that? Oh, there's diamonds down there. Let's go take that. Let's go take those diamonds down here. Uh, here's some couple of deep slate. What the hell was that sound? I heard something very scary in the background. What in God's name? Okay, I'm sprinting over. I want to light this place up. Hey, diamonds. Nice. Okay. So that is awesome. We've got a little bit of diamonds there. Go ahead and torch this place a little bit better. Uh, before we kind of like commit to mining these diamonds out. Oh, that is so cool looking. What the hell was that sound? Oh, my God. Hi, friendo. Uh. Hey, buddy. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jensen. Um, do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh, whiffed it. Here we go. Oh, they are actually stuck on the dripstones. That's so funny. <laughs> They're so dumb. What the hell is that? Oh, I think that's the shader with the water. It's so beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't it? This is such a great little location. We're going to absolutely colonize this area. Or at least get like a, a base up in the ceiling. I think so we can overlook this place whenever we damn well please. Okay, we'll come over here. I don't think there's anything else up here though. That's the thing. I don't really think that we're about to be ambushed by anything else, which is just fantastic. Oh, look at this. My guys, look at this. What do we think of this? Do we love this? I actually love this. This is so cool. Yeah? Yeah? It's going to be the thumbnail. Okay, put a torch there. Good. There's like a little furnace. What is on that furnace? Now, there is also an item that I know we can craft in Java that you can't craft in Bedrock. It's called a spyglass. I think we'll just carry on this little uh, mine here to be honest. And we'll get a little flanking wall up beside us. When we, I almost forgot about these diamonds too. When we get to the point where we can actually reasonably get away with the kind of like minecarts down here, then we'll start kind of uh, laying out this area to, to flow through. Is that it? Is this it here? No, that's not it. Oh, piss off! There is a creeper over there. I saw a creeper. I took lots and lots of damage. Okay, this is our staircase. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually. Let's go ahead and just make this really, really annoying to get through if you were, in fact, I don't know, a creeper? There we go. That's going to piss him off. Good. Uh, let's keep on mining down. I, I, I've said enough. I've said enough. It's beautiful, but we must respect its, its boundaries. Okay, good. Probably also want to get some walls on the side of here so we don't get sniped by skeletons or something like that, too. Okay. Uh, torch right here. And, well, maybe we should wall these off now, sooner rather than later. Might be a really good idea. Let's do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, we'll get some cobble deep slate. We're going to kind of like... Whoops, that was not where I wanted to put that. We've just blocked off our only exit. Good. We'll put these here and here. We'll expand out the staircase. Oh, that creeper already sees us. That ain't good. So I just want to wall off everything from here on down. There, there. There, there, there. Just so that we don't get sniped by a skeleton or something. Because there will be skeletons all over the place. Eventually. Not right now, obviously, but there will be. There we go. Put all that there. Excellent. That creeper also can't get to us because I walled him off. Oh, well, sucks to suck. Get a lot of this place down. Right there. Very good. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Very good. You can't craft spy spyglass in bedrock. No, I don't think you can. I don't think you can craft the spyglass in the uh, Bedrock Edition. I don't actually think that the recipe is allowed. Okay, put that there. 
So we will respect this place. We won't come down here unless we actually really need to, right? Like, it's a great looking place, but ultimately, I think it's too dangerous to be down here. So let's kind of like try and wall off all of this as well so that nothing can jump up onto that platform as well. Uh, we're out of blocks, or are we? No, we still got uh, gravel and cobblestone. Let's use granite. What's sturdier? What's sturdier than cobblestone? Granite. Okay, wall off that. Now we can't go in there, which means they can't come in here. Beautiful. And now we go deeper. We're actually going deeper, by the way. I can't believe we're actually going deeper after discovering such an awesome little place. Okay, we'll keep on going down. I'm probably actually going to put this in our offhand rather than our shield because we're probably outgrowing the shield in this shaft right here. Ooh. Good. We'll keep on going down. And mine all of this out. I'm really sorry to anybody watching this who was playing on the Java edition. Because quite frankly, it would be really frustrating for somebody to be given direct information and then just ignore it. Where are we? Uh, we are at negative 31. Okay, we've got to keep on going down. We want to go to basically negative 60, I think. Yep, there's a zombie around us. We might be mining into another shaft. There's some redstone. I'm not going to take it, though. Yep, I'm definitely going to take that one because it's in the way. But I think when we stand on the redstone, it glows, which gives us kind of like some free light. Okay, we definitely need to go ahead and torch this place up. One there. That's okay. I fancy this. Okay, someone is doing a bit of a moan. That's gross. I wonder if they're fornicating in the walls. I wonder if the zombies are fornicating in the walls. And now in saying that, I don't wonder that whatsoever. I don't even want to think about it. Oh, this is weird material. What is this? This is tough. Is it? I mean, it's not, though. It's, re it's really not tough at all. It's actually very flimsy. Fortunately, it was directly in the path. Okay, good. Get rid of all of this tough. Ugh. I don't know if it's supposed to be, like, rotting corpse material or something like that. Why would that even cross my mind? Okay, we'll come down here. Keep on mining downwards. Uh, we're also going to make, like, a, another little operating base down south side. We're definitely taking this iron. The iron's always useful no matter where you are in the game. We'll keep on going down. Well, actually, this would be a really good place to put a torch. And also, so would maybe, I don't know, up here in this tuff. Like there, perhaps? Actually, I'm going to put another one right there as well. Good. Okay, so... I don't know what we're actually going to find beneath the zero level of Java. We're all going to be learning together, I suppose, which is the whole point of this playthrough. Okay, we'll come down here. Still busting down. I still hear the zombies. They do sound to be in front of us, but I think they're above. I'm going to, like, trying to gauge where they are based on sound proximity, which is a method. It does work. Minecraft is a special game. It's so good that we even have 2D Minecraft. Yeah, we even have Diablo Minecraft, which, got to be said, is actually really fun. The um, Minecraft Dungeons, that is such a good game. Uh, My Microsoft did not drop the ball on that one. They absolutely ca they caught lightning in a bottle with that one. Okay, that should be fine. We're going to have to mine another block above us as well at some point. We've almost busted out this entire pickaxe just getting down here. Where are we? We are currently at negative 58. We are so close to where we want to be. I think we take out another level. And then we start hollowing out. Yes! That is bedrock. That is definitely bedrock. Okay. Let's go ahead and fill that in. So, now we're actually at an ideal place to be getting all of the resources we wanted. Which is negative 59. It's kind of where I wanted to be-ish. But what I am going to do, and a lot of people might not like this necessarily, is I'm going to fill it in up to level 56, negative 56, about here, I think. Perfect, negative 56, because we don't want to spawn too far down. That's the thing. Diamonds are going to be spawning around about this level anyway, so we don't want to be lower rather than higher, simply because if we get caught in lava above us, we're definitely going to catch it at the lower levels. 
Okay, good. I'm going to mine that out, and we're going to put a door down here as well, just so that we can separate everything out. There we go. That's very dungeon-esque. Good. Right. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to put down a torch right there, and now we're going to go ahead and start mining out some kind of wall, I think. Yeah, let's mine out here. We'll go three high. Hopefully there's no lava above us, because otherwise we will die and lose literally everything. Good, the light is expanding a little bit. Good, we'll go like five deep in here, maybe? It'll make a decent kind of mining outpost. Whew. Minecraft Dungeon Dungeons was my favorite. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a fun game, right? I, it's probably the first game in a few years where I haven't felt too guilty about spending lots of money on a DLC. And it was as soon as I got it. Yeah, exactly. After I lost the controllers to my console, I was never able to play the games mentioned before. Oh, that sucks. That actually sucks. That that really hurts. That hurts to hear. It really sucks when people lose controllers and stuff like that. All right, we've got some gravel here. That's not amazing. Let's not waste our iron pick on it. Okay, that's going to be annoying to mine out later. Let's get rid of all of this. More gravel? Nope. No more gravel. We may expand this out at some point, but we don't need to just yet. We'll mine two into here as well. We'll get it nice and symmetrical. And this will be the central hub for our brand new mine, I think. It was pretty bad, but I got new games on a PC instead. Yeah, that's. I think that's the way to go, honestly. If you've got a good backlog of games on your PC, they definitely compensate for when you lose controllers and stuff like that. Oh, actually, if you play any PC games with a controller and you don't like the gamepad and how that's laid up, Sony actually released the firmware for the DualSense 5 controllers, the ones for PlayStation 5, and they are now fully supported on PC. So if you want to play a PlayStation controller on PC, you no longer have to do all of the really heinous, absolute chore that was getting uh what was it called it was like there was a virtual machine that kind of allowed you to use a controller i don't remember what it was called though it's really fiddly to get working it was like vmware or something like that not a virtual machine something like that i got games like mind Street. nice more automation games i love automation games okay we'll bust through all of this and then we'll set up our furnace rack probably recessed into the wall uh, we're probably going to lose our pickaxe but before we're finished with this, though. We may have to go over to the diamond pick. Yep, we're absolutely going to have to. Oh, we got a stone pick anyway. Let's use that for a bit. But we don't want to waste our diamond pick on crap like this. Okay, uh, maybe two more this way. And we should be in a real good spot. Excellent. Have you played Hydroneer? That one's a fun one. That's a, yeah, Hydroneer is a good friend of the channel. That is such a fun game. Oh my god. Everybody that I have kind of like shown Hydronair has gotten really addicted to it at some point, right? Uh, I got a friend. He keeps popping up at the chat every now and then. Z30. I got him a free key when I reached out to the, the developers about a bug and they kind of gave me a couple of keys to give away on stream. I still have one of them. I don't know how I'm going to give it away though. And uh, I saw that he dumped like 40 hours into it as soon as he realized that it's not actually broken. Because he thought it was broken. And we did have a couple of nasty bugs right off rip when we started streaming it, but... They were pretty easy fixes, in my opinion. Not in the opinion of the developers, though. Okay, we'll get all of this out of the way. That's a lot of redstone. I wonder what redstone actually is supposed to be. Probably just some kind of flux, right? Okay, we'll mine all of this out. Uh, that's going to take ages. Let's get this lapis off our bar and we'll start using this diamond pickaxe. Which has unbreaking. Nice. And efficiency. I love that. All right, good. Mine into here. And, I don't know, like one more wall, I think. And we should be good. There and there. Excellent. Uh, let's bust all of this down with our stone pick. It's going to take a wee while, but it's going to be worth it. And I think we're probably going to theme down here with a bunch of iron chains and gates and stuff, right? Because it kind of feels like a, an old 1800s English prison, but really miserable. Really miserable kind of stuff. Oliver Twist kind of miserable. Ah, time to get addicted. Redstone is what copper was meant to be. Yes, it is. 
Although redstone also has its own uh, power source, whereas copper needs power to actually conduct. Okay, good, or heat, something like that. Where is torches? Okay, they're here. So I'll get one here, one torch here, one torch here. I'll mine out right here. This can be another doorway right here that leads into our actual mine that we will be mining. Okay, so as soon as we walk in here, we probably want the center of the room to have a crafting bench right there. Very nice. Cash money indeed. How do we make one? We need one of these logs to planks and four of these planks into a crafting table. And thus, we have it. Put that right there. Now, let's get ourselves a few of these furnaces. Does this work? Yes, it does. Good God, yes. We might want to disable our mine up top side and start putting the auto smelter in here. That might be a really good idea. We don't really have a, a tall enough... Well, we can always mine upwards, though. Uh, for now, we'll just kind of, like, get a few furnaces up and ready to go. Uh, let's get a couple of acacia logs to burn half of the stacks. We get a little bit of charcoal. And we need chests. We need a couple of double chests. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. 32. Excellent. One, two, three, and four. Good. We'll get two double chests. One of them will be for ores. One of them will be for just crap, I think. Okay, we probably want to take the building in that way one because it's now non-symmetrical. All right, good. Put this charcoal on here and get the rest of that charcoal on the boil. Uh, this will be valuables. Stick all of our lapis and redstone stuff in here. Raw gold. That could probably be smelted. Yeah, we definitely need a hopper. We definitely need a hopper. I'm just going to start putting all the raw stuff in here first. Uh, actually, we should probably put that in the valuables chest and all of the other crap we don't want in here, right? Double deep slate, dripstone block. Yucky, yucky. Who wants that? Let's stick our resources in here. Good. I think we may actually go up and move our auto smelter down here. That might actually be a really good idea. Just mine out one more wall. Simply because... We don't have a symmetrical base of operations just yet, and we want that. Yes. And for whatever reason, they didn't use copper. It was probably because they couldn't... They needed batteries or something to justify actually having a power source, right? I wonder why redstone wires don't just minimally power itself. They do. Kind of. They do kind of. If you take redstone wires and you stick it on a stick, that stick is made of wood. Wood is non-conductive. So the redstone must, by definition, power itself in some way or another. I'm going to put that there, put that there, good. Put that there, put that there. And we'll get rid of these ones. Now we're going to go upstairs. We are actually going to do it, by the way. We're going to go upstairs, and we're going to go and get ourselves our other smeltery, I think. Would be a really good idea. Okay, jumping on that lights it up. Yes, definitely. Let's get rid of these so we don't hit our head on them when we come back up here. We probably should have done this in the first place, shouldn't we? Okay, good. Get rid of all this crap. All of this head hitting crap. I don't like it. Sam, I am. I do not like hitting my head on crap. <sighs> I didn't think of that. So I'm back after almost an hour. Hey there, case the blocks fruits. It has been almost an hour. Uh, okay, so we'll come in here. I think the door should basically just stay where it is. We are down at one of the lowest levels that we can get to reasonably. And we're probably going to be hoping for diamonds at this point. We want a, an entire diamond armor. We already had iron in this session, but now we are getting greedy and we want lots and lots of diamond armor. Come up here. We also got an enchanting table. You missed that one too. We'll come up here. Very good. And we'll mine all of this out. I don't want to hit my head on it, essentially. Because uh, it kind of slows us down. And we also want some mine tracks. Come up here. We're probably just going to use exclusively powered rails, I think. The hell was that sound? Well, that was needlessly creepy. Okay, uh, I'm going to get rid of that one. Good. And I'm going to get rid of that one and that one. Can they get up here? Kind of. I'm going to mine these out so nothing can actually come up here and get us. Because we are way out of the way. Excellent. It's going to be really hard to get up here now. 
I don't think a mob will be able to climb up this. Okay, I'm happy with this. Nice. Let's go up here. What's been going on while I was gone? You're looking at it. We were making ourselves a forever mine. We've gone down to one of the smallest numbers possible, which is a negative number, and it's big. Okay, they, there goes our pickaxe. Let's just use the diamond one because it's fast. Uh, get rid of all of this. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I was using the numbers from the Java edition. It wasn't until we hit F3 and I actually saw the um, locations that we were kind of committing to memory that I realized that we weren't actually at the Java edition's most efficient height. Okay, it looks kind of nighty up there. Do we still have that bed? What do we do with that bed? We put it down here, didn't we? Yeah, we put it on this little mezzanine floor. Okay, it's not nighttime apparently, but I don't see any god rays coming through the tunnel. Oh, maybe it's because we're using a different shader pack. Okay, we'll go to, back to the other shader pack. The only reason I use, whoops, not that one. The only reason I used the other shader pack was simply because we like the sunrises and sunsets of BSL. Complimentary, I think it's just best in just about every way, shape, and form. Good. Uh, still no god rays, though. Got a little bit of bloom. I like that. Look at so. We've got a bunch of mob crap in here. Let's put the leather in here because we're realistically not going to want it on our hopper. Uh, we want to dismantle this entire operation and we want to bring it downstairs. So let's start with this here chest. Boop. Done. And we're sticking all of our valuables. We're keeping them. We're keeping all of our valuables. We're actually probably going to take all of these valuables as well. And hopefully we'll be able to mine out all of these things here. Excellent. Nice. And we want to axe all of this stuff out. Good. Okay, so we've got all of the infrastructure needed to get ourselves a decent auto smelter. I'm so glad I mined out all of those head knocking blocks. Yes, I know there's gold right beside us. I'm not really interested in it. Unless we just spam powered rails right up the stairway so that we don't have to bother with uh, climbing it ourselves. Good. But that's going to require a lot of redstone, I think. All right, good. We do have a lot of redstone. Okay, this is awesome. We probably want to mine one block higher now. And then we're going to set up this auto smelter above us. Well, maybe not above us, but it needs to be four blocks high, I seem to remember, so that we can get to the chest above it. Okay, I'll just mine out this bit first. Good. And this should be enough. If we have to take it out one more lift, I don't mind. But I won't want to do it necessarily. Okay, let's go ahead and stick our chests down. Right here. Whoops, that's a bucket of water. Thank you, game. Here and here. Good. Uh, we want them one forward, actually. So let's put them there. Knock these ones down. And we need a hopper to go into the back of this. Hopper, please. Not iron ingots. We need hoppers. Great. Uh, let's put this hopper right here. Is that the center? Yeah, that's the center. Good. So we need a furnace. The, we actually have a furnace on us. Good, this one will do the trick. I don't like the sword. Put that there. And we'll get a hopper here leading into the side and a hopper up top here. Good. I think we will have to take this one lift higher so that we can access the chest behind here. Put that one there. We can definitely access that one. Can't access that one. Okay, we definitely have to take it up one block higher, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind. We'll go high. Good. Okay, now that we got that done, we can actually start filtering all of our charcoal and our coal into there so we can filter all of our stuff into the furnace. And now in this chest, this will be all of our unprocessed materials, which we don't have, hilariously. Okay, which means this is going to be our ore chest or our melted stuff chest. We got 64 ingots of copper. I do not like that. Ah, we do actually have some stuff to stick into the furnace right there. Got a lot of stuff, actually. Got two diamonds, which is not ideal. We probably want more of those, if, especially if we're going to be using these picks. Whoops. I hit F1. I can't remember what that does. Okay, so now that we've got this, we want to probably dump everything we have into here. Boop, boop. And that should be cooking all of our gold into ingots. And we also want to get ourselves more of these iron picks, don't we? 
We don't have any sticks on us, which is a little bit strange. Why not? Huh, okay. Wait, all right, we will get some sticks out of these acacia logs. We'll just go topside if we need anything more, because at this current juncture, we don't really need wood for anything else. Imagine there's randomly lava above them. No, please don't imagine that, because if you picture it, it has power. If you can imagine it, it gives it power. Never give a monster a name. Okay, good, we've got some sticks. Get ourselves some iron ingots out of this chest right here. We've got a lot of iron, actually. Okay, so we need two more of these iron picks, maybe three more, and we'll start doing a heap of mining. This should be most of the mining until we get our forever base set up, right? Okay, we have our door too, right? Do we have a spear acacia door? No. Let's go ahead and make one. Boop, put that there. Good. Dump that into doors, because doors are actually very helpful. Where's our crap chest? This one right here. We'll dump everything we don't want into our crap chest. Uh, we'll keep those acacia logs because they're kind of handy. Dripstones, yuck. Cobble deep slate, yuck. We've got a stone pickaxe as well, so we can use that in a pinch. Okay, I'm happy with this. We still have a boat in our inventory. I don't think we're ever going to be using a boat down here. But who knows, actually. You never know where the day might take you. Okay, we'll get that mined out, and we are wanting to get this water bucket off of our hot bar for some reason. It's there. Probably want to go ahead and get our acacia door as well. We'll dump that there. Excellent. And we probably want a pressure plate on the other side of it so that it automatically closes behind us too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make another pressure plate. Boop. Good. Put that right here. Excellent. And now we are in the mine. Nope. That's not what we want. So we want to go like a three in here, right? And then we want to start branch mining, I suppose. So right there. Good. Kind of hard to tell the difference between when we're actually being attacked by a skeleton now and whether or not we are mining these little bits of slate. I don't like the slate, actually. The slate is kind of yucky. All right, good. That's five that way. I've got a, I've got a technique of branch mining that seems to be working out significantly better than everyone else's technique of branch mining. Everyone else keeps saying just branch mine every, like, three blocks, but if you do it every four, it's still highly unlikely that you're going to find a single block just in this vein right here. You're looking for veins, necessarily, not blocks. So if you go three wide, it makes a lot more sense to me. God damn it, it's dark down here, though. God, I hate this. Yuck. Yucky! All right, good. Get all of that out of the way. Put a torch down here, because I can't see anything. Go this way this time. How much is there actually to see deep underground? Is there actually a lot to see deep underground? Or is it just literally this forever? Because this could get cumbersome. This could become a real pain in the ass eventually. All right. Two. Three. Branch. And hole for the torch. Good. We can do it with a few canaries down this mine as well, I think. All right, good. Mine all of this stuff out. Not a hell of a lot down here for us, unfortunately. We have some real bad luck down here. We obviously found that gigantic cavern, but we haven't actually found any decent resources, aside from a single diamond, which was just sticking out from the earth. Okay. One, and two, and three in here, and then a gap where we put our branch, and then a hole for the torch. Done. Excellent. One, two, three, four... Five, nothing. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, I know a lot of people are going to be saying you need to go all the way down to bedrock, but here's the thing, right? When you are looking for ores, you want to maximize the amount of potential spawns that you can have. So, if you're right down at bedrock and there is bedrock at your feet, there is no way that that could have ever been a diamond block. So there's no point in going down that far anyway, because you were just guaranteeing that there's an entire surface in front of you that you can't utilize. I have never seen nor heard of branch mining. Yeah, a lot of the people in the streams were kind of like talking about branch mining. I kind of feel like the entire Minecraft community was doing it wrong, though, because after the stream where somebody said, why aren't you branch mining, you dumbass? You, if, if you branch mine, you'll find better ores. And I'm like, yeah, but they're all the same ores anyway. Um, you're just being offensive. And uh, people get real violent about this. 
Well, maybe not violent, but they definitely stick to their guns and they say branch mining is just the way forward. Despite the fact that the evidence presented is actually zero. There's zero efficiency for it. So essentially how it works is what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mine out a big line like this, right? A big line into a face so that you can walk in here. And then you go two blocks and then you start digging a branch so that you can see on the face of this line and you can also see on the face of this line with the previous branch as well. Thus, you increase the surface area that you're actually finding ores at. But here's the thing. Minecraft does not often spawn items in a single block unless they are specifically diamonds and it's highly unlikely that this is going to uh, really debunk anything else. If you space them out three, one, two, three, and then you go in here, Oh, was that weird? Then you can't see what is in this mine, but it's highly likely that if you encounter a vein, that you'll be able to see on the outside of it. Two, three, and four, and five. The only reason I'm doing it now, I don't even like branch mining, it's boring as hell, but the only reason I'm doing it now is specifically because the, it does increase surface area. Like I understand that much. What I used to do is dig a gigantic straight line. And unfortunately, the downside of that is when you have finished digging your gigantic straight line, you would have to run all the way back to the beginning. So by doing it like this, you're actually increasing the amount of... You're decreasing the amount of time it takes to get the resources all the way back to your base. Thank you, Minecraft Day. Yes, always thank Minecraft Day. But ultimately, it's, it's not actually as effective as a lot of people have uh, led each other to believe. I don't think we've actually found any evidence of branch mining being effective whatsoever. It's just been... It seems like the Cliffs and Caves updates has just massively deflated the amount of ores that can spawn in the game. And I kind of get the logic. It will work really, really well on Bedrock. Like, I get that. It worked phenomenally well on Bedrock. But it doesn't really seem like it... It doesn't make it a single lick of a difference on Java. Because it seems like all of the spawns in Java are just really far apart anyway. So I've got a little bit of a system. I like to mine five into these branches because I can do that with one hand. I'll go both top and bottom in case I ever want to go into one of these branches to mine out a different direction. But it's not really necessary to do, ultimately. You could theoretically save a lot of time just by digging into a single face and making one single line, right? Because what you're doing there is you are creating four faces that could potentially have an ore on it, whereas if you are kind of like digging out like this. So if I dig this out here, right, you can see that face, that face, that face, and that face. If I dig this one out, you can see that face, that face, that face, that face, and obviously the far back one. Keep on digging this one out. You're increasing the surface area that you can see by four faces. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I hope. I hope that makes a lot of sense because I'm counting them as I mine them. But, here's the thing, when you go one further down, you are only increasing it by one, two, three faces. So you're actually reducing the amount of um, potential that you could find ores in. The only reason that you would want to do uh, two by one is if you ever intend to actually walk into the mine. So if you're doing this temporarily, I wouldn't even waste my breath. I wouldn't even bother. I, w I wouldn't give them the steam off my piss just to look in here and mine two by ones it makes no sense to be doing that if you're in a temporary location however if you're in kind of like a forever mine which is where we found ourselves right now we are going to be doing two buys because we intend to take one of these branching paths at some point and then mine down there religiously because eventually we'll just find everything we need we haven't found a single material down here and we just burned through an entire iron pickaxe seriously yeah one two Three, and another gap right here. That's going to be the branch. That's going to be the torch. Done. I like placing the torches down so I can see as well. This is an interesting strat. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Because on the one hand, everybody who says branch mining is better than strip mining is just flat out wrong, right? It's exactly the same thing. It doesn't actually increase any area that you can use to see faces. But what it does do is it allows you to be able to run back to your base faster. So it's efficient for, like, speed and not so much any other reason in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'll keep on going through here. This is what I do. 
The pickaxe tax rat. Yeah, it is. We haven't found a single resource down here, unfortunately. You branch mine? Why do you branch mine, Dead Space, mate? Is it because you read on the internet that it is more effective? Because I've just proven with some very simple mathematics that, or geometry, really, that it's not. It, it's, it's not any better than, than strip mining or anything like that. You're just as likely to encounter ore veins if you strip mine as if you branch mine. Because you are still spending the same amount of time mining out the blocks. That's the thing. You, you're not saving any time by doing any branch mining unless you're running back to your base. That's it. And when people strip mine, they tend to just, like, take a branch anyway. I don't think it really does anything. I, I don't think it does anything different whatsoever, other than give you a better and clearer egress to the end. And if your mine gets big enough, you're not going to be able to see it anyway. So at some point, you're just going to have to start putting down signs that kind of tell you exactly which direction to go in. All right. Mine all of this out. Good. Yeah. We're starting to fill up our inventory with all of this cobble deep slate. Still haven't found diamonds, as was promised to me by a bunch of different people. Uh, that is the one we mine out. Three along. Good. I don't... I just do one and stay in a line and do the next. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the probably just the laziest way you could do it. Because it, it, even though you run back to your base faster, I think it saves you time in literally moving your mouse and micromanaging your dig every, every few milliseconds. Right? Every half a second, you have to readjust the mouse so that you're looking at a different block. And the whole, like, um, strip mining is, is just absolutely fine. Simply because you don't have to have to really readjust your mouse. You can turn yourself off. It's actually, that's probably better for controllers. Strip mining is probably best for controllers. Is this different? Is this that tough stuff? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, we're still not finding any goodies down here. That's a shame. I was promised goodies. Oh, would you look at that? Diamonds. See, look, we increased the surface face by four, and we saw these diamonds. Now, if we're increasing it by three, right down here, then we're actually minimizing the amount of digging that we're doing to get these diamonds. It was just lucky that I had to come down here to get these diamonds. Hey, that's what I like to see. Get rid of all this tough stuff. How big is this vein? That's ah, big enough. Okay, we'll put that down there. Excellent. And we'll keep on going down. Finally, profit. Oh my God, and it only took an hour. You jinxed it. <laughs> what do you mean I jinxed it? All right, good. And come along here. One, two, three. That is supposed to be the branch. And stick that there. The only reason I'm really doing the branching, honestly, I would rather strip mine. The only reason I'm branching is simply because everybody in chat keeps demanding that I do it instead of the inferior strip mining, which is not inferior because you maximize the potential of running into a... Um, cave. A cave system, which usually just has low-hanging ore fruit that you can pick with your pickaxe. If you will pardon the, um, very heavy-handed allegory. Like, it's so much easier. It's so much easier to strip mine. But go five in here. We're not really finding a hell of a lot of stuff in here, though. Maybe tough is where the diamonds are. I don't know. If we find any more diamonds amongst this tough stuff, then we're probably... And a good spot just to look for tough, right? Which, again, branch mining won't help with. You'd want a strip mine to find this uh, little material re right here. If that is actually the case. Oh, gold. Okay, good. Ooh. The pressure is crazy. What do you mean the pressure is crazy? There's no pressure in here. No one here is pressuring anybody into anything. Okay. It was brave of me to dig upwards like that, but I did not see any lava coming down. So, probably for the best. One, two, three, four, and five. I feel like we should be looking for the tough. It is actually significantly better, I would say. How many diamonds have we got? Five. We've got five diamonds in our pocket right now. That's actually not a bad haul. Hey, redstone, that's what I like to see. Ah, oh, bugger. It's, uh, it's where we want to put our torch, though. Oh, well. I'll just dig that out, put a torch there. Good. And we want a branch... No, we don't want to branch into there. Okay, good. Mine that out. Put that there. And now we want to mine all of this. Maybe we should be mining out all the tough. Oh, we should be mining out all the tough. This is where the diamonds are. Screw this deep slate crap. Okay, we're not going to be doing deep slate anymore. We're going to be specifically looking for tough. Good. We'll mine out all of the tough that we possibly can, every single instance that we can. 
Okay, we're probably good to go down here into this tough a little bit further. Nothing. Okay. Well, it was a nice little experiment. Nothing down there, nothing down there. I'm looking for the tough pockets. Okay. We'll keep on going onwards because we're getting into more tough here. All right, that's one, two, three. That is going to be the branch right there. And here is where the torch goes. Boom. One, two. We're going to go into the tough as far as we possibly can. Okay. Got another pickaxe, fortunately. We made four iron pickaxes. We haven't made a single block of iron out of this entire journey. Not good. Not good. Okay, mining all of this out. I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good retrospectively. Like, realistically, we have found diamonds. We've got seven in our pocket, which is at least a chest plate. No, it's not. It's one shy of a chest plate. Okay, so if we can get a chest plate and maybe a few other little goodies out of this excursion, we'll be in a very, very good spot for the next session. We'll probably get into enchanting really hard as well. I'll see what we can do with the, what are they called? Monster spawners too. Maybe we can make some mob farms, get some experience farms going. And then we can get really, really deep into the delicious enchanting of this game. Because enchanting is awesome. I love enchanting in this game so much. Hey, nice, more diamonds. Okay, good. Mind that up. Beautiful, it's a big vein. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I feel like I'm at a blood clinic and a guy who does cardio just walked in. That's how big this vein is. Okay, good. Go ahead and put a torch there to celebrate. It's, it's always worth spending a, a torch to celebrate, I think. Three and four. And we'll get this one here. Put a torch there and we'll mine into this branch right here. We'll keep on going on through. There we go. And through here as well. Nothing. At least we can collect all of this deep slate. Which we probably don't actually want. Should be getting into another pocket of tough as well. Or maybe this is just all deep slate. It's hard to say with the shader pack. Oh, diamonds! Look! I found diamonds! Let's get this right here. Nice. Awesome. Apparently there were more diamonds around the place. Okay. We'll come on through here. Two down here, three down here, and this will be the branch. And this is where we put our torch. Boop. Grab torches. Okay, so we've got to go back to the start anyway. Because we need to be able to ignite... Oh, we've still got a few more torches. Probably don't need the crossbow on us. Go ahead, put that on our offhand. I thought we'd probably actually run out of these pickaxes before we ran out of torches. But it seems like that's not the case whatsoever. Okay, good. Keep on coming on down here. We might find diamonds. We might find more diamonds. I doubt it though. They seem to be very sparse as a resource. What the hell was that? Was it an ancient city? What was that sound? I'm going towards it. Against literally my best judgment. What a dumb idea this is. This is bad. I shouldn't be doing this. Why am I doing this? Okay, I'm going to torch this entire area up. Good. I'm going to go further on into here as well. Oh, awesome. We're in the tough. We're probably going to find diamonds in this little pocket right here. Because that actually does seem to be the case. You can usually find diamonds in these pockets of tough. Good. Hey, redstone. That's what I like to see. Love a bit of redstone. Good. Mine out all of this. What was that sound? I'm going towards it. Hello, game? Don't blow my balls. Please? They're so blue. Or not. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Look, I'm just going to torch down here, and then we're going to ignore this place completely. We're out of torches. We didn't find any diamonds down that little strip mine we made right at the end there. Oh. There we go, good. Take those ones. I think I was intentionally leaving those ones there. We're definitely going to need minecart rails to get down here as well. Okay, we're running all the way back as if we're being chased by a bunch of strigoi, but we are not. Okay. Into the chest they go. We've got some gold. And that's it. We got no iron, which is bad. Very bad. 17 diamonds, though. Jesus, that's good. We've got a total of 19. That's pretty awesome. 
What else have we got? We have some redstone that we can put into the valuables chest right here. Don't have any lapis, don't have anything else. We've got a lot of cobbled deep slate. Go ahead and dump that into this chest. We may need it, we may not. Probably not though. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make another two iron pickaxes. We're gonna burn them out and then we should be absolutely golden from down here, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Good, and now we need sticks, which we actually do have. Two more. One, two, we're going back into the mine, guys. We are actually going back in, okay? We're going back in. For the most thrilling Let's Play of Minecraft anybody has ever seen. Epilepsy Simulator, the game. I love how people put down like um, something simulator and then they have in brackets, it's a game. Like if you have to tell people it's a game, it's probably not fun. Okay, and two. And three. And this is not where we branch out. We want to branch out even further. Oh, that's why we were going back. We needed the torches. Okay. We should have cooked all of our charcoal up. So we should have a pretty good sense of torches, right? We should have a lot of torches. I'm assuming so. Okay. Come on through here. Good. And... This is not what we want. We want the... Well, we do actually. Where's the charcoal gone? Is it all in here? Oh, so it is. Okay. Oh, I don't want all of that. Oh, well, I'll take it all. Sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and stick our sticks here and our charcoal here because we won't need sticks anymore. We'll put the coal in this here chest right there. Very cash money. And now we'll keep on going through this mine. Okay. We head bobbing our way through. I love this. I love how shiny the stone is. It actually does give a feel of kind of like, it's polished. It's polished stone. It feels good. It feels good to be around. Okay, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Put a random torch up. Uh, put that on our hot bar. That there. Good. Now we'll go five in here. Three. What the hell was that sound? I think I heard something. Or maybe it was something outside of my own actual house. Hard to say sometimes. Sometimes my flatmates play tricks on me and they start banging things around outside the office. Just to make me think that there's like a car crash or something. Which now that I say it out loud is not actually a very funny prank. <laughs> okay, good. So we'll knock all of this around. Good, that's three. We'll come into here. And we'll knock that out as the branch. Good. And we'll put that there. Nice. Back. Hey there. Hey there, average user. Okay. Just got to mine out all of this. God, I wish this was a temporary mine. If we could just do like pockets of, of one by one, that would be so much more helpful. Then, once you see something in there, you go for it. Okay, good. Keep on going through here. Excellent. Mine this out. Mine this out. Mine this out. Put a torch here. Mine out these branches. These little flanges coming out the sides here. Excellent. I'm all the way through here. Still nothing. We can probably start making our tools out of diamond at this point, honestly. Okay, I'm going to burn through all of these here tools. We've got a few more iron pickaxes to get through. And then I'm going to start making all of our tools out of diamond. How does that sound? Because to me, that sounds pretty cash money, honestly. Two and three. This is kind of slow anyway. The iron pickaxes, not amazing. Is that gravel? Down here. Really? Oh, it is gravel. Why? Okay, we'll break that and put down a torch. Whoops. Okay, we'll just bust it down then, I suppose. All right, we've got some flint out of that one. I'm just going to beat these with our fists because we do need lots and lots of flint. Okay, good. We're through. Okay, this is supposed to be a branch. Let's go ahead and branch this out. Two. And. Three. Four. What the? What the hell is that sound? That deep guttural rumbling. You guys hear it, don't you? Surely you guys hear that. Am I being stalked? I feel like I'm being stalked.
Okay, that is sus. That is super sus. Weird. I really don't? Okay. One, two, three. Branch. Torch. Okay, uh, it doesn't really matter. We got enough iron pickaxes. We can just bust them out with these here. Iron pickaxes. I don't mind. I think my volume is low. Uh, maybe my volume's low. I keep hearing these, like, low guttural atmospheric grumblings, and I don't know if it's actually supposed to be a part of the game. I'm gonna fist this. Hopefully we can get some flint. Or not. Okay, I'll mine this out. Excellent. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, we'll bust these down. Two and three. And this is the block where the branches go. And one for a torch right there. We'll keep on mining into here. Very good. I do like the lack of water in here. It does sound like it's coming from the headphones. Okay. Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Hey, redstone! Finally, a little bit of profit. All right, good. Yeah, I'm probably going to start making a bunch of diamond picks, honestly, at this point. How did we miss this? Did we miss this? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we're going to torch that up there. Or we could just connect it up to the other side. Ah, oh, nah, why, why bother? Why bother overwork, right? Two and three. And this is where the branch goes. And one more. Boop. Put that there. Good. Okay, now... If I count out what we're supposed to be needing for a set of diamond armor, we're going to need four for boots, five for helmet, that's nine. We're going to need eight for a chest plate, that is 17. We have 19. And we also need pants, which is going to be another seven. So 19, that's 26. We need 26. Oop, that's a bit long. We're going to need 26 diamonds for a full set of armor, I think. Okay, keep on popping through here. Good. You find so many diamonds, it's worth making diamond pickaxes? I feel like you're probably right, actually. They've got a higher durability as well. I'm just a little concerned that we don't have enough diamond yield to really sustain it. That's my main issue now. Put that there. Good. And we'll keep on going through. 24 of any item for a full set of armor. Okay. I miscounted. My bad. My bad. Oops. <laughs> Good to know, though. I'll commit that to memory. 24. Like the TV show with Jack Bauer. I wonder if they're still going. Probably not, honestly. I bet it got cancelled years and years ago. Maybe decades ago. All right. Good. That's three. And now we need one for the branch. One for the torch. And we're going branching. I don't know. I don't know if this strategy... I don't... <sighs> if I don't like something, why am I still doing it? It doesn't really appear to be a good one, right? It's tough in here. Okay, well, it's not deep slate, so let's start mining it out. Okay, gonna go this way now. Into the tough. Five, okay, nothing, it seems. What about in this way? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, I'm pretty happy with that. Out we go. Okay, uh, this way as well. One, two, three. Three, four, and five. Pretty good. Ah. Five plus four is nine. Seven plus eight is 15. So 15 plus nine. Right, yeah, that's 26. It's 26. It's simple math. Quick math. Okay, nice. Found some gold as well. I'm not going to make anything out of gold. Uh, that is where the branches go. This is where torches go. We're going to be mining this out anyway, obviously, because it's gold. Why would I not be mining the gold when I see it? Good. Get all of this out of the way. Get this whole pocket. Nice. I was hoping for diamonds on the other side. We'll keep on branching, though. Two, three, four, and five down here. So we did drill a little pocket into here to see what we could see. And there wasn't really anything down here. So, probably going to... We might find something on the next branch, honestly. We'll go through it anyway, because it's really easy to mine. You said 26 again? Yeah, yeah, it's 26. Everyone knows that. 15 plus 9 is 26. Come on. Where did you go to school? All right, good. Three in. And now this is the branch. And here we go. We'll put that there. Excellent. And we'll keep on busting through here, because it's soft and it's easy to do. 
Excellent. And I'm going to carry this branch all the way to the end. Just because it's easy to do. Uh, I think we're probably back in the deep slate here. Okay. There was nothing in there. It's always worth a try, though. Okay, we'll keep on busting through these. Yep. Is that our last one? No, we still got one more to go. And then we'll be using exclusively diamond picks. We should find some diamonds by the time that we actually get these diamond picks anyway. Okay, good. Mine out this one. Mine a little pocket for the torch. Torch tax. Ah, nice. More tough. I kind of like the tough now that I know that diamonds can spawn inside of it. It's not so bad. Not as bad as I thought it was. I'm going to mine to the end. Put a torch there. Okay. Obviously, I see this redstone. We are going to be taking it. Just want to kind of like get all the way in here before we commit to it. Maybe one more. Okay, nothing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, that was only three. Branch, and this is where the pocket goes for the torch. Excellent. We'll get this redstone. Yummy, yummy. I like redstone. A little bit of experience here. Great. Wow, this is a big pocket. We got 19 levels, by the way. That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good for somebody who isn't doing the combat whatsoever. Okay, let's start mining into these pockets. Come in here. More tough down here. Oh, I, I see that you're using math. Um, I, I feel like you may have missed the, um, missed the meme, possibly, <laughs> of it equaling 26. It's 26, like the TV show with Jack Bauer. Okay, good. I'm down here. I'm going to mine out a little pocket of this tough. See if there's anything down here. I feel like it's probably worth our time just to mine out this tough anyway. Because it's super soft. It's super squishy. I'm going to go through. Okay, nothing. Mark that as nothing. Come down here. I'm all the way through this away. One, two, three. Little pocket for the torch right there. And we go in. So we haven't actually found any diamonds since we crafted any of these other pickaxes, which is not amazing. That's really bad, actually. That is super bad. Are we in a weird biome or something? What biome are we in? Uh, where the hell do we even know? I have no idea. I have no idea what biome we're in based on this screen right here. Okay, it's confusing. It's just confusing. Oh, I've been bamboozled. Yes, you got bamboozled and you got hoodwinked. You got hoodwinked. Okay, we'll come in here. Does anybody actually remember that TV show 24? There's a few of them that I used to watch when I was, like, really, really young. And there's actually one that I never knew that I liked until really recently. Uh, Yinset, my girlfriend, and my best buddy Carl, they've been watching Doctor Who together. And Doctor Who was one of those TV shows that never clicked with me. I, I could never enjoy a single bit of it. Because the science fiction, it was there, but it was just, like, a millimetre off of what science actually is. And I get that, that's the fiction part of it, but... It always just kind of like ruined the immersion because they'd be on Earth and then suddenly non-Euclidean law would be applied to everything and that was just kind of like the state of the world. So that never clicked with me. But there was a spin-off apparently called Torchwood and that I loved. I absolutely adored that TV show and I didn't realise until just a couple of months ago that it was a Doctor Who spin-off. So it turns out I actually liked Doctor Who all along and uh, I was just being <laughs> a, a little bit elitist about it. Very good. 24 in Prison Break. Oh, Prison Break was good. It got cut. Well, um, like, it didn't get bad. It got average. But definitely it was, like, the first few seasons were blockbuster, weren't they? Chuck was another good one. We, uh, Yen said and I, when we have a spare moment, we've been watching Chuck together. It's aged well. It's, it's so funny. Oh, my God. It is such a good TV show. Alec Baldwin, kind of, no, not Alec Baldwin, Adam Baldwin, definitely stole the show. Uh, sorry, Alec Baldwin was the man who just got acquitted of um, shooting somebody uh, on, on a film set and killing them. That was a, a, a different man entirely. Same genre, though. Same genre. Oh, I got to watch... Uh, we had a, a spear moment last night together, Yinsead and I. 
where I didn't upload yes I didn't go render yesterday's video, which does take a, a, a hot minute to set up. So we spent a little bit of time watching a movie together in bed, and we ended up watching Sucker Punch. Damn, that is a good movie. I absolutely loved it. And yet it is super boring at the same time, and I don't know why. Definitely not old enough to catch those. They're definitely worth it. If you can, like, alternatively obtain them or just watch them somewhere, it's some of the best TV that you can watch. Like, a lot of TV shows that come out these days, I think they're made to be binged in one sitting. But the really old ones that used to have episodics, they had such a high amount of tension because, obviously, there's a week in between each episode uh, that you have to wait for. There was such a high amount of tension that they just kind of, like, were a genre of their own, I would say. Not kind of like a Desperate Housewives. Well, even Desperate Housewives definitely had a, an element of tension in its own right. I watched a bit of that. Modern Family is probably the most recent example of this I've seen. Although there are a few good TV shows that have come out. I really like The Rings of Power. A lot of people didn't like The Rings of Power. But um, the reasons that they have for not liking The Rings of Power are really strange. For example, they keep saying that the rings in The Rings of Power are less uh, like the actual rings from Lord of the Rings. But unfortunately, the rings from Lord of the Rings were actually wrong. They were completely wrong. They were supposed to be kind of like massively embezzled with gemstones and stuff like that. So the rings of power were more accurate to the books. But people are saying that they don't like it because it's it's nothing, it's got nothing to do with the books. It's, it's just weird. And there's also one character in the TV show that I noticed who was just made up for the sake of brevity so that, you know, it was an inaccessible TV show. And there was Adar. Um, supposed to be black type of father I, I suppose he wasn't actually a part of the entire um lord of the rings series it was just kind of added so that you had a bit of a better insight to what walks were and stuff like that i'm really excited for the second season of that my god amazon is pumping money into it as well it's a labor of love uh we got some gold here let's go ahead and dump that into the furnace fargo also fargo is awesome if anybody ever gets us a chance to watch the uh, fargo tv show every single uh, like series aside from the first two, has nothing to do with each other, and they are so good. Some of them even take place in different time periods. Pretty awesome how they do it. All right, let's get rid of all of this, and I think we're probably going to get into the diamond pickaxes at this point, because we are probably about there. We'll use one diamond pick. We'll see how this works out for us. Actually, we can't do that just yet. We need to get ourselves a few sticks. Good, we've got eight sticks. And now we are making a single diamond pickaxe. This should be significantly faster, I would say. I would say that this is significantly faster in just about every way, shape, and form. We also went through only a few torches with those three pickaxes, unfortunately. That's a shame. Look, I'm maybe we shouldn't just go right to the end of here. I'll go right to the end of here anyway because I want to. Everybody, cover your eyes if you have epilepsy or some some kind of illness like epilepsy, because uh, right now it's just flashing light simulator. Okay, we're running past all of this. Here's that redstone that was right in front of where we kind of stopped. Great. Bone tomahawk. Oh, that, that was, um, I never caught that one. What was that? Cool kid? Hey there, cool kid. What's good? Uh, we're strip mining. We're strip mining. Well, branch mining, technically, but we're, we're doing it begrudgingly. Mainly because people keep bullying me into doing it. This isn't much faster. It's not actually much faster with the diamond pickaxe, unfortunately. I imagine the durability is going to be significantly higher. But the speed difference is negligible. Okay. That's fine. Western horror? Nice. Oh, the only Western horror that I know of is a film called The Burrowers, which kind of lives rent-free in my head as one of the best Western movies ever made. Uh, that's the branch. This is the pocket with the torch. Good. Done. Kurt Russell? Oh, that's right. He was in it, wasn't he? Cannibals? I think the Burrowers also had cannibals. Like, it was one of those horror films where a bunch of grave robbers just uncovered something buried beneath the soil that should never have seen the light of day. It's very clever. It's a very good one. But it's much like The Ruins, in a way. The Ruins was uh, dark and gritty, and The Burrowers is uh, very similar. Two, three, branch, pocket. Put that there. Good. And we'll bust in through here. Still, still not finding any diamonds. Like, at all. No diamonds. Is there lava up there? No. Good. 
Uh, we'll branch into here. I obviously see the redstone. We're going to collect it. How much do we have? We've got a stack of redstone dust. We're not finding a hell of a lot of good down here, unfortunately. All right, nothing in there. Let's go ahead and mine this out. Good. Anything above us? No. Okay. Two, three. Make that one the branch. And pocket for the torch. Good. Let's go. Ugh, I made a parody of the Minecraft movie trailer. Uh, best of luck with its success. That is... Well, weird unsolicited information, Jade Wells. <laughs> I, I, I hate to say it, but you're probably among a place where nobody actually cares. <laughs> nobody cares whether or not somebody is lampooning a Minecraft movie trailer. It's just... It's... It's not an interest of the channel. Or the demographic of people who are attracted to the channel. Uh, we'll pop in here, and let's pop a torch right on the side of the wall there. We'll pop all of these off. We'll go five blocks in, obviously, as the branch mining dictates. Honestly, the durability of the diamond pickaxe significantly higher than iron. We probably would have bust through an iron pickaxe by now. Got to be said. Okay, come all the way through here. Keep on busting through. One, two, and three. And branch level. And this is where we put the torch. There we go. And we'll keep on going through. Is this thrilling to watch? <laughs> is anybody here actually thrilled by this content? Do we do we all love seeing branch mining in Minecraft? Is that is that actually still something that people really, really like? Because when I saw it become very, very popular, it's just kind of a turn your brain off and allow yourself to rot kind of thing. It was, it was very popular and it never clicked with me. I gotta go to bed. I'm literally half asleep plugging videos on random Minecraft streams. Don't plug videos. You're not welcome here. I'm gonna ban you. <laughs> That's literally something that will get you banned on the channel. Okay, we'll get all the way over here. What an asshole move. What an actual asshole move. Why do people still do this? Does anybody actually think it's appropriate to go on someone else's channel and then promote their own stuff? That was a dick move when I was a kid. When I was a kid, we were playing, like, Counter-Strike and stuff. The highest resolution you could get was, like, uh... It was, like, 768 by 1024 or something like that, because it was a CRT screen thing. Oh, they deleted all of their messages in advance. That's nice of them. Thanks. That's going to save me from banning them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The old dirty delete. <laughs> the old dirty delete. They hang their head in shame and they cry and run out of the room. Sorry. No, just don't do it. It's <laughs> it's literally like one it's 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 like being in an elevator full of people, right? And you're all going to the same floor, and as soon as you step in, you let rip this massive fart. That is exactly the same as promoting your own channel on somebody else's channel. Like, you don't want to, you don't, you're abusing somebody else's platform to gain clout for yourself. Uh, people call that clout goblins on the internet, and you do not want to be famous for that. Believe me, if you want to promote your channel, you got to do it the way everybody else is. If you use everybody else's channels to promote your own channels, people will absolutely despise you in the long run. It, it's best just not to risk it in the long run, to be quite honest. Just do it as soon as the door shuts. Nobody's surviving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had like, uh, yeah, Taco Bell for lunch. Like bad Taco Bell. Real bad Taco Bell with like very, very few spices and stuff like that. Okay, good. Just absolutely turn the elevator into an oven. <laughs> They'll be stepping out like they're in a meaty bakery. Okay, uh, one, two, three. And that is the branch. So torch goes here. Good. Silent but deadly? What, uh, if you're going to step into an elevator and then just immediately fart, why wouldn't you just let it rip? Like, like I don't know, plug a... Put a trumpet up your ass. Why not? <laughs> Loudly announce it in alpha male fashion. That's probably the best way, right? I'm, uh, does anybody actually think that that works, by the way? Does anybody actually think that going onto somebody's stream or, or channel and then saying, hey, I just plugged in a video, go watch it. Does anybody actually reasonably think that somebody watching the content that they're on the channel for in the first place is going to be all like, oh, great, yeah, I'll go and watch a, a Minecraft parody. That's, that's new, that's never been done before. Like, you can't actually 
use that as a business strategy. You can't go onto other people's platforms and then just insist that other people leave that channel and then watch their content. It's so ingrained in culture as well. Why do people do it? Makes no sense to me. Okay, we've got a lot of gravel here. Uh, let's go ahead and mine this out. Then we'll get to the diamonds, which I did obviously see above us. Hopefully there's no lava. No lava. Very good. Okay, we've got a couple of diamonds. We've got a few diamonds. Oh, we've got a bunch of diamonds. Hey! Finally! We've been rewarded! It feels good, actually. We have made our diamonds back. Uh, actually, we have made a lot of profit off of this. I don't know, but if they're still doing it, it works. No, it doesn't. That's the thing. If It, it doesn't actually work. It doesn't actually work, right? But people will try anything to uh, gain their own online following. Believe me, I know this. I have been doing this for... Uh, since 2018. So I've probably been a YouTuber and Twitch streamer since... For about six years now, right? And I've only just, in the last few months, taken my channel seriously enough to actually go ahead and try to get enough of a following to, to make some kind of revenue off of it. Uh, so I can tell you for a fact that I have seen so many... Oh, that was close. I've seen so many people going around other people's channels and then using other people's platforms to try and gain a following. And all it does is piss off the creator who had the following in the first place. It pisses off all of the viewers who came there for the content and doesn't want to be redirected. If you want to be redirected, uh, go, on, go on Twitch. People raid each other's live streams all the time. And even then, they raid each other with similar content. So if you're watching somebody play Sea of Thieves or something like that, they'll probably raid somebody who's also playing Sea of Thieves, right? Or a good friend of theirs. Like something that you know that you've got in common. But to come on a, a Minecraft stream and then advertise the Minecraft movie in a different format, like, come on. That doesn't work. It, it just doesn't work. It alienates people. It, it alienates an audience and it just upsets everybody around you. It's sad to see. It is a little bit sad to see. Like, it bothers me because... I, whoa! Okay. Uh, plug that in. I got a little bit too spicy there for a second. Okay. We are going to get these diamonds regardless, though. Anything up here? Oh, I'm afraid to check, actually. Okay. Let's bust this out, see what we've got to work with. Okay. Not a hell of a lot. That is an entire lake of lava. Awesome! I hit a source block. Beautiful. That means we can get these diamonds. Hopefully there's no lava on the other side. Oh, beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. So we'll keep on busting through this way, knowing that that way had lava in it. Probably actually just um, mine out a cavern so we can see that there's lava down there. Okay, nothing in here but a little bit of redstone. Actually, redstone sometimes indicates other ores. Sometimes it spawns against the side of other ores, which I quite, I quite like. So we'll definitely mine this out. Good. Get all of this here. Yeah, so what? Everybody in the world thinks that YouTubing is probably the easiest job in the world, which it probably was a few years ago. But now, man, it is so goddamn competitive. Nobody wants to see another YouTuber around. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I've, I've actually been a bit of a victim of being a YouTuber by other YouTubers. They're like, why don't you go get your own platform? That kind of stuff. So many resources. Yes, I know, right? Oh, no! Well, okay, quick thinking saved us there. Let's go ahead and bust into this little branch right here, knowing that there's no lake of lava on the other side of it. I'm going to go all the way through this tough stuff because there's usually some goodies in here. Or not. Okay, that's fine too. Let's go in here. Might actually be worth our time just to kind of like mine out the entire pockets of tough. Because it's good. It's, it's actually good stuff. Some good stuff does spawn inside of there. One, two, and three. Well, lost count. Two, three, and torch. Nope, that's branch. Torch there. Let's go here. Say tough. Tough. There you go. Tough. It's tough. Good. Pop on down through here. I'm glad no one makes fun of me for my accent anymore because uh, back in the COVID lockdown, New Zealand got ranked as the uh, world's sexiest accent. God knows why. If you actually talk to a New Zealander who's from New Zealand who doesn't naturally have a radio voice, they sound so crass. You don't want to be, you don't want to be anywhere near them. Like it's, it's, is that lava? Oh, that's lava. That is definitely lava. Oh no. 
Is it above us? Below us? Ahead of us? Oh no, we're about to find out, I suppose. Just get through all of this tough stuff. Are you skeletons? What the hell is that? I definitely hear something. There's bubbling. Either somebody's just had the nastiest curry and we're about to um, hear the announcement about it. Or there's some kind of cavern, like up here. Or not? Maybe? Actually, I do not like skeletons. I'm just gonna dip out of there. Screw that. You sound taller on stream than you do in your videos? I sound taller on stream than I do in my videos. I'm sitting! Whereas most of my videos, I have a standing desk. Kind of funny, huh? Is it okay? Do we actually like it? Do, do we like sounding tall? Okay, we'll come through here. And we're obviously going to get all this redstone because I do like the electrical engineering of this game. It's so much fun. It's so satisfying. It's such a satisfying mechanic. I love redstone so much. Okay. We're probably almost full up on our inventory. Oh, no. We've got a few. Wait, we got 15 diamonds. Holy hell. Okay, we'll put a torch up there. Oh, we didn't mine out the branch uh, in this direction. Okay. How would you describe the idea of a color? Uh, what, someone who's blind? Uh, probably like, um... Imagine if you could... Imagine if you could taste feel. That would be how I would describe color. It's the taste of feeling. It's probably actually a pretty good way of describing it, actually. Reverse physics? Color? What? Oh, uh, that's probably not good. Why don't we uh, kind of like close that in? Okay. Put a uh, brick right there. Let's also skip it completely, I'd say. Okay. Put a torch there. One, two, and three. The next one's going to be where we branch. Oh, piss off. Really? Oh, well, we'll go up one. What's the harm? What's in here? Is it literally just lava? Really? Nothing else in here? There's gotta be something else in here, right? There's a giant pool of magma. Well, wow, this is a big pool of magma as well. Okay, we'll kind of try and skirt around the side of this, I suppose. Because usually lava hides some decent resources. Actually, we do have that bucket of water in our pocket. Maybe we could use that to get rid of this. It is in the way. I'm going to do it. We're going to use it right here. Uh, let's put it there. Dunion rings. Excellent. And we'll throw that down there. Awesome. Start picking all this out. I'm going to take the obsidian. We're going to use the lava to create a walkway through here as well. <sighs> I cannot understand what you just said for the life of me. Go up too? Uh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, can I plug this? Yes. I can. Good. What about this one? Can I plug this one? We're about to find out! Yeah, it doesn't really look like we are able to get a lot of goodies out of this lava. What is beauty? Uh, beauty is a social construct that allows you to find a mate. It's literally so that you can breed. That is beauty. Here we go. You got a lot of deep questions. What's, <laughs> what's up with the depth? A lot of deep questions. Shower thoughts? Uh, it does sound like shower thoughts. So, uh, that's lava. One, two, three, and block right here. I feel like we're kind of surrounded by lava at this point. I don't feel like we're going in the right direction with this branch mining stuff anymore. Maybe we're doing bad. Maybe we're doing good. Okay, I'm going this way anyway. Just, uh, just see what what is this way. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay, we'll plug a little torch in there. Like a torch there. One, two, three, branch, torch, there. Done. Okay. Good. I love that. I love a lot of people that like come onto the stream and have amazing philosophical uh, questions straight off the bat. I'm a bit of a philosopher myself, but philosophy is much like poetry. It's better read than heard, I would say. 
People really like the sound of their own voice, I find, with philosophy. So the best philosophers I've found are the ones that don't actually talk about it unless it's specifically asked for. It's pretty funny. It happens frequently as well. That's not the first guy that's done that even this week. <laughs> I think we had, um, what was it? Uh, maybe it was Cool Kid. Maybe it was Cool Kid came on. Started asking a, bit of, a bunch of philosophical questions. Or maybe it wasn't Cool Maybe it was someone else. I can't remember who it was, but... There's always, like, uh, someone that pops on with, like, three really hard-to-answer questions. And the best way of answering is just honestly. That's how you come up with the answers. Just be honest. It's as simple as that. Two most important books in the world. Oh! How Not to Be Ganked by Lava. And, of course, the Bible. No, it's uh, Sun Tzu's The Art of War and the Bible. Uh, one says, know thy enemy. One says, know thyself. With both of those, you can definitely... Create a very, very healthy lifestyle. Okay. We're done. We're done with that area. That place is an absolute god-awful mess. We're not going back there either. It's a pit. We're done there. Okay. What time is it? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Still got about 10 minutes. Okay, so we'll come out of here. We'll get our diamond armor basically all sorted. And I've got to hop off. I've got to hop off in 10 minutes because I need to go and pick a couple of things up. I did read the time right, didn't I? Yes. Okay. And here we are. We've made it to the end. Are there more doors or wheels in the world? Probably more doors. Let's say more doors. There's definitely more doors. Like, you can always have wheels on something to move around, but I'd say in most cases... The thing that has the most wheels usually has an equal amount of doors, right? So there's usually five in a sedan. Subcompacts also have five doors, four wheels. So that automatically inflates the amount of, uh, of doors in the world because the boot also counts. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get lots and lots of these diamond gears. Diamond helmet? Yes, please. A diamond chest plate? You damn well know I'm going to be rocking that stuff. It's going to be heavy as hell, but I don't care. What's in here? Oh, we still have heaps of diamonds. Great. Uh, we probably want to put a bunch of dump into the dump chest over here. Good. And we'll get all of that out of the way. That stuff too. Done. Farewell. Continue to work hard and with pride. Thank you very much for the random troll under the bridge riddles there, hidden sitting. The trunk is a door. Cars have four wheels and four car doors, typically. How do they have four doors? Oh, four car doors. Yes, I see. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that one. Okay, we'll put all of our meltables into here, which we don't actually have. We've got a lot of redstone, though. I love that. That's so much redstone. Probably can't make 64 blocks, though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks. Yeah, we need two more stacks to be able to get ourselves a stack of redstone blocks. And then we should be fine. Let's go ahead and make the rest of this diamond armor, because that was the thing I wanted to accomplish in this episode here. And now we need... Oops. And there we go. We have just burned all of our out all of our diamonds on some armor. Love it. One more door than wheels on every four car door. Yes. Although there are some 18 wheelers that only have two doors as well. That's something to consider. But those are all outdoors. Ironically. All, uh, most wheels are outdoors. So I feel like there's probably more doors because a house doesn't have wheels. Right? And there's a lot of houses in this world. Maybe as many as in cars. Okay, let's not put that on a hopper. Let's wear all of this diamond stuff, right? We kind of want to go on a journey to find ourselves some books of mending. That's probably going to be the next thing, right? Gorgeous. Okay, what was it? Which one did I set to swap out the view? Shade is reloaded. Okay, thanks. I didn't realize E did that. Okay. I have to go, guys. I have to shoot off. I have to go and pick up a prescription from a pharmacy before they close in about half an hour. And I will be back tomorrow. Of course, we've got gold, actually. We can stick it in here. I will be back tomorrow. We will be playing Friday's most voted game, which is looking like it's going to be Undertale Yellow, which, on one hand, I'm excited to play. On the other hand, Undertale with Sands was such a pain in the ass. Tow truck has two door and a lot of wheels to carry cars. Yeah, definitely. But every single one of those cars it's carrying has doors as well. So all of those cars... Probably nominal. Probably four, four doors, four wheels, as well as a trunk. Maybe. Depends on if it's been crashed into. Uh, yeah, we're actually pretty good on supplies. So, everybody, 
Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist of the Minecraft I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you would really, really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord. If you check it out, you will see me and my community whenever you damn well please. That's how Discord works. And of course, whenever I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.